they paid for the bottom surgery in 1997 wow. in, in Brit British Columbia. And, um, and boy, that was a fight. That was a fight. So it's like, you know, this, this telethon, this TikTokathon is, you know, going to help so many people that, that can't get it. It's like, and, um, and, you know, just a suggestion for all U.S. folks listening is you have to get into your civil, civic politics and, and get in there to change it. Because, like, we worked with our provincial government first to, uh, and with the Human Rights Commission to make us protected under the law provincially. And then, um, uh, and then we did it federally. We got, uh, we're protected uh, uh, transgender, uh, well, sexual identity and um, and sexual uh, and gender expression are protected in our charter of rights now in Canada as of 2017, and that took um, you know that took a lot a lot of work, and I'm so glad it did before you know the great orange took over your country and stuff, and the the whole narrative changed because now they're nipping at our heels up here, right? Too like in in our our political opposition, which is the the conservatives, and um, you know they're starting to do trying to do the the whole clown car show up here as well. But we're already in those charter of rights, like we're codified, right? And thank thank I just thank the goddess that we got that in. So it would take a long time for for it would take you know, revolution for, for it to, you know, be taken away from us now. So yeah, it's like, we have to get involved. We have, you have to get involved in your civic politics, like right from the grassroots up. And this is what we're doing right now. And it's like, but we need to translate that into like, like also in, into the political movement as well. Yep. Y'all remember to engage in your local and state elections. Uh, every yeah. time we talk about breaking out of the two party system, uh, people will say like, oh, we need to wait for this time. We need to wait for this time. This time is now. You want to start breaking away from the two party political system, the one that when we vote in to save democracy continues to fail us. After November, are you going to give a shit about politics the same way that you pretend to give a shit every four years? Because Absolutely. a lot of you do not. A lot Absolutely. of you will say, yeah. we'll hit the um, ground running and then... The, we have five major political parties in Canada. We have five in Parliament. And that keeps everybody in, in balance, right? Like even our li liberal government right now is, you know, pretty centrist, you know? And so our NDP, which is more leftist, like we, we actually forced our liberal government to give us universal dental now. This year, we're at, everybody is covered de with dental as of this year in Canada. And it, and it took that multi-party system to do it mm -hmm. that's amazing yeah uh, some of the commenters are asking if there's a way to donate if they don't live in the u.s yeah. yeah so you can donate through paypal and you can also just donate through your regular like debit or credit card i'm assuming credit card but debit card for sure um but yeah paypal you can do internationally for sure yeah what's the paypal email um, the PayPal is actually on the page, so if you scroll, it should be, I think, the bottom most option. If you just go to the page, it should say PayPal as a, a form of payment. So instead of texting TransJoy to 44321, you can go to the link in Mercury and Joy's bios. It will be in mine soon. And you can scroll to the bottom of that page. There's a PayPal link for those who do not live in the U.S. to still be able to donate. And this is also your reminder that Point of Pride doesn't just help people in the U.S. While they are a U.S.-based organization, and that is the large majority of people that they do help, they have helped people outside of the U.S. as well. Yeah, they ship binders and gaffs to over, I believe it's like around 120 countries or maybe 118. Um, I know it's over 100. And then... Um, you can still apply. So the way that 501c3s are set up, the services have to be performed in the U.S. Surgeries, things like that, have to be done in the U.S. But like, let's say you're in Canada and you want an FFS, and it's you know 30k out of pocket for you. You can't afford that. You'll more than likely be able to afford a passport, uh, you know, a plane ticket, and a hotel versus having to pay for an entire procedure out of pocket. So um, it does, it, you know, there's still that barrier of access to care, but it's um, a lot less large. Um, and they've also yeah. partnered with like Elevated Access, which allows people to cross state lines. Um, I don't know if Elevated Access functions outside of the US, but like they're partnering with like um, 
people with private charter planes to fly people to get gender affirming care and abortions. So there are options out there. Um, they're growing. Right. We're starting to pour more into them, and that's why things like this are super important. Yeah, in, 90, in 1997, when when I was the first one that they paid for to get my bottom surgery, I had to get myself down to Portland, Oregon, to get it. So yes, I am. I am part part American. And, uh, <laughs> I, have a little, I have a little tattoo down there. Um, <laughs> not too many people see it since I left dancing, but um, let's see. <laughs> but I had to make my own way down there. They would only they wouldn't pay for the the freaking drive. So it's like one of my one of my older trans aunties like just took me down there in her freaking barracuda muscle car all the way down there <laughs> to portland oregon and then um nine days later she came booting back to get me and we're coming we're coming back through washington and um and i've got like ice on my lap and stuff you know and and um and we get pulled over by the highway patrol because we're speeding and um so thinking of our on our feet, you know, she just said, "Oh yeah, we had to get a surgery, and they they don't do this type of surgery in, in Canada yet." And it's like, and you know, it's a gynecological thing, and and it's like, and um, and he, and he's going, "Oh well, just, let me help you," and he like put on his siren, and he, so he took us for like I don't know for how long, you know, Ooh. until <laughs> he would had to the next town where he was, was so that we could speed through. Um, <laughs> One <anyway>. score. <laughs> And then I, I remember I was just, and then I was like in Hamburger Mary's in Seattle on the way through. Like it's like just you know, because uh, it, it's about a nine-hour drive, and I have because you have to dilate like every freaking three three hours or something. The first thing, and I was in Hamburger Mary's. I remember like with my with my high heel on a bathroom stall, trying to make sure that nobody came in, you know, doing the do. And I was just going, oh my God, this is so glamorous. No, I, oh my God. <laughs> Not the Seattle Hamburger Marys, I've been there. I used to live there in There you Seattle. go, there you go. Remember me, remember me. I know, and that's like, that's kind of like, that's kind of like my, my story, like my old granny scored the story to all you young ones, you know, like, you know, when they said, you know, we had to walk six miles in the snow type of thing. You had to dial in the Hamburger Mary's bathroom. Because they wouldn't pay for transportation. (laughs) And we liked it. (laughs) That's too funny. (laughs) Max, you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I, I'm not well rested. It's amazing. But I'm here. <laughs> you know, you know what's really funny, Max, is my cousin who is trans and non-binary. They are getting married in June, mm-hmm. um, at the last Saturday of June, and they are getting married to this gorgeous woman that is literally your doppelganger. Oh, I'm not even kidding. Okay. Like when, like you had your FFS, I was so shook because I was like. Oh my God! You look like Megan. Like you look like my cousin's fiance. Like spitting image. I'll, I'll have to like text Jory a photo or something. Please do. I was shook. Norwegian Viking goddess. <laughs> I didn't know you were from Seattle, Rose. Well, I'm not. I'm not from Seattle. Uh, I actually grew up on a farm in Idaho. Oh, uh, Idaho. But, oh no. But I'm not, Idaho. Yeah, Idaho. But uh, I moved to Seattle for college when I okay. was um, 17. Okay. Well, yeah, I have family in like Eastern Washington and Idaho, and I grew up like on like around Seattle, so. Hi. Right. Yeah. I love, love Seattle. I miss it every day. I miss it. Jory doesn't, so probably won't be going back. <laughs> yeah, I love to visit, but mm-hmm. I don't think I could live there again. It's too expensive for, it like, is. what it is. Like, there's just no opportunity. There's no work. Like, there's not... I don't know. I love the people. I love the community. I love the summers. I love the food. Oh, my God. The food is the best part. Hands yeah. down. 
nowhere yeah, in the world. Vancouver's like that now too. It's just the most mm-hmm. pricey place on the planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and unfortunately, like that means like there's a lot of like, I feel like the culture in Seattle is not what it used to be. Like, it's just it's a lot of like tech now, and it's just not yeah. as it's not as cute or as like punk as it once was. Yeah, I left. What was it like five or six years ago? Now I I left Seattle, and oh my gosh, it is like going back and visiting. It is so different. Mm-hmm. In just a short period of time, it's all tech bros and Amazon hoes. Yup, exactly. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah, crazy. Well, it's like all the artists and stuff—they just get pushed out because you know they can't afford the rent and stuff. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it's just the same old song. Yup. True. So tap 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 the screen, yeah. folks. Where are we at now? I don't know. I have to pull it up. Let me check. Everyone share your favorite food. Okay, my favorite food in Seattle was this really cute little place to get. Um, it was like this Japanese bakery that was like right off of the train station in the International District. It's really close, actually. The um, Seattle's Best Boba has gone viral on TikTok. Oh. If you know where Seattle's Best Boba is, which used to be my favorite spot, which is so funny how like that's blown up on TikTok. If you go to the end of that block towards the park, there's this really cute little bakery and they have ube filled donuts. And donuts are my absolute weakness. I love sweets. I'm a huge sweets girl and donuts are my favorite. And those ube cream donuts, listen. You go to Seattle's best boba. Well, like you take the train, you take the light rail, you go off on the stop at the ID, you go up the stairs, you cross the street, the giant arch, you'll see the arch. You can't miss us like dragons and shit on it. And then Seattle's best boba is right there on the left. If you go to the end of the block, the donut shop, the bakery is right there. And then go sit at the park and enjoy both of them. It'll be the greatest little treat you've ever had. Yeah, I miss the baked goods in Seattle so much. Like moving to LA, the the girls out here or out there do not want carbs. They don't. They want to, you know, they want an acai bowl maybe. But like, oh my God, there's so many good bakeries in and around Seattle. Absolutely, Fuji Bakery. That's it, Fuji, Fuji bakery. bakery. Okay. These people know. <laughs> Somebody said 197k. Is that where we're at? We're at what? Five five ninety seven? That's what? crazy. Five ninety seven? Yeah. Woo! Let me look at the numbers. Oh my gosh! Let's make it to six hundred, yeah, y'all. Before Marty and I go, we need to at least hit six hundred. We can yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, What's I mean, two thousand dollars? There are two thousand people in this live. If everybody just donated one dollar right now, we'd be at six hundred k. Is it over oh wait, you two, please um, hold on. We're doing something really quick. No, I think I think TikTok is like auto. What are we doing? Oh. It could be that, but I don't know. I just want to make sure we can. Um, I, I've gotten so many comments from people saying that they got like they can't find Mercury's account, including the person who did the animation. I've gotten DMs being like, "Oh, I got muted on your live," but what they wouldn't the... like none of our mods would have muted them. No, our mods are chill. Okay. Yeah. We, we tell them to not yeah. worry that so much about it. Yeah. You can donate by texting TransJoy one word to 44321 oh. or go to the link in Mercury and Jory's bios. So look, I just got another comment from Z saying, why do I keep getting kicked out of the live? Which you can't even do that. You can't, I can't do you, that. You can't kick people out of live. So there's there's something going on with TikTok. Do they, does, it, does it say what? Like when it, they're getting kicked out, does it say why? Yeah, does it give a reason, Z? We need more information if you can. Yeah. Because yeah, normally if you get blocked, it says... It says you've been blocked, but you can't come back. Yeah, I would tell you. And then if you're getting muted, you can stay in the live. You just can't. It, like, auto-swipes to the next live every time I come back. What the fuck? Is that on Mercury's page? Yes. I have a 13-month subscriber. Thank you. They shadow banned you? Yeah, I don't know, Jory. Because I went through every, I don't know, I don't know if that's something that, that's weird. I went through every single mod that I got. And you, they wouldn't have done it, right? No, I, I double checked. I got rid of like one, 
I'll get rid of one extra person, but I, everyone else I trust. Yeah. Pretty hardcore. All my mods have been in my lives for like months and months. Like before I'll accept a mod, they're in my life for months. And the fact that it's happening to both of us. Yeah. And people are auto swiped, getting auto swiped out. They're getting auto muted. Is it, as our accounts maybe set up in a way to like anti bowling no and stuff and like that? Like there's that. no setting like that in lives. No. It's, there's you can you can you can filter certain words because <laughs> I had to filter the word White House for a very long time. So anytime anyone would comment White House on my lives, yeah. it would immediately mute them. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, there is a way to do it. And it's actually, a that's a good that point. You're right. Mine year. is set up that way. Actually, hold on. So I auto mute. I forgot. Yes, mine is set up. That I did it a long time ago. Oh. Yeah, my. you can add. Yeah, filter. I think mine was like that too. Yeah, hold on, give me a second. It's somewhere in like your privacy or security settings filter or something like that, and then it's like filtered words. Yeah, hold on, I think it is in here. Give me a second. Well, I know if you if you have like certain like I have my old job filter from when I worked there, but it doesn't meet people. It just like yeah. takes it like doesn't let it says like uh, comment filtered and it won't show it to. The, See that? See, this is the keywords I got, which is obviously the first one: fraud, stealing, scam, gay, report. L. Why is L on here? Okay, Jesus, repent, reported, ban, ban, Jesus symbol, men. Okay, men is wild. That, that's about the same list that I have. Glizzy reveal. <laughs> <laughs> that should just keep the comments from like come like coming in. It shouldn't mute people, as far as I know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> okay, hold on. There's more. Uh, Wait, did we hit 600k? Did we hit it? We might. Okay, I also have a handsome suspect sus imposter to James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Candace. Stop, that's so good. Candace, boy, Do you boy have with word, an eye. Biological, I, biological I, I, is literally yeah. in there. Do you have the word yes blocked? <laughs> I have 2024 blocked. Okay. Uh, I have wig blocked. <laughs> yeah, wig, that checks out. <laughs> uh, hold on. Yeah, there's there's just like too many people that I, 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 I genuinely have, don't think it's a... Uh, I have transmission blocked. <laughs> I have transformer blocked. Uh oh. <laughs> so some of these might be, maybe. Right, we're we're gonna say thank you for a second to some people. Oh. Yeah, we got a big big alert, big update. Uh, we just hit six hundred thousand. So thank you, six hundred. Put it in the comments, please. Um, I want to uh, personally thank, we're seeing donations coming in at every level and truly every dollar makes a difference. So thank you. Uh, we see those smaller gifts and it, it really does add up. Um, I want to thank some hundred dollar donors, Rachel, Nadine, Marissa, Elif, Aparna, Polly, JC, Lucy, Jessica, Caitlin, Alex, James, Haley, Karen, Margaret. Uh, I want to thank, thank Jenna. You. Oh, thank you. I want to thank Jenna for a $150 gift. Thank Woo. you, Jenna. Jenna. At $250, Megan, Stephanie, and Clara. Thank you so much. Thank you. Extremely generous at $500. I want to thank Martin. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin. Uh, and Amitha, thank you. Thank you. And then we have three $200 gifts I want to mention. Molly, Sarah, and Victoria. Thank you so much. Wow. Uh, huge milestone. We really appreciate it. Groove Thank you. was blocked too because people kept saying it looked I, like Groove I, I, like despicable me. I, I, I could guess what. <laughs> people make the most heinous comparison. Uh, I, I, I also have Mr. Are Beast you? taken out because I got tired of him. <laughs> so are you a millennial or are you Gen Z? I had Mr. Beast and Chris taken out. <laughs> Poor Chris. I know. <laughs> I'm so, I must have just been like yes block that word and not even realized about it, yeah. So it may have been that. I don't think I don't so know. though, because I don't think any of those people would have been commenting that many of those words. But I think that even if, so sometimes what happens people like 
We'll say transformer, and if they do it twice, they could get blocked. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, unless you put that in as a setting, like Rose said that she set it up herself, and I don't have that. Answer. Here's the thing. I did this a long time ago when Mercury didn't know how to do any of this. So, okay. you know, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I could very well have done something very stupid. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't think it blocks people though. I think it just mutes their comment. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't I don't know if there's an auto block feature for using filters. Well, work. we're gonna keep an eye on it. Yeah. We're gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, change at this the way point, that it functions. Basil's going through the block list to see. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. I really like Basil. He's smart. Basil's smart. Yeah. I, they're cool. You know who else is cool? These two people who are hanging out with us and making this live watchable. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I feel like my live. Am I guys? I'm sorry that there's nothing going on there. Should I just join the live I, so it's that all of us are just centralized? Because then we. You ask them. I mean, here's the thing. A part of me thinks at this point, we got enough safeguards in place that we should just put everything on TikTok to one or two backups and then this one okay. and then if we anything happens we got your account to immediately go to okay. yeah i think that's a good idea well i mean if and then we centralize it and then all the views are one location yeah so i can just turn on my phone and put it here and then mute myself so that all of my viewers that are going live they can be included in this but they'll get it'll get pushed to them as well but think? if you're a guest in this live, people are saying that, you're, that they're blocked ends. from me, so that might not be. And we're trying to fix some I'm stuff. Hey, some of you might actually be jackasses, so I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I think they're I'm coming just, over to me. I feel like they're not. You can yeah, donate yeah, by texting transjoy one word to four four three two one, really? or going yeah. to the link in Mercury and Jory's bios. There's also a link um, at the end of that page on the website to donate through PayPal if you do not live in the U.S. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how we can do this because I want everyone to be included, but we need to... How do we get unblocked? We're having uh, Brazil go through and yeah. block through so all the block. My, my moderators are talking. I can't really talk to them because they're I'm on my phone here. Um... But JK is having people, yeah. JK, you're here probably right now. Um, are we blocking people too happy-go-lucky? Or is it like TikTok doing something weird? Yeah. Oh, JK is here. Okay, cool. Hey, JK. How's it going, darling? JK says they don't think so. Yeah. Okay, we'll just keep an eye on it. We're just going to keep an eye on it. We won't change anything. Don't change anything, then. Just leave it like Just leave it. Don't do it. I don't want if people if people do get blocked on an accident, they should have another way to go that isn't one of my accounts and having it being Jory's makes sense. But yeah. yeah, we'll figure it out. Give me a second and post this video then. Plus I think it's important to have two separate lives that aren't like linked or connected as like guest or co host or whatever, because then if one gets banned, the other one still exists. Because if, if like this live got banned, Marty and I would not be on live anymore. We would be kicked off. Yeah. I was gonna say, I, yeah. usually if, if the host gets banned, it's not like y'all would get banned. So if we Correct. centralize, it'd be fine. The but only... our lives would end. Yeah. So we would yeah. have to go live again. Yes. We're like, we're like the French resistance of the cyberverse or something. It's so weird, eh? <laughs> you know, like in the like in the World War, it's like that. You know, I had to talk in code and everything. It's just wild. Oh, is Point of Pride at a thousand? Oh, uh, fuck yeah, they might be. Are they? They are. They haven't been, right? No, they weren't. Do you guys want to go live on the Point of Pride account on TikTok? We are. Oh, we're not on TikTok. We're on Instagram. Should I switch it to TikTok? Oh, definitely yeah. do TikTok. Instagram is fine, yeah, but TikTok it's real small. TikTok live is better for yeah. getting new uh, followers. Because on Instagram, the only people that will see your Instagram live is people who already follow you. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's true. Or TikTok, everybody can see it, which is, you know, a double-edged sword. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we're also on YouTube. My YouTube is kind of a safe one right now. It's just kind of, it's just take a, 
everyone hanging out on YouTube doing a real. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm gonna start posting on there soon. So follow me. Go sub. And if you don't sub to Mercury and you're part of my group, go sub to Mercury. I'm almost done here. I'm, is there, is there I'm excited for our, our videos together. We still have like two or three more videos together. A YouTube video? I just stole one. You did send with Mercury? No, with yeah, and Jory. Yeah, they what? came to LA. And, well, Jory lives here, but Mercury came here and uh, oh, cool. they like met with, I don't know, over a dozen creators to film with. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. I have to do that once I finish my first book. You writing a book? Yeah. Oh, girl. Yeah, oh, I'm in the midst of the first one right now. I've got three that I want to do, but the first one is about Tiggy and I, you know, you know, in the 70s, and she's she was an indigenous, you know, Métis from uh, trans girl, you know, that I met. She was 14 and I was 16. Uh, but it starts at 15 with uh, me, you know, with the street kids in Calgary and running, running away to Vancouver and all that stuff. Yeah, and figuring it out. Yeah. Oh, I cannot you know, wait to read. And I'm calling it Straight to yeah. Panoka, That's it. which is, yeah. Panoka was the provincial um, uh, insane oh, asylum that they, they were called back then, uh, the provincial insane yeah. asylum, and because my first memories was with my relatives saying that kid's going straight to Panoka. Okay, yeah. Wow. But anyways, okay. I just kind of leaked a little bit of it. But yeah, I'm working with this this really cool non-binary wizard of words and um i finally i went gone through two editors since 2015 with this book and um finally i'm um, with somebody that is really helping me pull this first one together so yeah so i look forward to i'd like to use the campuses you know along the coast you know and come down to la and meet everybody Oh my god. Well, congratulations. That's very exciting. Yeah, yeah. I'm still on. Want to be good. Yes, please. Guys, thank you to everyone sticking around. Wow. I, know, I know the live is kind of dying down. Okay. I think I... I down. We saw 2K people. There's still I, I think Jory meant hers. My, my live is, oh. is dying down. Oh, uh, we know hers. Is. I, I... Oh, because we're, we're both guests on Mercury, so they can't see us on Jory. Yeah. They just hear our voices. Yeah, that's the only reason why we kept on thinking about switching to one, because... Right. Yeah. Right. Like, it is when you it is. have guests. Well, next time you have guests, have the guests be on Jory's. Just go back and forth. Yeah, I think that's, that'd be a good idea. I like that idea. That's fine. But also, like I'm now officially on live on my my three yeah. accounts. This is holding it up. Oh, good. And you got it back. Yeah, I messaged. Um, I'm like a, an affiliate creator with TikTok. So I'm part of Casa TikTok, which is a group of creators that are all... Um, Latine, and so like I have a TikTok manager, and I emailed her, and I was like, we need to get these people on Band Girl, and so I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but you know, like we're not alone, like you know, like we we have people. I think like a mod or something saw Mercury's video because none of my other accounts got unbanned. They probably yeah. just saw it and were like, oh, I'll review this. Uh, I I. I think out of the 60 people that I emailed, I think someone did something. <laughs> Let me see, because I emailed all of them. Did it happen right after? Because that's, oh, and within an hour, I had all, my account back. Okay, it's been wow, at least two hours cool. since I emailed them. Wait, was your account banned or just your live? Just my live, just my live. A live. Uh -oh. oh shit, wait. What? I'm using all the phones. Oh, I thought we lost another account. I was like, no, baby. No. <laughs> yeah, no, Max is still live. Don't so scare us. Yeah. So I don't, I, I think it was the video. I think Ahmad just saw it and probably was like, oh, I can go and review this. Mm -hmm. And probably a lot of people tagging them mm -hmm. in the comments. Yeah. No, probably not even that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you posted that video this morning and I stitched it right away and it was like, I don't know, like a half an hour later, you're you're back on. So it must have happened within like an hour it, after it, you did it. I texted. One of, one of the things that's so frustrating about this is I always feel like TikTok gaslights you. Uh -huh. Because like you'll, you'll do this thing where 
you'll be like, oh no, my live is dead. And then you go and you make a fucking video on it. And then you go and you do something else. And within 10 minutes, you're a fucking back end live. Yeah. And then you got everyone being like, you're oh, live. wow, why are you complaining? Yeah. Everything looks fine. You know, like, ah! <laughs> That's why I just took down the video and stitched of you because people were going, "What's going on? I'm over at her second account. They're not, they're not live there." So I just took it down. Yeah, yeah. I, I just went live on my second account now. Finally, it took me forever to figure out how to do everything. So, oh, I am, I might look many, like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. <laughs> how many phones do you have staring at you right now? Like how many? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. There's. It was nine plus there, an iPad yesterday. Mine three are oh, really. I want to see the setup. It's hilarious. My three are really. Yeah, that'd be funny. Like your, funny. your followers yeah. love behind the scenes. Y'all want behind, behind the scenes. There is one. Yeah. There was. Like. There was one that Aiden had going yesterday on his. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But here's the thing. Mine are placed in a really smart location all right next to each other. It looks like I'm actually talking to all three of them. Juries make no fucking sense. They make they're, sense. No, they really don't. They're just fucking everywhere. <laughs> no, they're not. They're you, next to each other. This represent because there's literally a three holder one. You couldn't look at mine. No, look what, at mine. What do you want me to do? Uh, you could like you could find a way to make them all work together. <laughs> Uh oh, the children are fighting. We always fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I'm right. You know I'm right, though. <laughs> Is that better? No. <laughs> oh my god. Why would it be better? We're talking about using all of them at the same. Like, you want me to set up? How? We would just take. We would just move the ring light and have two big lights, and then have them all like centralized in one location. Girl, you're the handyman. You can figure this out. Are you gonna do that? <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ! Get your ass up and work. I swear to God, I gotta do everything for this Fair. fucking world. It feels like Whoa. nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> I love you. Wait, is it okay? Well, I can get that figured out. Though. Please do. Okay. I got it. Girl, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, give me a second. Everyone, uh, tell Jory she looks really pretty from afar. You look really pretty from afar. Jory, I look <laughs> I pretty, pretty closer. I know. I was like, I set you guys up for that one. <laughs> and I just want to kiss your super face. Thank you. Thank you. At least Rose and Marty think I'm pretty up close. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I've seen you up close. I know you're pretty. <laughs> yeah, you just had your mug in the face and the camera there, honey. Hey. Ooh, are you now Mercury Star as such? Um. Uh, yep. Yeah, I need the there fart. She is. So Come I, closer. I could be. He's not afraid. <laughs> You know, that's something I used to always say when I was a full-time makeup artist. People would always, like, tell me, like, make me look pretty. And I'm like, you're already pretty, yeah. but I also promise to put pretty makeup on you. There you go. Yeah, because that's the thing is, like, you can be the most drop-dead stunning human being. If you don't put pretty makeup on somebody, it looks so... It's not going to look pretty. Absolutely. Well, that's at the beginning of my transition. I remember when I was like 15, 16, it's like we always make ourselves look so weird at the beginning, right? Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> and it's like, oh, honey, and, the and photo talk, about call, talk about calling attention to yourself and, you know, and, and I talk like way up here, way up here, hi. And then I was like, then I was crying to my friends and thinking like, oh my God, it's like, they're all staring at me. And I'm, you know, of course, we got to figure that part out, right? I think we all go through that stage. Yep. My lash used to be like up here, like just floating above my lid. Like I'd have one on the lash line, one up here, and everyone would be like, girl, the lash, the lash, bring her down, please. And I'd be like, no, it looks fine. Now I look back and I was like, oh. <laughs> it, was, it was your performance art era. Yeah, yeah. Yes. My little drag moment yeah. era. Yeah, Oh really? You look beautiful. Oh, I've never seen. I've watched you for two years. You always look cute and gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Oh wow. I got a lot of phlegm going on here, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying. I'm trying to get this fucking charger cut off. Cut off. Yeah, so I can. So I can put it over. Don't try. I'm fine. Are Don't you move. actually cutting a charger? I'm not. I'm, I'm not cutting the cord. I'm cutting the zip tie that the thing is on. 
I'm not, if you ask the handyman to do it, you're not gonna let the handyman handyman. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> don't forget, y'all, to donate. Yeah. If you would like to donate, there are many different ways. You can text TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. You can also go to the link in Mercury and Joy's bios. You can scroll down if you need to uh, donate through PayPal if you don't live in the U.S. And if you can't donate your money, donate your time, double tap that screen, send a bunch of trans flag emojis in the comments right over here. And if you feel so inclined to send the cute little gifts through TikTok, don't forget to just send the cheapest ones, which is usually the little rose, which happens to be my favorite, because TikTok does take the large majority of the proceeds from those little gifts that you have to pay for. So while they do help boost, if you feel so inclined, make sure you do the cheapest one so that TikTok doesn't get the majority of the money. Instead, donate your money towards the actual fundraiser. Even though that corgi spot is so cute. It is so cute. <laughs> that corgi spot. I'm good. So sorry, I cut Double tap that screen, comment down below and share the live. Double tap that screen, comment down below and share the live. Oh my nuts. <laughs> Have you ever worked as a... Um, Auctioneer? Um, what's it called when people are like at an auction? Yeah, an auctioneer, yeah. An yeah, auctioneer, yeah. <laughs> I think... So I think... Great. Four million dollars. Four million dollars. <laughs> Do you say all of these terms, these words after, like, for like how long? A couple weeks, like in your sleep? Um, n no, surprisingly not. I was like fully expecting to wake up in like a panic-induced sweat yesterday, saying something to the extent of like, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. But I didn't. I didn't. I woke up in a panic-induced sweat for other reasons. But not, yeah. Not, not not for that. No, that was not a good. That was not a good night. No. Uh, there was also like some very stuff stressful. going on behind the scenes, uh, separate from social media that will stay behind the scenes, separate from social media. But it's been it's been a fun 24 hours. By fun, she means terrible. Yeah. But somehow we're still best friends. But has nothing to do with. But I won't put a fish in your car. Because. No, the grumpy old men reference. I was bringing it back. God damn it. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Nobody knew what that movie was. I know what that movie okay. is. As a team, I think we should watch Grumpy Old Men. That's all I'm saying. What the Are fuck is Is that a movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. with Mal Walter Matthau and, um, and Jack Lemmon. They, and they, became, they were famous in the 1960s for the movie The Odd Couple. The Odd Couple, where they were like... Um, Oscar, Oscar was kind of grouchy and stuff, and it actually, I think that's where they got Oscar the Grouch from on Sesame Street. To tell you the truth. Okay, okay that's yeah. when you said Oscar the Grouch. All I thought of was Sesame Street. Yeah. Uh, so Jory, this is this is a really important comment yeah. from one of the followers. They need Point of Pride to set up a charity link on Twitch so that people who go live on Twitch can send the link and actually fundraise. We cannot go live on Twitch and fundraise on behalf of a, a nonprofit until it's the link has been created by the nonprofit. Okay. Okay. I okay. I'm actually working on it with them. Oh fuck me. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I, a I'm a affiliated uh Twitch streamer now because I, I game on Twitch now. <laughs> I also game on Twitch. I have been so lazy about it, but the goal is to get back to it consistently. But yeah, we talked about it a few weeks ago. So after the fundraiser is done, we're gonna try to get it on there as soon as possible. You won't be able to do it uh, during this weekend. Can we? Is it can, is it that quick of a turnaround? Oh, is it like on Twitch's timeline? Is that the issue? I I think so. I think you have to submit it. They have to review it and then like mm. implement it. So I mean. Um, I haven't gotten banned yet, so I'll just keep directing people. I've also seen other people like do like fundraising for specific people. Yeah. Um, so I don't think they enforce it too hard, but we we definitely want it like down the line at least on there. Yeah. Yeah, on Twitch, we can just comment, like, make sure to text TransJoy to 44321, and then you can still paste, like, copy and paste links in the comments, but 
it's like there is an integrated way to do it that's very pretty and streamlined yes but yeah that's what we're trying to work to oh I'm, I'm gonna go talk to them about and that for right those now. of you out of, that are not in the u.s like me i'm miss canada and we are uh you can you can donate through paypal at the paypal link in in that link it's all there is um, a canada. way to pay yes come on canada represent where did Yuri go? I don't know. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, didn't you just get a TikTok? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've had a Do TikTok, have... but I finally started posting on it. Do you have a thousand followers yet? I have like 24,000? Yeah. I think now. Oh, period. Yeah. So you could be going live on yours too. Well. <laughs> yeah. I My live access got suspended until the 5th. Oh, this happened God. yesterday. Yeah. yeah, my my account was one of the so ones that was hot. So that was the plan. Wow. Mm -hmm. We thought that you was it because was of the sick. video, but that you tape you tape that woman farting on the plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that, that really unkind That's lady I sat next to. <laughs> she was just constantly ripping it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the video? I, I saw that on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> was there a video of a girl farting? Yeah, she's right there. That was she's funny. Blonde wig. There's Jory. Oh. At first, I didn't recognize that it was you, and I was like, oh my god. Is that <laughs> yeah. Like, Who is it? Who's this person that's, that's filming Jory? It's like, and then, oh my god. <laughs> a lot of people thought that, and then you there were like, me. people in the comments being like, Jory stitched or like reposted this. This is her girlfriend. Like, guys, it's okay. <laughs> More arrest. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah. Listen, the hottest girlies are the IBS girlies. Truly. My husband can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> IBS but he's French from Montreal. It doesn't matter. He doesn't. He doesn't. He just goes ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frenchman. The best lovers I ever had. The, the best cloth. lovers I ever had. You want to hear a story? <laughs> Another time. No. Tap, tap, tap that screen. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, screen. tap the screen. <laughs> if you want to donate, you can donate by going to the link in our bios, or you can text TransJoy, all one word, to 44321. Um, it's trans joy. One word. So four, four, three, two, one. One word. And, one the, money, word. and the money is going like the the people that get it are the people that are the most um, that are are the has to have the least access to it, right? Yeah, they're yeah. either in states where they are at risk of anti-trans legislation, have trouble getting to it because of existing anti-trans legislation, or they are disabled, um, housing insecure, all of that. So, right, and they can and they can help with uh, with HRT and all that too, like mm -hmm. being able to do, get all yep. that. HRT all that finders, yeah. gaps, surgeries, laser electrolysis. If it's gender affirming, point of pride will take care of that. So, yeah. so if you're watching right now, it's like and you can't donate, just just share, interact with mm -hmm. her, uh, their live, all that stuff um, um, to yeah. get the word out there and. Um, yeah, and if you're trans and you need access to care, the applications to receive the care will open up this November. Yep. Oh, exactly. that's good to know. Good to know. This yeah. November. Okay, got it. And Why is there such a lag? I don't know. Um, it's yeah. just, they, they always, it's every November is their application. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Every It's been that way for years. Um, okay. And it just happens that, you know, Trans Day of Visibility is in March, and then their application remembrance is, is always there. remembrance and Trans Remembrance is, is in November, yeah. which is cool. November. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, and just for anybody that's tuned in, it's like I'm a I'm a 62 year old woman of a teen trans experience, started in 1977 when I was 15, and um, why we have that Day of Remembrance in November is because not many of us made it from back then, and it's still so hard for us especially in the black and brown uh femme community and um you know when i hear stories about what's going on in that community it reminds me oh, i'm gonna cry but it's, it reminds me of, of what 
what it was for everybody back then. There was no support. Our LGBTQ centers, our ways of getting help was to run away to the biggest city that had the biggest stroll, you know, that you could find trans people um, um, or trans mothers or older people that would help you find that access. And it was like, you know, finding a, finding a back alley happy you know what i mean it's yeah. like back then it was like finding that and it's like and and um and it was in a, a lot of unhealthy ways to to get our surgeries there's a lot of quacks out there yeah. all that stuff and it's like we don't have that today that the first part part of the fight is over and that's our second part is like now to thrive you know with this and so it's so important for us to to um to uh, help support these uh organizations like point of pride and stuff uh for the marginalized, the people that do not have those packages, you know, and at work, you know, those unicorn packages that where you can actually get everything paid for and stuff. So this will help so many in your country in the U.S. Yeah. yeah so thank you for doing this, Max and gang. And, well, and in other countries, yeah. people from other countries are also allowed to apply and, you know, they take everything into yep. consideration. Oh, that's good to know because when I read the thing, I, I was going, "Oh, this is only for the U.S." It's like I was going for for surgeries. They do prioritize people in the U.S. Um, right. for for uh, like the binders, the gaffs. Um, um, I think HRT is only the U.S. Yeah, but for right. binders and gaffs, it is worldwide. And then for um, hormones i think they do it like through folks i think is their partner so i think it's only the u.s for now but right. then surgeries surgeries they do prioritize in the u.s but they have given it to people outside of the u.s before yep. right okay you just have to Good. you might you know have to get a ticket find a place to stay in the u.s but they can take the, surgery the surgery has to be done in the u.s yeah right that still might so be uh, there's weird here. laws about nonprofits giving money so away, yeah, so it's like the sense. surgery and the hormones, like all the care has I to be done you. in the U.S., and but to apply, okay. you so, can be outside. Yay, I'm an asshole. Right. That's, that's cool. But you might have to dilate at Hamburger Mary's. <laughs> that's part of the experience. <laughs> On your way home. <laughs> well, I'm a, this is kind of a... a the sideways healthcare thing that that I'm dealing with as an as an aging trans woman uh, of a you know trans experience from 1977 when I was 15. I'm 62. Okay, things are you know happening, right? I was diagnosed with AFib last year. Work and um, and um, and you know I've had migraine disease you know my whole adult life, and a lot of those are connected with uh, the stressors from having a trans life. You know, as surviving in, in you know in this world for this long, you know, like you know, because we uh, you know any of us that do survive, we we got we usually have a lot of ailments, right? So it's like for me, like um, you know, I was diagnosed with um, um, sleep apnea because they did the tests for the AFib, for uh, you know, which is connected to the PTSD, right? Like it's all just this one long thread, right? So I'm like, so I. I I went on a trial for this a CPAP machine, and then now I had to like purchase purchase a machine, throw it on throw it on my credit, Sorry, right? Everybody. And it's like an I and I'm like um um and I have um uh, you know that's part of my you know is that part of is that is that part of trans healthcare? You know what I mean? Like because you know that that happened from way back then, and I think that you know the, the other, there's a few other. Um, aging trans people that I know of that are getting like follow-up for their surgeries and stuff. Would they call them for stuff like that? Like that's what I want to know. That's like that. Because as, as we age, especially with bottom surgeries, you know, is it is it got is it regular surgeries or is it but it's actually connected to, you know, the trans surgery too, right? Yeah. So there's that stuff as well. Hey, Aiden, yeah. if there was an elder trans person who had surgery and then as they got older, they needed to get more care, more maybe more surgeries, would Point of Pride help them out? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Should they bother applying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If they yeah. if they have a need, they can apply, yeah. and they should apply. Yeah. And, and, and also with, like, CPAP machine connected to, to, uh, to AFib and the 
um, and the, the symptoms of the PTSD from living a life lived trans, is that healthcare? Um, I think it's, well, it's um, gender affirming, like yeah. related services. So I don't know about that one. I would, yeah. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. I think sure it's always worth applying. Yeah. 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 Always, always, always apply. I'm fucking do it. Always worth applying, and yeah, it's definitely in this moment, I it's really focused on gender affirming healthcare, which can look like a lot of different things. So I think that you know when you're trying to get something that might be a little outside of the box of what might be stereotypically viewed as gender affirming care, then I think like it's really just about explaining and letting people know what. A new, that the nuance about it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All the nuance. And sure. I think the other thing to, you know, when it comes to our programs is we're really trying to provide those who have barriers to care, right? Um, so right. we have a pretty rigorous review process where at least minimum three people have to review. Everyone has to be trans or non-binary who is reviewing. They have to go through... Um, me? tests and scoring uh, a course in order, order to, and they have to pass the course um, so that we know that they understand what our procedure is the screen to pick my um, as well as complete different biases uh, uh, like courses is the word that's not actually the word I'm looking for but it's the word my brain can come up with this in this moment <laughs> <laughs> especially if there's a lot happening around uh, there's a lot happening <laughs> behind the camera yeah the taping thing shut, is, shut up don't say a word I don't even know the handyman is doing her handyman thing I got duct tape but I have this under control did you know red green I see yes red green was an idol of mine I, okay that when I, uh, somebody's what? gonna be doing a shablam or something what yeah. is a red green Oh my god. When I went to Catholic first school, who we had them. a saying that was, um, if it rips, duck it. If you can't duck it, fuck it. That was our Logan. Oh school. my god, my fucking legs. <sighs> yeah, because all of your uniforms would fall apart. Is there a meme? What is um, happening? Wait, exactly. we need a behind the scenes look. <laughs> I know. Introvert behind the scenes is coming. We're just not there yet. But, oh, that looks so much better. <sighs> oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know you fuckers didn't believe me, did you? I believed, believed you. God. It just was a spectacle to yeah. you. Damn happened. right, have a lot of faith in the handyman. I'm gonna figure some shit out. I... What the fuck is happening? I don't know. I'm figuring out. I'm we working on it. I'm happy we don't know what's thing. happening, but we believe in it. We believe in it. See? I'm getting it all centralized. No, this is... It's safe, you know? <laughs> See? It's not always believing. <laughs> My favorite sentence is Mercury. Yeah. Oh, don't. Uh, that's you said, you said that's yeah. the meanest thing that you could you say to me. Yeah. <laughs> I brought this so you can put non, you know, things that don't need full access. Wait, right but now we can't Are see we the, the 600K or the uh, I'm getting there. You hold your goddamn horses. <laughs> Are we going to have to take out the chainsaw to, like, cut that thing down three feet? First of all, no one's taking the chainsaw. I got a table saw. We're okay. fine, okay? okay? What is happening? <laughs> they were made to uh, rip open the... Yeah, yeah, they were, yeah. For childbirth. They what? were. I'm not... Yeah. Yeah. Chainsaws... We got more unfun facts. Yeah. Chainsaws were originally designed to cut into human flesh to, in order to to open up somebody in order to get a baby out. Yeah. I'm not kidding. To cut into bone. They were literally for designed to cut into... Yeah. Yeah. Chainsaws. Chainsaws were invented for C-sections. Yes. Yeah. Where's our history person? Chainsaws. Don't you have cha someone who's... <laughs> Call us right now! <laughs> I'm not a history person, but I'm like a, a terrific fact person, I guess. Clearly. Yeah. Oh my... I did not know that. I How did I you did not know that? I did not so, need you I'm that. I'm surprised. Yeah, sadly, I, I, I really wish I was... This one was like... It looks like... Yeah. yeah. I, oh, fuck me. <laughs> also, did you know that girl hyenas are like transcoded because they got like yeah. eight inch? Yeah. yeah they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're my favorite. Yeah. Hyena, also, spider monkeys. I like the only, What's your favorite second one? That's the second on Google. Which one of these are your. Which one of these children would you like be your okay red with? One is the, not, the middle. Yeah, it's the same. Middle one. child. The middle one? Yeah. Okay. I want you to know that I'm going to. Destroy this one because you told me not to. It's like the whole like Targaryen thing. 
from Game of Thrones. You know, Boy. she's not gonna get some oh. numbers now, kind of, except for on this one. You see the numbers I, I now? Saying, right? it's not like no one's gonna get this reference. It isn't even funny still to me. Still covered under okay, a bunch Sorry, of YouTube. I still love you. How do I open? Oh. Okay. You do this. We'll oh my god, that's a weird looking chainsaw. Ah, you Googled it. Okay, hold on, Max, get out of the way. Get out of here. I'm, I'm Max getting kicked out. Max taking out of the five damn space. Well, Max is thinking, no, don't, don't go that way. Don't go, just go this way. Just move I know, around I'm standing, it. I'm standing. Get out of the way. Move around it. You're going to see how I act like it's there. Okay. Okay, we're still there. Oh, shit, this looks really fucking good. Yeah, it does. Wait, here, here, Max, you go this way. No, it's here. And then I'll come around. Right. Holy here. fuck tits. Whoa. Excuse me? Tell me that doesn't look good. It looks great. It looks great. Okay. Yes, you're here. Good. No, you you're pointing at here. me. Maybe you're queer, you maybe you're not. Good. Okay, you got it, Yeah. Now we need those two. Yes, we'll, I will I will help and you then out. And if they were right here, the okay. shorter, they can be the shorter ones. They can be right up my boobs. Boop, boop, boop. Above boop, boop. Oh my god. Over, I, oh, I, over $613,000 now. 613, $613 baby. I want you to know, I, Is this good? of all the things I've. No, no, it's not got it. You just go do the thing. Okay, all right. Does. All I'm, right. I'm the professional. All know. right, now I have to. F these people are looking at the floor. <laughs> oh, I am proud of this achievement. We can't see Jory, though. Him. What? All right, we're going to figure this out There's, for y'all. There's no Jory. Yeah. Do it again. Well, well, we don't need Jory. Well, <laughs> I'm going to hit you in the face. That's fine. Have you ever done so we need your hand? Yeah. One here, right? Yes. One yeah. here? Okay, yeah. great. Give me one second. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone. Did you say that? Give me that one. Okay. It's just just a little joke. We're gonna need chargers at some point too. Yeah, no, can we, we flip this. So we can we can, can fix we can, we can just get, like, yeah we can course. do something. That's a good idea. Yeah, we got yeah that that, that was the kind of the I was gonna okay. have us bring it down. We can yeah, that table can, can be different just, heights. Can we just clamp this yeah. to the other side? <laughs> what? Can we just clamp this power strip to the other yeah, side? Yeah, you totally can. Okay. Why don't you just turn it around? That's easier. Um, it's on wheels. it's because it has that. It, if you want to go so are under, they setting up to, to, to go yeah, just, just online or something right now? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're setting up other phones because they got unbanned on other accounts and they're trying to make all of the phones and tablets and whatever online they got unbanned on other accounts and they're trying to make all of the phones and tablets and whatever else they're using to go live as close together as possible so that each different account, each different platform has the best angle possible. Yes. This looks absolutely wild. That's what they're doing everywhere. I know, but I'm telling you, I think this is the best route to go, baby. Oh, no, I agree. I'm just... I'm you surprised we... donating hundred dollars. I'm surprised we haven't done this before. Don't forget, y'all, we are here to fundraise for, you know, healthcare well, for trans people. We're all trans here, you know, trying to just help the community in whatever ways we can. Oh, that's the behind the scenes. That's what it looks like. That looks bad that shit. Looks, that, that looks bad shit. That's, Put a Victorian child in front gorgeous. of this. <laughs> that looks amazing. Wow. Screenshot that. Screenshot so, that. The, the, Wait, we should take a selfie. Oh, yeah. that'd be cute. Let's do it in a second. We're kind of working on the charger thing, and I yeah. think a few of our phones are ready to go. So we're trying to... What the fuck is... Y'all figure out your life. Is this a rock or a mushroom? A that's a rock. If you would like to donate, please oh. text TransJoy one word to 44321 or go to the link in Mercury and Joy's I, I bio. I have a collection of rocks. Wasn't there another phone? If you don't you live in the US, you can this scroll right. down to the bottom of that oh, link no, and there's a paper. Yeah, I think she's using it to like. Do you want this change, one? To, change. I'm just using it to watch stuff. We if we get lot access to another thing we can put. Do you wanna hear about oh. hyenas? Hyenas are my very favorite animal because they are matriarchal, which means yeah, women are in charge. Here. And hyenas are very trans femme coded because the female hyena actually has a um, appendage that is typically larger than the males and in which the female regularly enjoys using in a pleasurable way I had on, no idea. on hyenas of both sexes. You know what the best part is? Unfortunately though, when the female hyena gives birth, That's she does lose her appendage, unfortunately. You're but in, until that happens, she regularly uses it for pleasure 
on members of both sexes, of male hyenas and female hyenas. Very queer, very trans. They're my favorite animal. Um, also, oh. And then it falls off. I have a tech question. Oh, wait. Tech question? I have a tech question for the people oh. who are watching on all these devices. About hyenas? No, not about the dick. <laughs> not about the hyena dick. <laughs> We're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about uh, the audio. So now that they're all close together, the question is for the people watching: Does the audio feedback happen? Are we cool to go? No. There's no feedback on this on your account, Mercury, on TikTok. Good, I can't hear anything. Good. Weird. It looks like we're good on all of them. Okay. Now I just need some friends to help. Oh, once we get this table the fuck out of the way. Yeah. We will get the charger in a second. Okay. I need to get the lights in place so they're in a better position. Oh, okay, okay. And then we can put the table in place and then put the table lower and do all the things we want to. You know what I mean? Okay. By the way, the hyenas, they when they give birth, like most of the babies, like they pass because they suffocate in they also give birth through the chunky vulva. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We're trying to raise money <laughs> for gender for <laughs> care. Which looks like binders, no, HRT, be about it, electrolysis, hyenas. surgery, and sometimes an extended penis from a hyena. Girl. That falls off. Girl pe lady dick. <laughs> that falls off after birth. Also, <laughs> <laughs> and we think we have trouble. <laughs> Truly. Okay. Are we going to figure the? Are we going to move the table or? Who's doing it? How we want to do it? Oh my god. Oh. So fun. Not the people that just got here and don't know the context. Okay. <laughs> We're giving fun facts. That before you so before fun. you move before you you do too much though. Take everything off that table and then lower it. We ha have you heard about the ribbon eel? Yeah, the ribbon eel? Jesus Christ. That spontaneously changes sex? Yes. Okay. It Just looks like at the environment real. and sees what is needed we'll and will change to whatever is needed. Extra one. Where? I live. It's like, but, 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 like there's something wrong with us. You know what I mean? Like it's so weird. Do you, oh like we're, the only, you know, we're, we're the only mammal that's transphobic. <laughs> Do you want to know a fun Disney fact? So, Finding Nemo, infamous as it is, is actually a trans story because a school of clownfish is also matriarchal. It is ruled by one female that is typically the largest fish of the school of fish. And there's only one female to all of the little males that help the female. And if the female passes away, just like in Finding Nemo, when she got attacked at the very beginning of the movie, who took over the school but Marlin. So in the real world, when a female like leader of the school of fish dies, the largest male spontaneously changes sex into female in order to take care of the school of fish and to be able to um, procreate and continue on, you know, the line of their family. And so Marlin would have actually in the real world been a trans girl. Marlin would have been a woman that changed sex. So if Marlin wants to identify as a man and go by Marlin, then he's actually like double trans. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Was that, that was that was that was sex to female and then identifies as a man. So Marlin is a trans woman turned trans man. Yeah, that was wow. <laughs> I my my friend Tiggy that I talked about her her name was was Marlin. I love that. It's a trans story. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's beautiful. There's also a bird in South, from in South America that that will change sexes too to see a bird? when they see yeah, a bird. Yeah, there's an actual bird, and it, it sees what is needed. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, so it's more like, natural than anything else. Absolutely. And this is the learning curve that we're having right now. You know, it's like you know. I'm the trans handy man. When I when I see what you know where we come from to today, now it's like we're so in the narrative <laughs> that, that uh, this the, the, um, this huge backlash so had to happen right after Laverne Cox was on the cover of Time magazine in 2014. We all knew that there was going to be a blowback after that, right? Like there's this big renaissance, you know, and I, you know, and I I came out 
you know, at a scalp around that time too. Um, first, first on on Twitter and then visually on on YouTube. But um, but yeah, there's this with this huge renaissance that comes an awakening. So all of these people from Middle Canada and Middle America and stuff, they're all like waking up and going, "What's this trans stuff?" Like you know what I mean? And you know, all, all these narratives are being spun or whatever. But it'll spin itself out because it it reminds me of. You know, in the early '80s, when our, um, when you know Anita Bryant was happening, and you know, and there was you know all this backlash towards the gay movement yeah. that was ta- that yeah, had that its big renaissance. No, you could put that side down. And and um, <laughs> you know, and now like here we are in that same kind of spot. Oh, is that it? This is Aiden, the hand, the trans handy daddy. Yeah, yeah, the trans handy daddy is how it's trying to make everything possible. (laughs) Hey. And I want you to know. If you might, you can probably see it right there is how we're holding everything together, and we're using duct tape. Uh, You know, one of the most gender affirming things that you can get out there duct Duct tape. tape. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) When in doubt, Duct tape it. <laughs> I not agree more, although I will say, as a girl who has tucked with duct tape, there are oh. better options than duct tape. Yeah, yes. there are way better. Hey, there's brothers, better options for binding your tips, too. I'm just saying. <laughs> there are better things to tuck with than nice duct tape. I promise duct tape will damage your skin. Remember, <laughs> if you're ready to say fuck it, just duck it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> My dad would be so proud if he wasn't transphobic. <laughs> oh my god! I remember when I was secretly using um, duct tape, and I didn't tell anybody else. This okay, was something in the eighties, early eighties, because I thought it was so weird. Is you know what I mean? Head? And that I didn't think. And then it, everybody else was secretly doing it too. It's like a whole bunch of stuff right there and charge everything. It works. There. But I mean, it works for the beach. It did. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, for the yeah for swimming. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then I remember I was at Rec Beach. It's a famous uh, nude beach in, in, in Vancouver. And um, and I was, uh, you know, all duct taped and stuff. And I, one of my most gorgeous sisters, she comes out of the water and it just was like something from Barbarella. And all the, everybody's just going, <gasps> all these men are just drooling. And then she walked Mom, out, man. you know, and she, she didn't have surgery down there. She was gone off. And then, you know, people were just like, holy fuck, right? And I was, and I was, I, I could not, I was like so proud of her that she could do that. But I know that I, but for me, it's like, it, you know, it just, I just didn't have the guts to do anything like that. Mm-hmm. But it's like, um, but yeah, it's like. Why am I envisioning like Ariel, like walk out of the water, you know, and like the shiny sparkly dress. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm envisioning. <laughs> well, when I see your content and I see you do that, I, I'm so proud of you that you do that. And it's, you're so beautiful. And it's just, um. That, you know, we just so far and so much. Come on, Jory. Jory, put those um, back. They're, they're, they're an emergency one. Honestly, it, it helps, like, having trans partners, you know? Like, at this point in my yeah. life, like, I don't know if I could, like, seriously date someone there who's not trans, trans at this point. Like, point. like my, my partner like, right now is, like, trans-masculine. And, so now you know, they're, that back they just understand. They chance. just get it. It's and, like, the, the wheels so are we, we always joke that, like, we're we're straight with extra steps like we're hetero like we have heterosexual intercourse and (laughs) like we're doing as the lord intended and (laughs) we love making jokes about it because it's just so ridiculous you know like of course neither of us are straight of course we're not hetero and you know everything about us is so queer but it's just funny and and that's what's so beautiful today is that, that that's not like I was so shamed, you know, in the you know late seventies, you know, what started being trans because Harry Benjamin standards of care was so gatekeeping. If you even said that, because I actually did have a secret crush on some girls and stuff too, right? And it's like and and but I could never I could never say it, and other trans people kids wouldn't say it because you were always like you know. Invalidated. Uh, made fun of and invalidated, right? Because that was the standards of care that we were taught, and the yeah. patriarchy was so thick then. So we really, we really ate our own crap, right? And so, so coming on, um, coming on to um, coming out of stealth and coming online and telling my stories and listening to you all, I had to unpack my own inner transphobia so much. I didn't even know what non-binary was. 
I didn't even realize Wait, that what? I was so. I didn't realize that I had an online. Yeah, but it's still the, it's, uh, the way that it is. Childhood, I, I, I was lost. I that I look had, really young. Right, right. thing. So it's, it's amazing how. So when I see these these gatekeeping friends, still people that are reason, medicalists and stuff, I kind of you know I, I I understand where they're at, but it's like I really hope that they outgrow and they they remain touchable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna agree more. You know, and that that is the beauty of, you know, like having the visibility that we have today is because Honestly, now really good. we and are becoming more accepting we'll of the, you know, oh, thousands of ways, well, millions of ways, your you know, skin tone to is different than mine, yes. identify <laughs> and to, you know, present to the world. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and all of them are valid and beautiful and wonderful. It's just when it comes to like our history though, like there's that lack of safety in our history there's that lack of understanding education acceptance in our history and so of course people were more likely to be as binary as they could out of safety you know out of just trying to exist in the world that was not made for us and so the safer it becomes the more educated people come the more access we have you know then the more we're allowed to play and have nuance and, you know, be a little bit different because there is more safety to do so. You know, there is more understanding and education oh, to be good. able to do so. Absolutely. And I fully hope that that continues, you know, and that's why, like, the incredible work that's happening right now, you know, is so powerful and something I'm so thankful for. And that's a great reminder that if y'all have a dollar to donate or hell, if you have 10k to donate, you can text transjoy one word to 44321 or go to the link in Mercury and Joy's bios. If you do not live in the US, make sure you go to that link, scroll down to the PayPal link so you can donate. And if you don't have even a dollar because every single individual dollar does really make a difference because there are 2000 of you and if each of you just sent one dollar that's two thousand dollars it adds up quick and if you don't even have a dollar that's okay because your time your comments your shares and tap tap, tap the screen single time you double tap that screen it helps don't tap that screen comment down below you, lab. if you haven't already uh <laughs> do us a favor and make sure you follow rose and marty as well yeah um we're finally in a position i think we're figuring out what the fuck we're doing uh so Marty and, and Rose are just holding down the fort. But also, I know Marty uh, has probably already said it, um, but it's very important that we follow and listen to our trans elders within the community. There's so few um, that are able to tell their stories right now, and Marty is one of them that never, ever allows anyone to stifle her voice. So if you want to yes. learn more about the trans experience, Marty is like, get it, get it from her mouth. And not from people who don't know what the experience was like 20, 30 years ago. So make sure you do that. And also, Rose is a badass. Uh, please follow Rose. Rose is a good friend of ours. We love her a ton. Oh, nice. There you Thank go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I wanted. That's great. Having one backup you're good, like this. Yeah, good girl. Really good. And do whatever you want, babe. I called you babe. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ames. Is, yeah, yeah I, I'm going to trust you in this one. I was just going to shut up. But my phone is just weirdly set. So, I got to tell you, I'm blind. Are you? This is bright as hell, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, if we could find a way to bring everything down a little bit, I would like it. But I think just this one. I think, it'll, no, I think the other ones are pretty bright, too. Yeah. I said that. This one's fine because it has the diffuser thing on it. The other ones are salt in my eyes. I hurt. I'm looking for the hole. These two? Yeah, we're yeah. both really bright. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with us, you two. Will twerk for money. <laughs> yeah. I'll rattle some bones for money. Listen, I'm just not <laughs> going to I don't want to get us banned. No, 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 no. Yeah, not again. Yeah, not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> we're, honestly, what's so funny last night is when Jory and I were going through, both of us were censoring ourselves at one point because we were worried we were getting banned for lewd and crude crap, you know? I wasn't censoring myself. And then, well, I was pulling back. I knew why and, we got banned. And then when we went off, I saw that we were banned for fraud and scam, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I should have just said something really profane. 
You know, I, I like saying profane shit. Oh. I like it when you say profane shit, too. Yeah, dirty That's the thing, is like, respectability politics are just so based in racism and classism and control and power because we should not need to be respectable you know we should not have to censor ourselves we should not have to you know like censor our language or you know not be our full selves in order to be like i know it's crazy likeable profitable viral like acceptable like (laughs) the guidelines you should know i should know it's so true it's so true (laughs) <laughs> it'll be so nice that you know we can talk about our bodies and stuff like just how you know like an aunt is talking to doris about you know when auntie flo comes to town and all that stuff right and, you know we can talk about our experiences without it being <laughs> like, like some really, really you know something to be banned yeah, yeah. or you know people have like a normal depressed life. and all oh. that it's just it just keeps everything so unhealthy. <laughs> we're sorry to interrupt, but some of the funniest shit just happened to us. Well, so, what happened? so it kind of feels like we're behind a glass cage right now. And everyone is just like <laughs> existing. Like there's like there's like fifteen people all just doing their own thing. Just like living their life <laughs> behind the cameras. And we, we didn't know that my editor's birthday was today. <laughs> They were just singing happy birthday. They were just like, uh, right, right behind the camera. Their birthday. They happy just birthday, Gracie. Today. That, oh my happy God, birthday. Gracie, happy birthday. Well, but happy literally, birthday. right Wait, behind the camera is camera. happening. And Jory looks at me and I'm like, I didn't know. You made Gracie come to work on their birthday? I did not. I didn't know. <laughs> You're terrible. Are they comfortable being on camera? Can we all wish them happy birthday? Happy birthday, Gracie. I can't swim. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I just smiled. <laughs> <laughs> now we're one for one on references. Each of you don't. Where know. are you? Where are you? Sh- live from um, uh, Mercury? Like I don't even. Where do you live? Are you like in? Do you do you say where you are? Like what, yeah, what state Tropical, or whatever? Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, I always say travel okay. to Madison, Wisconsin. And we're in. I the- almost got my vagina there. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget it. I will never forget it. I want you to know that Marty, two years ago when you were on our live and we're helping to raise money then, you said the exact same thing two years ago. And I think I said I wanted to put it on the billboards for Madison, uh, um, home of Marty's pussy. (laughs) The birthplace of Marty's pussy. I almost got it there. Happy it was actually I didn't get it there. No, I'm poor. I'm a Portland girl. Period. Read my lips. <laughs> Stop! Stop, girl! Or the tattoo. Or the tattoo. $300 away from 621K. Woo! Wait, 621K? Uh-huh. That's pretty good. I really want to draw 621,000? Yes, go for those, like, 2016 brows. Get the really thick ones. That's a lot of donuts. The it's so funny. My husband went, went to, to do a Buddhist retreat this afternoon until to, to the end of tomorrow. And I'm going, like, oh, what am I going to do? And then all of a sudden, this, here I am. This is fun. Um, do we have all our things charging? Yeah, I have all mine. Okay. I don't. Do you want me to charge them? Not at all. Okay. Should we change this? I'm looking for the home. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we should probably put it at the new goal. <laughs> We're up. What's the oh, new goal? Right. Okay. 700, probably? Okay. Tap, tap, tap the screen, folks. Hello, everybody. Oh, the okay. camera's going to visit me. That's Stop being live and saw, saw that we're supporting the Buddhist retreat. Thank you. 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 On our quest for four million dollars for trans health care. What is going on with and, um, 
so Rose, say, say the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> We've already raised $670,000, which is so incredible. I just think, like, compared guys. to the first year the that Mercury it? did this, um, you know, and raised 100K, like, it's come a long not, way, not you know? And so I want to, like, really emphasize that this is already a win, you know, that, like, we're already doing this, but we're only halfway through this, you know, entire event. So we still have so much more to go. And so if you would like to donate, you can text the word, one word, trans joy, one word to 44321, or go to the links in Mercury's and Jory's bios. And if you don't live in the US, you can scroll down to the bottom of that link page where there is a PayPal link that anybody can donate to no matter where you live. Um, and don't forget that like, even if you don't even have a dollar, because every single dollar does count. Like there are 6.3 million likes. If you, you know, if each person that liked just gave $1, like that's a huge impact. Um, but if you don't even have a dollar, that's okay because you can share your time. You can comment, you can share the live, you can double tap that screen. It all makes a difference. It helps boost, um, you know, by liking, commenting, sharing on whatever platform it is as well. Like that helps boost the event the live and that helps more people come on and that helps us reach it and don't just like share by like copying the link which does help boost but if you actually share it to your friends to your family to you know your co-workers you know anybody that you think is affirming trans supportive an ally or queer themselves like send them you know maybe not the link to the live if they're working today or whatever it is a weekend but you can also just like send them the donation link and say, hey, I believe in this cause, you know, like it's important, you know, for trans people to have access to gender affirming care, you know, in the ways that are developmentally appropriate. And that is what we're here doing. You know, I just posted two videos this week for Trans Week of Visibility to specifically discuss like the importance of trans affirming care and that it is not trans people advocating for minors to undergo permanent gender you know or like genital surgery but it is happening every single day to people who are circumcised and to intersex babies who are born if you want to learn more about that you can watch those videos but like the point of those videos is to say that trans people are only here to help support other trans people who need developmentally appropriate forms of gender affirming care. When you're five years old, that is not bottom surgery. When you're five years old, that probably means getting a haircut Guys, or maybe buying a new wardrobe. Maybe it's changing their name. It's really simple things when they're that young. You know, as they get older, it can look different. But, you know, what we're fundraising for here, I believe Point of Pride only gives out to adults, to people who are over the age of 18. And they don't just help people afford surgeries. They help people receive gender affirming clothing, such as binders and tucking gaffs and electrolysis, which I was the first recipient to receive a grant to help afford permanent hair removal. As a Mexican girly, I had a lot of hair to remove. And so I'm very, very thankful, you know, that I got to receive that affirming care when I could not afford it because it truly changed my life. And, you know, so that's what we're here to help support is helping thousands and thousands of trans people be more affirmed, feel more, you know, comfortable in their bodies, you know, have better mental health, have better security and better safety out in the world. Because when you, um, your outwardly expression of your gender aligns with your internal understandings, it creates this level of safety that cannot be overstated. Yes, and this is life giving health care. It's, it's like so many of my, I, you know, if anybody's just tuning in, I'm Marty. I'm a woman of a teen trans experience that started in 1977 when I was 15. I'm 62. And, um, you know, so many, 99.9% .9 of my friends aren't physically on this earth and that we're gone by the end of the 80s because uh, secondary characteristics kicked in. There wasn't the support in Canada, absolutely nothing uh, back then. Everybody had to work in marginalized SW work and um, 
so many lost their lives because of that and uh, for gender affirming care that was unsafe as well um, so you know by donating you're actually saving lives too because people uh, you know so many people unalive themselves because they could not get that care because it's tough to live in this world you know with this it, it, the way that we are to, we have we have come so far and I'm so happy that we have, but we have so far to go as well. And um, so please, please help us to um, achieve our goal um, and helping others. So um, yeah, so they can live happy lives, not just survive, but thrive. Yeah. And if you are trans and you need access to gender affirming care in whatever forms, um, the applications to receive the money that we are raising will be available in November through Point of Pride's website. How's it going, Mercury? Um, good, we're just trying to get some things figured out. We, I appreciate okay. you two doing all this work, just killing it. Do our we pleasure, know, our do, pleasure. Does my viewers know we what you. we're currently at? I love you we're too. 624, 837. So let's go for 625. Go Jory, go Jory. <laughs> this number right here is going to start saying the most updated number at all times. Slay at all times. Uh -huh. Yay. Yeah, we're going to try to stay yeah. on top of it. So Which number? What we'll do is... I see, is that 700,000? Are we already there? So that's, that's our next goal. We're, right now, oh, we're at 625-ish. Okay. Now, they're going to round up every five. So it's going to be 625, then 630, then 635. At 635 and 640. Why don't we just... So the momentum Let's give her... We need, we need Jinx to come on and do a song and dance now or something. I feel like you introduced me to it. It makes way more sense. Yeah. Or we've not. done this for yeah, over 24 do, I, hours. I, was, I heard, I heard uh, Mercury yesterday talking about the Jerry Lewis telethon, and I grew up watching that one. And... Um, I watched that one. I loved it. All my stars would be on. I care about Nat. Everybody would be, you know, no, they're doing their little bit. And I, and I thought, no. oh my God, wouldn't this be neat to, to make this grow like that? And then you could have like Jinx Monsoon come in and do a number and this and that. I you would know what I mean? Live. It was so like, I just want to see Jinx come out like, I've got a little motto. That yeah. all we could actually make that happen. <laughs> uh, totally. Get to mama. Mama's good to you. That's what we need. <laughs> oh, I don't have any. I don't have a bra. That hurt. <laughs> yeah, this this corset sweatshirt my friend makes. I just love it. I love it. I always think it's a dog. Beautiful genius. I'm like, it's always a puppy in the background. Where's he even coming from? Yeah, that's. A, what are you doing to that puppy? I got these dogs barking. Oh my god. Please. What is this leak? Okay, I'll go somewhere else. No, it's fine. Squeaky chair or something. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. How is this? There we go. Oh, it's the sign getting up to. Oh, it's the marker. Yeah, it's the yeah. marker. Oh, it's the marker. Oh, there it is. Figured it out. So the numbers that are in our little squares are those the people that are watching and in, in our on our like channel. It does. I don't know I what the no numbers idea. are on the boxes. What are, the, what, Jory, what are those numbers in the boxes? What are the numbers in our <coughs> little box? Oh, that's, that's <coughs> people who have sent oh, gifts. people <coughs> gifting to us. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, dear. That Hello, drop. Where is it? Line okay. Oh, wow. Only a little P came out. Oh, oh wow. so the points are if they give us a gift, if they follow us, or if they like our, um, oh, those are points. Our lives. Yeah, so that's that. what the points reflect: is gifts, follows, and likes on our we can put this pages. On. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Well, oh, and have that be our goal, and have that be our number. Yeah. 
Or had that be text? Look at us all learning. Because <laughs> we can just like, reset and it'll reload. Always, always stay teachable, kids. That's how you get perfect skin at 62. You stay teachable. Period. That's why we haven't done that before, remember? I think there's a way to invert it. I think there probably is on here. We are we are trying to be trans IT ladies now, um, so we're learning how to do stuff. Oh. The trans handy hackers. The trans handy. Oh, that's good. Handy hackers. Rose, you should do content creation full time. Weird. I haven't thought of that. Yeah, really think about it. Do you it. think I'd be good at it? I think you would be. I don't think anyone will follow me. I think you would be. Just make sure you, when you go to the White House. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wait, all right, y'all. It's been good. It's been real. I was thinking we're going to. Girl, I love you. I love you so much. I love you too. I love you too. I'm sorry, I was so proud of you when I saw that. I don't care. Me too. I made <laughs> Me a, too. I even made a video. I even made a video. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Hey, Marty, there was very few things I was going to know for sure when I saw that. Number one was that Marty was going to have support for this. <laughs> yeah, I had no fear there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's yes, what the, that's what the I pride, have pride, pride, used to be, pride really marches used to be like that. Well, they were protests when 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 I would, when when started when I was young. It's like the first Vancouver one. It was a protest. Like we had beer balls thrown at us and everything. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'd be like, and we'd be like, you know, showing our breasts or my little. You know, any sign up, kind of thing. But. Well, that was honestly like the coolest part about what happened because it was traumatic. It was really, really hard to get attacked, you know, on all sides in the media and in person alike. But the coolest part about it was, um, you know, like feminist activists, you know, who marched on Washington, burned their bras, you know, were topless, like in the 70s 80s 90s and Absolutely. people you know who were in those early you know queer rights protests and marches like mm -hmm. i had about a dozen people emailing and messaging me like hey like i'm you know an older queer person i'm an older feminist you know and i was there marching in dc topless <laughs> burning my bra you know doing this and that and they were like you're continuing the fight like thank you for you know what you're doing and so like to be called like one of them literally called me like a, a queer rights feminist hero and that made me like tear up and like cry because it meant so much to like you know hear that from people that i look up to you know like from people that like yeah. i've learned about you know like yeah that history is why i'm here today yeah okay. it's incredible that you know, people like you, Marty, are still here living, you know, like to tell personal stories from that history, you know, that is so powerful. And, you know, something that was really important as like a perspective shift for me is that if I'm pissing off Nazis, if I'm pissing off people who want to commit the capital G word against trans people, then I'm doing the right thing. You know, it was hard to receive so much hate. It was hard to have so much backlash and negativity and yeah. death threats, you name it. It was hard. But the perspective shift that helped me kind of get over all of that hardship was I'm pissing off my enemies and my allies are still here, still love me, still support me. Like, you know, it was, it was really important for me to know that I'm pissing off the right people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the trans experience back in the uh, you know 1970s when I when I started, it's like it was it was so limiting. Like I shared, like you know you know you had to go to stroll to find it, find people to help you. And so I once I found that, I immediately went into the the art scene, like the punk rock scene, because it was so the 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 trans community was was so marginalized and sick right like it was it was very unhealthy you know and um 
So I, you know, I got, I always say I was kidnapped by a bunch, uh, uh, by this group of um, uh, 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 black leather, black leather lesbian gang gang in, in Victoria, and they, they helped raise me, type of thing. And uh, it was, and, like, there was a couple that were queer, but back then, that, the word queer was, it was just different because everybody kind of mixed back then, you know, in the straight scene, everything was quite androge and stuff. We just came out of. You know, we just came out of rock and roll and and glam rock, and it, we were in glam rock and stuff. But but what I'm trying to say is that like my experience with uh, these women, these cisgender women, that helped help mold me and showed showed me that you know I could be a you know I could wear leathers and leather and ripped up you know or ripped up fishnets in a in an army women's army corps you know and pointed shoes and stuff and and um and and be a powerful woman still mm-hmm. like you didn't didn't have to be the fembot right and then and then um just tying this together with where we started about um uh, about the marginalizing it's like so I was with these women I remember we would get we get spit on and things thrown at us when we'd be walking around in, in, in out in public, and because the whole just to be a woman and be strong and, and be and punky was considered you know uncouth, and people would you know they would really treated us horribly you know back then. So um, you know yeah, it's like it's it happens to it has been happening to us forever you know as women as well. Oh. Crazy. We're pretty stuck. Yeah. You should reset your life. You think so? Yeah. I feel like it won't make much of a difference because most of the people are on your life. Right now. I would say, if you want to reset your life, you're absolutely welcome to. It depends if 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 your life is still throwing showing up on the for you page. Oh, okay. So this Natty's a trans woman that I've seen time and time again. Like she's been in my lives before a while, and she's another person that got blocked. Okay. Yeah. So Nanny's in your page right now? Yeah. What is going on? There's conspiracy happening. Natty, there was there was a lot of people that got blocked off Mer- Mercury's page. We don't know what's going on, but um, we had Basil go through and try to unblock as many people as possible. Was this recent, um, Nanny? Thank you for the compliments. There are so many really kind comments mm, that I keep seeing, and it's very flattering, and it's very, very sweet. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, like... A comment is just as important as a dollar donated because every comment, you know, helps boost the live. And honestly, like y'all giving us support, y'all specifically, you know, like complimenting us, praising us, like affirming us, like it keeps the energy going. Mercury and Jory are going to be here a very long time. They need your love. They need your support. Hey, JK, if you're still there, I'm talking to my moderator, JK. Um, could you do me a favor and go back and see why Natty was blocked? Natty the baddie. Natty the baddie. Um, I just want to test something, JK, or any of my moderators that have been here for a hot minute. They could either also tag Veggie in your chat, and Veggie can forward them to me, and we can see if I can even unblock. Oh, yeah. Okay, so JK unblocked them. Okay, JK... Um, try to have the moderators throttle up a little bit in the block and mute people over blocking them. Okay. <laughs> if you know really it's tra- if you know, wait, what? They're not really blocking from any Well, I mean, 90 the baddie was just blocked. But I don't. Uh, so. Do you think it was, I don't think it was the mods. Some, I was looking at the block list. Some of them didn't even have any moderators attributed to the block. Yeah, no, it keep a lot of people keep say, like saying that it's so your page blocking them, but you're not touching your screen. No, I'm not even on my page. I'm not like not even doing it. I'm like way over here. So I'm. I don't. I don't think it's the moderators by and large. Hold on. Is there like an auto moderation that's on? Uh, TikTok doesn't have an auto block feature. No, I took everything off. To anything that would have been in, I took it off. Yeah, but it, it, there's not even one built in. I don't know how it works though, Jory. Because like when you have filtered words, I wonder if people who like use the filtered words like ten times in a row or something, like if something happens. No. I don't know how it works. No, TikTok doesn't have that feature put in. Um. Where? It's in settings, right? In, you can you can filter words, and what it'll do is it'll mute that specific message, so it won't show up. And you sometimes you get a notification being like some comments were filtered, 
and you can set it so that you can view the filtered comments, but it won't show up to the public. It'll show like a little eye with the slash next to the comment. But there's no built-in feature um, that auto blocks people based on using filtered words. And there was, there was also people that said they were leaving supportive comments. Like there was someone who left one single supportive comment and the, they got a notification saying they're at risk of having the, their ability to comment on lives revoked. Whoa. So I, I genuinely think that there's something going on with TikTok. Do you think it's like people, like trolls are reporting people's comments that are affirming? Oh, I bet. Do that you sounds- think... Like, I, do you think, like, not just your lives are getting reported, but do you think, like, affirming comments are also getting, like, falsely reported by trolls? I'm sure, I'm sure it, there are, but I, I don't think it's that, because that wouldn't I lead think, to a block from the page. I think Jory's right. I think that, like, yeah. I'm talking to my moderators right now, and I'm, I don't know, Jory, I mean... Even if it was a mistake, we're talking hundreds. Yeah, we're talking right. hundreds of people. You, there's yeah. not, there's no chance that they're making hundreds of mistakes in such a short amount of time. Yeah. And also, there's something people, weird going people on. People are saying like, yeah, it's like if the moderator chat doesn't say tab. blocked by Mercury or blocked by a moderator, mm-hmm. and people are saying it says blocked by Mercury, but you're not touching your phone. So now I have another. While suggestion. we try to figure out another this thought. weird conspiracy, don't forget that we are here to donate. We are here to help trans people by trans people. I got my life back So for if no you reason. can. Comment a supporting comment, so double tap that to... screen, and if you have even just one dollar to spare, exactly. you can text the word trans joy, one word, to 44321, or go to the link in Jory and Mercury's sure bio, and if you yeah. don't live in the U.S., you can go to that link, scroll down to the bottom, and there is a PayPal link that you can still donate to. That we could do, but something that they could do. Well, that's the thing. Something that, that, like, the TikTok moderation team could do. Because, yes, oh, this, this is my is theory. Going for life affirming, life this, saving. This is my oh, theory. I think that because I got it back, and I think that because the TikTok moderation team didn't want us to lose a live again, hopefully, that I think they did something in place that kind of overcorrects it. Well, here's the thing. That would have had to be coded into the system, and I've literally never heard of any other creator. Couldn't they turn something on? No, they would have to code it in. They would have to have multiple people write a code, build it into the algorithm, and then switch it on, like the opposite of heating. But I've literally never heard any other creator explain that they've had, like, multiple people block specifically on lives in mass. Like, we would have heard about it. Well, then what, then what else could go on? So there could be an error in the code. So it's probably unintentional where, let's say a creator has certain strikes against their account. Yeah. It could be unintentionally blocking people. The same way that there's probably, this one I have a harder time saying because this one I'm not quite certain. It's This one seems like it's more intentional. But you know how the, if you're a marginalized person, you speak up about specific things. Like it happens to everybody. Everybody has people removed. Yeah from following them. But it seems that the people that are the most outspoken have the highest rate of removals. It could be yeah. something built in intentionally, but I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I have had many people tell me that they have been forcibly removed from following me yeah. on TikTok and Instagram that happens. And I've seen people like um, not be able to see like my content and see, have- that- like that's, liked or commented on my content and it not show up that's the thing though it's like i every single creator i've ever talked to has that experience whereas this is this seems very very this is blocking off. though i've never i've never heard of yeah people being blocked yeah from an account by accident so that's do you want to say hi to my puppy yes that's why I'm yeah. confused because it, it doesn't fall in line with anything I've ever seen happen on this app. And I've talked to hundreds oh, and seen wow, thousands of creators talk about like, people being removed. But I've never yeah, seen people say okay, they're going. My moderators are going to start checking the the block <laughs> list every couple of, Wait, like, like every half hour they're going to take turns. Okay. And they're going to try their best yeah. to moderate and see what happens. Okay. 
So I trust my mods. My mods are pretty badass. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah your Carl. mods seem great. That's why I was so confused because yeah. I'm like, you know yeah. your mods pretty and intimately. JK has been one of my mods for like almost three full years. Yeah. And all uh, my mods are people that are literally in my lives, like almost every single live. Yeah. And I don't know if Megatron still shows up here and there, but JK is very, very good. Yeah. Um, cool beans. All right. Well, I'm going to get some food. Hey, did we get food? <laughs> This is so fucking I'm weird. I'm hungry as fuck. All right. Who do we talk to if we get blocked? So Mercury's mod team is essentially going to be going through the block list every, like, 30 minutes or so and checking to see who was blocked. And if it doesn't line up with who they blocked, they're going to unblock the people that were blocked. Yeah. What a burger? I've been eating Culver's. It also might be beneficial... Like, if you're here and you're blocked, maybe put, like, the trans flag emoji in your bio or something, even just for these next two days, just as a, in case, because that will help them know, like, oh, this is probably an affirming person, we won't block you. Who's that now? Um, oh, you good. Oh. Mercury's Mods, can you unblock a creator by the name of specifically Lino? Ryan, you have to follow me though. Oh, well, that was all I know. Yeah, make sure make sure you follow all of us. <laughs> make sure you're following Marty. Make sure you're following Jory. Make sure you're following me. I'm sure most of you already follow Mercury, <laughs> but please also follow Mercury. No, I'm pretty. I'm a pretty small creator. No one knows about who I am. <laughs> Well, you know, she just started out. We're trying to help her gain yeah. followers. That's actually why we're here, is to help yeah. Mercury gain followers. I wrote a little book you might have heard of. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good girl. Guys, if you're, if you're getting blocked, my best suggestion would be Mercury's mods are in the chat. Um, rather than going to my live, because I can't... Oh. What's happening? Okay, it's cutting out. Rather than going to my live, um, because I can't read out every single person, it seems like there's a lot, I would say make a, like a second account, like a backup account, and then go and comment your ad, and they can just oh. go through. Also, keep in mind, I have we, we all have live streams that are going right next to each other now, too. I have a second account that you could watch the basically the same thing from, yeah. too. I mean, so, we're having the bulk of the conversation on Mercury's page, oh, okay. so people are kind of just listening in, and they're not actually seeing faces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is good. That? Yummy. Is that French dressing? Yeah, she I love loves French dressing. French dressing. I love a French all over my salad. <laughs> Aiden, <laughs> Aiden well, we're I'm, trying to be appropriate, Aiden. I, all right, we don't need Listen, to come in here with this fucking me. rude and crude shit. Salad. And we are raising money for transgender affirming care. <laughs> Which oh includes God. binders. Someone yeah. commented earlier, they were like, you are what you eat. And I was like, oh, then I'm cunt, bitch. I'm pussy. <laughs> Hi, Katie. My partner is trans. <laughs> Can't relate. Yeah, I don't know anyone who's trans. I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. Jeff and I are gonna do some stats in a little bit. Nice. We're getting. Oh, we're back. doing real good. Yeah. I just talked to Tori Phantom again. Tori said they're making a video right now, and I gave him some talking points. Uh, hey. And I'm going to be sending out messages after I'm done eating to all my creators, including me, the D, the M. I don't know why I was trying to be secret. No, I, I figured out I what got, you meant. I, what you yeah. mean. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> when I'm, when are we planning to post my video about um, um, me receiving electrolysis from Point of Pride? Because we could do a collab post. And if you send me the video, I'll post it on my page on TikTok too. So, my plan was to do that today, right? But I'm using yeah. the phone now. <laughs> that has that um, video on it. So, right. <laughs> if if this live goes out, Rose, I will send that video to you. Don't speak it into Okay, existence. thank you. Yeah, never mind. Don't speak no things into existence, apparently. Yeah, fucking stupid handyman fixing things with not her mouth. 
Well, do you have um, your um, computer connected to your photos? Like, do you have a MacBook? Some of the that paper too. You want paper? Because they yeah, be on so, your MacBook in your photo. Oh, that you know? specific video, do not because I was editing it. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Do I have a salad? Are you hungry? Did you ask for a salad? I think so. That's all for Amy. Uh, Hi, leaders of Point of Pride. These are the people in charge of Point of Pride, y'all in the back. Oh, yeah, who are they? Yay. These are uh, Daddy Point and Daddy Pride. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually, um, Jeff thought of a really great idea, and so we printed out a few uh, recipients' photos so people can see, Aww. and we're going to share a little bit that. about the story. Oh, story about oh my God. This is Chandler. They go by he, they. Uh, Chandler is a 22-year-old black trans man. He is unfortunately unemployed due to his mental health, and he just had to move due, due to an unsupporting housing situation. And Chandler receives one full year of free HRT, including blood work. Whoa. Working with wow. our telehealth uh, Right. Provide. Amazing. So you want to know where some of the money goes that you donate? Um, this is where it goes to so some of the stories we're going to share with you right now. So uh, this is Rilo. They go by they, them. They're another uh, recent recipient of our HRT access funds. They're 28 and non binary. They're uninsured, like many of our recipients are. Um, in fact, over 90% of the folks that apply for support through our financial aid programs lack inclusive health insurance. Um, they also don't have stable housing right now. And they're a recent domestic violence survivor. As a result of all of these challenges, they just have very limited finances and have not been able to get care up until recently. Is this the same dax? No, this is a different, different dax. Different I'm gonna steal the Yeah, get up there. Mm -hmm. Next up is Dax. Dax uses she, they pronouns. As you can see, Dax's face is blurred out. So just as a reminder for those who choose to do so, we try to give a lot of agency to our recipients. Um, oh, how can I see me over there? Creepy. Um, to our recipients, if they choose to not have their full name or disclose, they can use an alias. If they prefer not to have their photo, they can either give us a photo and we'll blur it out, or we'll find a photo, like a generic photo, um, based on the like representation of who they are and blur out that photo. Um, and all of our recipients have agency over their biographies as well. So they're able to write their biographies. We help them out if they need any help. So again, this is Dax. They use she, they pronouns. Uh, also part of the HRT Access Fund. So Dax is a 33-year-old black trans femme. She has been on estrogen, but following COVID layoffs, she could not afford medication any longer. Uh, this a grant has allowed her access to continuing her HRT. Uh, and again, that will be free for a year, including all of the check-ins and uh, blood work and uh, all of those things related. And I believe even if uh, she was to need any type of transportation maybe to get blood work, we would be able to provide transportation uh, for DAX as well as needed. That's right. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, we give uh, Uber vouchers to folks. Because um, a lot of folks come from rural areas, you know, or, or just lack lack a car, lack other means of access transportation-wise. So um, we have those Uber vouchers to, to help make up for that. I gotta tell you, I love this. This is nice. I like this a this lot. This is Jeff's idea. Jeff, you win a brownie Jeff. today. You win one of those cupcakes. Yeah, one That's of those cupcakes. Is. Weirdly shaped cupcakes. You cupcakes. You get one of those. I didn't eat one. Were they good? I get to have one. But... I mean, they were weird. <laughs> they taste good. They taste good. What's it matter? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So I'll, uh, I'd like to share Dandy. And for folks that um, saw Jory put up a video yesterday, um, a video collab with Dandy, uh, Dandy had surgery um, earlier in March, actually. He's one of our 2024 surgery fund recipients. He was awarded $13,000 towards his gender-affirming top surgery. He's a trans-masculine person um, who is not a United States citizen. So as a result of his citizenship status and his immigration status, 
He doesn't have a social security number, which means he can't use things like GoFundMe oh, wow. to be able to uh, fundraise for his own care. There's limited employment opportunities as a result. Um, plus, he lives in Texas, so he's just also really worried about his, his safety and his ability to access things there, too. Wow. Oh, that's so great. We'll keep going. So, <clears throat> this is Tara. Go by she, her pronouns. Tara is a black trans woman and a proud mother. She works three different jobs just to get by. And she told us that for her, her hair removal is really about safety. She has lots of fears about being visibly trans in public. So mm -hmm. the electrolysis support program will allow her to get the electrolysis or laser hair removal that is needed. Um, and also give her an opportunity to potentially, if that grant doesn't get all of her needs met, uh, to be able to contact us and uh, get a re-up, meaning she'll have an opportunity to apply uh, in a quicker fashion to get more funding for whatever she may need as far as the goals of her electrolysis for her safety. Yeah, and I'll actually, I'll piggyback there. The renewal grant process that Aiden just described is new as of January of this year. It's something that Thanks was made, last year. made possible because of this event last year. Oh, no way. Yeah, so um, giving folks that opportunity, <laughs> current recipients, to be able to apply for more funds towards their care. Because um, we see, especially among femme folks seeking hair removal, <laughs> their needs can vary really greatly. And so we want to be able to give them the opportunity to reapply um, up to three times right, towards ongoing services. That's wild. So the people who donated last year That's could have much. actually been involved in making that happen. Yep, exactly. Wow. Hey, Max, before I forget, maybe could you, you make sure that a solid, um, That's a solid white, white. Okay. Yeah, it's blinking it, and I think it might be losing people's minds a little bit. <laughs> it's not our vibe for today. We want to be chill here. Oh, so as we're going over that. these stories, we just want to take a minute and thank some of our recent donors. So coming in at an amazing $250, we have Natalie, Andrew, Jan, Nicholas, and Adam. And then we have uh, an awesome $500 donation from Becky. So thank you so much to all of our donors. Again, thank if you are you. hearing thank you, thank you. $1, $5, $100, or $500, you can text transjoy, that's one word, to 44321. And now I'll tell you a little bit about Atlas. I love this photo because Atlas shared it with his cat. <laughs> We've got a couple of recipients that are pet parents. Um, so if you check out our website, you can see more photos like this. Atlas is another surgery fund recipient who was awarded $10,000 towards top surgery. Um, he's 23 hey. years old. He shared with us that he's neurodivergent. Um, we've definitely seen a lot of applicants disclosing that in recent years. Um, and as we've been sharing, uh, one in two people that we serve tell us they're living with a disability or a chronic illness. And for Atlas, it just prevented, it, it created a bunch of barriers in getting all types of care in working with medical professionals as a whole, but especially because of his gender affirming care. Um, he's been self-supporting himself since the age of 18 and lives paycheck to paycheck. This is Paris, goes by she, her. Paris is a 73 year old trans woman. Period. Yes, okay. Uh, who is, who uh, has received uh, funding for electrolysis through our electrolysis fund. Um, although she knew that she was trans at the age of five, she came out much later in life. Uh, and unfortunately, it takes an hour every day for her to shave her face. So we know that this is going to be really life changing. I think it's important to remember that, you know, so many people Aww. transition at different stages. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well deserved. Thank you for doing that. This is Bria. She goes by she, her pronouns. She was just awarded $26,000 through the annual trans surgery fund. She's a 30-year-old black woman from California seeking facial feminization surgery. And her income can barely cover the cost of rent and groceries right now. So being able to save for care, especially Aww. something that's largely considered cosmetic, is just out of reach for her. Yeah, and it's not cosmetic. It's, it's life-saving. Like, yeah. like in Canada here, 
most of the provinces um, with the trans health care, like uh, the bottom surgery co is covered, top surgery is covered. Uh, some provinces actually pay for the FFS as well that's because awesome. it is um, life life saving in those provinces. They they debated that and won. Yeah, yeah, Most yeah. No, we we don't view. We don't view any surgery or procedure as cosmetic because we know that gender yeah. affirming care is so much more than that. And yeah, you get it. You get yeah. it. That's wonderful. Yeah. I personally view Yay. gender affirming care as reconstructive. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that. Speaking of being covered, um, this is Zachary. They go by he, him pronouns. Zachary is a 26 year old trans man and he currently lives paycheck, paycheck to paycheck yeah. and has no family support. Um, and his health insurance specifically excludes gender affirming care coverage. So I think this just goes to show that there are so many people out there that, you know, should be getting this through their health care and they're not. Yeah. Um, and that's really one of the biggest gaps that we provide here at Point of Pride. Again, you know, Point of Pride is direct services, uh, which is a lot different from other nonprofits, which means we help the individual um, and, you know, we were able to do this in a way that I think has been really effective in the last 10 years. And uh, it's been a, a really great opportunity. There was something that I thought about when I was at the hotel this morning about how people were commenting one of the major things I saw in my videos last night and this morning was about how there's so many better things to do so you could donate to. And their examples were cancer, St. Jude. And I think it's interesting the things that we go to, the healthcare system. And I think it's very interesting that we are just okay at this point where there being nonprofits up the wazoo when it comes to medical support. But here's the thing though you're going to get medical support in a lot of different ways from a lot of different organizations. You're not going to get a whole lot of support for the trans community. It's okay for us to coexist. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have multiple nonprofits also trying to bandage up the the medical care system that isn't doing the job that they should be doing. Um, so yeah, thank you for sharing that. Bit. Also, not to be vulgar, but um, it's always <laughs> hey what? Why don't you sit here? Because I can't see you. It's always <laughs> the stupidest fucking bitches in the world that are like oh. Uh, um, why aren't you focusing on homelessness? Bitch, what do you do with your fucking life? What what fucking cause do you actually dedicate any time to? Show me show me what material change you've impacted people with. They always want to say, focus on this thing, focus on this thing, focus on this thing, and then they spend all their time on their fucking ass doing nothing but complaining. Bitch, get up and do some work. Seems and like nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's connected too, right? Like, to what Jory's saying, like, a lot of reason that... Every, like a lot of trans and non-binary folks are homeless is because they don't have access to the healthcare that would provide them the safety and security to get a job, right? To be able Absolutely. to, you know, the mental uh, stability that comes with gender affirming care when you are living a life that feels so, you feel so disconnected from your body. You don't feel safe at every single turn anytime you leave your house. And for a lot of people, Right, like we were talking a lot about this earlier today before we began the live. You know, for a lot of people, they're gonna celebrate Easter tomorrow and they're not gonna feel safe in their home. You know yeah. what I mean? And so, you know, so you can feel safe in your home and not in your home. And I think, what is it? Is it one in three people have experienced three housing? And in yeah, three in four folks that we serve um, of our recipients have experienced housing insecurity either right now or in the uh -huh. past. Yep. Um, fact daddy coming in um so if again if any of these things you know um are touching you and you want to help people in the trans and non-binary community and potentially in your community you can text trans joy one uh, word to three three four three. Four. Four, 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 three, three two one i'm sorry it's been a long time i tell you i tell you uh, so uh as a correction it's trans joy one word to four four three two one so I get it right, Diva. Yes. Yeah, and actually, I mean, the next person that I wanted to introduce was Sanji, who um, has been living with housing insecurity for over two years, was just recently housed stably. He works two jobs. Um, we awarded him $5,600 through the surgery fund. 
uh, that was the amount of money that he needed to be able to access top surgery, right? So our grants are designed such that our recipients typically pay less than 5% towards their overall surgical need. And that was Sanji's need. He's also a black non-binary person from Texas. Um, about half of the folks that we serve through this last cohort of the surgery fund are living in states considered high risk for anti-trans legislation. It's a whale. It's a whale. whale. It's a whale of a fact. Yeah. Uh, and so really quick, I just want to shout out some of the donors that have been donating while I've been sharing some of these stories. So coming in at $100, we have Julia. We have Matthew uh, coming in at an amazing $250 is Nora. We also have Tyler at $10, Sophia at $25, Mary came in with a $50 donation, Abigail with a $25, and Ryan with a $25 donation, Tiffany with their $10 donation, and Emily with their $20 donation. Thank you so much for uh -oh. all of Thank you. What is, what is Max called? The Donos? The Donos. The donos. All the Donos. Um, so next up, we're going to share a story about Ellie. Ellie goes by she, her pronouns. She is a recipient of the Electrolysis Fund. Um, she's a 26-year-old trans woman of color in New York City. And unfortunately, due to employment discrimination, she is currently unemployed. Um, and she has no family to fall back on for support. And so we hope that with this, she'll be able to potentially find um, okay, you know, safety through. and security in New York City, um, as well a as a reminder that people care and love her regardless of if we are blood family, regardless of if we even actually have met her before. She is loved, she is supported through everybody here um, who's donating, everybody who can't donate physical money, right? But you can donate your time and attention uh, and sharing this live as well as sharing people uh, the link to go and donate, um, making posts, just as Rose was saying, like being able to post about it, sharing it to all of your people, super helpful. We appreciate you. And then this is Lily. Lily is a 23-year-old trans woman. She's from South Africa, uh, seeking bottom surgery. So we awarded her $32,000 towards her surgery. She migrated to the United States a couple years ago in search of a better life. Um, she's currently in school for her master's and hopes to get a PhD one day. She's working two jobs. Um, like many of our recipients, again, lacking that inclusive health insurance to be able to get care. Um, Amazing. That just that just warms my heart as a you know a life lived trans woman 62. If you're new watching this, that's, I transitioned in the 70s, and I had to make the I had to make the choice. You know, was I going to go to Berkeley, or was I going to go to the streets of Vancouver? And you know, because that was our resource center was the streets and SW work, and having to go into that and hopefully be able to make enough coin to figure out my surgeries yeah. you know what i mean and now like just that we have this opportunity to 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 you know do both yeah. it's just amazing and and you guys are part of that like for people that can't do that and just your guys are angels i love you mm -hmm. well, thank you we donate 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 yes yes uh, make sure to double tap that screen comment down the below screen. share the live if you want to donate go to the link in our bio the bink in our bio the abraham link in our text trans joy one word to four four three two one again that's trans joy one, one word. word to four four three two one uh and uh coming in we just hit six hundred and thirty five thousand dollars Thank you to Bailey, who came in with a $500 donation, and Sandy, and Chelsea, and Emmett coming in with a $100 donation, uh, Catherine with the $25 donation. Everything counts. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much again. Um, those are the stories that we have to share today. We'll be sharing them again a little bit later, um, but we're really excited about I love these happened. stories. Yeah, oh good, yeah, Jeff, you did good, huh? Amazing. Hey. That was such a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, go to really the bathroom good. and I'm go gonna go. Go You still haven't gone? Out. Go, no, go, go piss, girl. I was talking about yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I was doing my job, Jory. And what is that? I don't know, I don't even remember it. Honestly, Basil does my job better than me, so. <laughs> Go piss, girl. Go piss, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I really was hoping that we would. We Go piss, girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that, 
I love how last night's vibe is slowly creeping in to today's vibe. Yeah, we're Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. If you were just joining, we are raising money for gender affirming care through an organization called Point, Point of Pride. Pride. Point of Pride is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that started in 2016, dedicated to giving people access to gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and uh, the ability to go piss, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? If you want to donate, text TransJoy. One word. To 44321. <laughs> The fucking elephant. Yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> Again, that's trans joy. One, One word, word to 44321. Four, or you can click the Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln bio. <laughs> you guys know I wouldn't get a comedy special because I'm actually funny. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Amy for a fifty dollar donation. Uh, other Amy for a ten dollar donation. Yes. Ania for their twenty six dollar donation. Cynthia, Kepler, Emily, Samantha, Carol, Lindsay, Robin, all coming in at twenty five dollars. Thank you so much. Wow. Which one of you fuckers keeps oh. sending the elephants? <laughs> There was an elephant that popped uh, up on you. On uh, me too. Yeah, when you were reading the donuts. <laughs> Jeff had like a cowboy hat and a big old mustache, but you couldn't tell it was a mustache because he has a big old mustache. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I, was like, I always think it's so funny because trolls love to send me that gift so that I have a mustache, mustache. and like a way to try to like misgender me, but they're actually paying me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? You can't pay me to misgender me with the mustache. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, read it. All right. We got a $100 donation from Yuri for Go Piss Squirrel. <laughs> Go Piss Squirrel. Yes. Hey. Hera is very excited about that. <laughs> Yeehaw. Hey. I love when they do fun names. Oh, wow, they're coming in hot. Thank Woo. you, everyone. Hot and ready like a little Caesar's pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raffi's coming in at $5. We've got $25 donors. Elizabeth and Virginia and Catherine and she Shayna and Crystal. Thank you so much. Oh, look. Yay. Did you get the elephant? And I don't forget, if you don't have a dollar to donate, you can That's double right. tap that screen. You can like, <laughs> comment. I want to see these comments spammed with the trans flag emoji, yes. trans color cards right now. I want to put as many trans flags as we can in this comment section right now. And don't forget to share the live. Share it to your friends, your family, your co-workers. Share. That helps just as much as a dollar. Rose, I love how you say emoji. How do you, how, wait, how do I say it? You say it like it's like emoji. I don't know. Hey, George, uh, what do you say? Second floor emoji? Just private, just for you and me. Oh, you awesome. say Im like emoji. Yeah, like emoji, that. which I don't know like if emoji. I'm right or you're right. But like the way you say it, I love it. It makes me smile. That's so funny. Hey, I have I have two friends that are named Imogen, so I guess oh, I say emoji. So to be clear. <laughs> I don't know. That's so funny. It's, yeah. e it's, it's, it's an emoji. Your emoji. <laughs> emoji. It's like, oh, your emoji. I love it. Well, because it's like e. Canada's emoji. Ah? Like email. Emoji. 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 Am I wrong? Am I saying it wrong? I thought it was I. Isn't emoji spelled with an I? No, it is spelled with an E. It is spelled with, e. with an E. No, it starts e. with an E. So then I'm clearly wrong. I don't know. Me too. I think I just got fact checked. Yeah. I mean, I also don't know how to say my favorite animal. I say hyena. I put an extra H in there. Hyena. 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 It's hyena. 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 But I say hyena. 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 <laughs> no, no, I say, I say emoji. Yeah, emoji. But do you? And I say my favorite Susie. I think my I favorite think Susie and the Banshee know. album. Hyena. Like emote. Yeah. Emoji. Yeah. emoji. Emote. Email. What's your favorite letter? Elephant. Envelope. Estrogen. Estrogen. Esophagus. 
Yeah, I love the spamming in the comments. Me. We want these comment sections spammed with all of the trans flags and trans emojis. We love to see it. Yes, your emojis, your emojis, your emojis. This is the one and only time that we will allow comment yeah. spamming. <laughs> yes. It's during this TikTok Because it helps boost. Oh wow, we're almost at 637. Holy That's shit. Right. It helps boost the house. You know what? As soon as I leave, we raise more money. Well. <laughs> no, no, no. It's April. not. That's it's April. not Are you going full steam at 7 o'clock? Huh? Are you going full steam at 7 o'clock? Uh. Yeah. To, to find full steam. Yeah. So, like. Well, I thought I heard seven o'clock like this morning when I signed on, and then you were talking about seven o'clock tonight. I think we should go around like six for yeah. a little bit, maybe full steam for like two hours, and then towards the end. Mercury, what's this? What time called? is it where you are right now? Five twenty. What? Okay, it's three three twenty here. Yeah. Yeah, same. Three twenty. The blue, the blue thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah I've a, been using come on. Yeah. The disco cowboy. For what? It's going to be on the The press? Uh, to press the photo yeah, so I mean, that it makes it nice and straight. I mean, so the one part of it's a vice, the other part's a press. The part that Mercury, you're looking at. Check your like moderation that. chat. I like it. I want one of these in my house. What? Check your moderation chat. Your mods are. I have something to say. I don't oh. know. That would help if I actually, when I changed my pants, though, I would actually kept my phone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's raise another 10K while Mercury's gone. Let's go. All right, let's fucking go. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, surgeries, electrolysis, and HRT. Did you say that? Binders and gaps? Binders oh, gaps. I said everything. I was just trying to fi figure out. It was so fast. Laser surgeries. And the ability to come up with a witty joke. Yeah, and the ability to come up with a witty joke uh, in less time than whatever the fuck that took. Uh, thank you, everyone, for who's joining. We got Mercury's live back, and we are currently at. Yay! We are currently at. Drum roll, please. 637,549 dollars! <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody who's donating financially, but just a reminder, we do live in a what? Attention-based Attention society. Attention-based society. Exactly. So if you can't donate financially, that is okay. You can donate your time. And how do you donate your time exactly? You can go and do any of our videos. Below. You can share this double on any of your other screen. platforms. You can double tap the screen, tap, 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 comment tap. down below, and share the live. Come down uh, below, come down the screen, share the live. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's and all I got to do. Trans joy, one word to 44321 to donate. That's trans joy, one word to 44321. <laughs> you can also go to the link in Mercury and Jory's bios. And if you live outside of the US, in that link is also a PayPal option where you can donate and it will be tracked in the tracker. Yeah. And we're collecting money for life-saving healthcare. Um, please help! Please help in our in our attempt to do this. We're trying to raise, you know, four million. Yeah, which looks uh, like you guys are trying to raise four million this 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 weekend, right? We are. We can do it. We can do it. And uh, gender affirming care, life-saving gender affirming care, looks like binders, gas, HRT, surgeries, electrolysis, and uh, surgeries. I said surgery, right? Laser. And laser hair lot. removal. And um, a prescription of anxiety medication so high it could uh, euthanize a small animal. <laughs> and this butt. <laughs> That's oh. what I need. <laughs> oh. And seriously, I'm here. I'm here because I want to leave testimony that we need this stuff because um, if we had this when uh, I was a kid or it's like we I would have my friends with me today it's like you know being 62 and and transitioning in the 70s um, it was it's it's so hard to navigate in this world and so many people were unalive to unalive themselves because it was so hor horrible because they could not access that care that life-saving health care and um, this is what we're trying to prevent now so please please think about that and thank you so much because that's where you're hitting my heart when you um, support uh, uh, a, a telethon 
that's how old I am, <laughs> a t- TikTok-a-thon um, like this. It just it just warms my heart knowing that uh, some people are going to be saved from that uh, suffering. Yeah. Thank you. Thank um, you, everybody. To speak to that directly, donating. I would not be sitting here this year with y'all um, if I did not get my FFS. I would have been a, you know, um, I last year when I accepted the fundraiser, I was, I was, I was planning on not being here after the fundraiser. I wanted it to be the last thing that I gave to the community, um, before I went on a little trip on a your favorite rocket ship, you know. Um, wow. But thanks to my ability to access gender affirming care, uh, I kept going, and I'm I'm really happy that I did. I'm really happy that I'm able to come back and do this to help other people in the community so we love you oh, you're such a beautiful light honey i'm so so happy that you were able to get the care and that and so you really do you're such a bright light in the world and we need you so much Thank so you, glad Rose. that you're here Thank you, Rose. good work honey good works so this doing, is Grandma? your like oh, news flash for just a one dollar donation. You too can help sponsor the life of a transgender person and give us these right here. I, I literally Grandma. woke up and joined the live, and so like I literally I just ate my breakfast at three p.m. because you know what, this is this is my weekend and this is a ball weekend. So this is just the reality. But <laughs> these are my hormones. These are my prescriptions. Y'all, this is what you're doing. Speaking of hormones, uh, who here is trans and who here has missed shot day? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I missed, no. I literally my missed shot day is Wednesday, so I did my shot Friday. <laughs> Me and Max are two days past shot day. <laughs> We're so bad. No, that's pretty normal I take, I, I take my estrogen gel every night and okay. three times a week I take testosterone gel testosterone because that's what happens when you get older yeah. it's like things change and if you would have told me i was taking be taking testosterone and to, so it would actually um you know perk up my life and not not just in the way that you guys think yeah. but it was like all sorts of ways like i have more energy and everything and it's like you know our, our health care needs um change as we get older too and it's so mm-hmm. important for us to know that we're still in the chuck wagon stages when it comes to teaching doctors about all that stuff because not many again not many of us survived you know i feel like i'm saying that i feel like i'm saying that that number to text when i keep saying this all the time but it's true it's like you know that's why um not too many people that we know not too many people have made it so you know we're still in the dark when it comes to aging um trans health care and stuff and um so um I'm really glad that there's going to be more of you as you get older so that you can, you know, work on that part too. Yeah. Because then you'll be having telethons for for, for the older ones <laughs> as you guys get older as well. Yeah. It's so beautiful to see, like, you know, trans elders, you know, be visible and speak out and share their stories. And at the same time, like, it's so interesting that, like, in this day and age, like we're seeing more and more trans elders, you know, like not living stealth anymore, you know, like and sharing their stories being and like given platforms being able to be more visible than ever before. At the same time that we're seeing younger and younger people feel safe to come out at ages that all of us, you know, like felt different, felt gender confusion, maybe, you know, identified as, you know, who we are today at young ages, but didn't understand, you know, that it was a possibility or whatever. And so it's beautiful to see like, you know, young people get access to gender affirming care, which could mean a haircut, which could mean changing their name, you know, which could mean hormones, which could mean, you know, surgery at an, uh, the age of like, you oh, know, shit. 18. I've even heard yeah. of some people like, you know, 16, 17, but water? with, you know, doctor approval, yeah. therapies, anything, a support, parents, yeah. support, like, 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 like there's so many hoops we have to go through. And I have a lot of say like, somewhere. I just, I love that we live in a world today where we can hear those stories from our elders yeah. and from youth at the same time, like never before. Yeah, like we mentioned, we've already mentioned today, we we're talking about how um, by us not being able to, you know, go 
go through trans social transition and school and stuff and, and, and have that healthy, you know, parenting and everything around us. Like that's what we're trying to build a, a community and a, and a world that can do that so that it, we're, we aren't, considered unicorns to have parents that support us to have a school that supports us so that we can like get a career and then we can like you know we can pay for all these surgeries right that's not the truth today the truth is is usually we're like kicked to the curb and we have to like figure out stuff on our own and um and that's why point of pride and everything is so important right now we need that but hopefully at some point we won't need that because we'll be a healthier society right and just be able to support each other and be able to support trans youth as they go through school and, you know, get jobs and, you know, careers and, you know, move, move on with life like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone asked, they are broke and they want to help, but they don't know how. So it's super easy. You can send a comment, just post the trans hearts, post the trans flag emoji. We want these comments spammed today with as many trans flags, trans emojis as we can get because that helps boost the live. You can double tap that screen by, and that sends a little like and that tells TikTok that we are worth, you know, more people seeing. You can right below my little box is that little arrow, that share button. You can share it. Even just copying and pasting that link helps boost the live. But it also, if you can, and if you trust people, you can send it to your friends, your family, your coworkers. Put it on your own pages. You can share it to your stories. Um, you can make your own video of support, telling people to watch the live, to donate by texting "transjoy" one word, "transjoy" to the number four four three two one, or also you can go to Mercury and Joy's. Uh, profiles and their so Abraham Lincoln's in their bios. <laughs> I live for that phrasing. Yeah. Because we all know how censored that phrase is. Um, there's also a donation link there and there's also a PayPal link on that donation page um, for those who live outside of the U.S. So those are just some of the ways that you can help support. Even if you don't have money to donate, there's still lots that you can do to help. And here's a reminder that every individual dollar helps. We just hit six hundred and forty thousand dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up in the chat? Everyone say thank you, six forty. Thank you, six forty. Thank you, six forty. Also, can we say thank you, eyebrows? I have eyebrows today. Woo. I'm really happy about that. She looked yeah. at me yes, and she eyebrows. was like, "Hi, eyebrows." Yeah, I. I, I yesterday we did. We had the Y two K themed. Uh, and I thought it was a really good idea to go, like, fucking 1990s, like, thin-ass, pencil-thin eyebrows. And instead of, like, I don't know, like, anyone else would do, take glue stick and just glue yep. that fucking shit. I was gonna shit ask, you, you did... I cut it off. I, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna commit to the bit. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know how to glue your brows? You shave off your eyebrows? I do. I, I, I used to be a drag queen. I, I know. know. I was like, I'm so I thought it would be funnier. It was funnier. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Last night when I looked at the when I woke up this morning and I looked at the video of me very upset. Yeah. Very torn up. <laughs> heartbroken. First someone said the, the first thing I thought was I look fucking crazy. When someone said, Mercury, you look unhinged. They weren't wrong. They were not <laughs> wrong. I had no I eyebrows and my ponytails were caught around my fucking skull. <laughs> I think it added to the video. Yeah, no, I feel like it added to the to it. Um are you still down to shave your brows after we hit four million like I said? never said that. She's I lying. never know. Max, That's didn't you say that? I'm pretty sure. You yeah. can okay, Jory, you can have one or two things. One eyebrow. A dunk tank or me shaving my eyebrows. You can't have both. You have to shave one eyebrow. You want me to shave my eyebrows so, over the dunk tank? Yeah. Well, then we're going with the eyebrow. Okay, you just just wait, one. wait, 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 hold on, back up. You wait, when you mean I should say, wait, no, hold on. You just agreed to it. No, no, I was, I, that's not fair. This is legal. No, binding. it's yeah. not, I'm yeah. not shaving one eyebrow. People are losing their mind. Why? What about when we hit $2 million? No, no, four, four. Okay, all right. 
God damn it, I can't believe I'm saying this. No, you don't have to do I'll shave mine up. I there. will shave one eyebrow. <laughs> one eyebrow at two and yes. the second eyebrow at four. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just gaslit Mercury into a great to shave her eyebrow. I'll do it too. I'll do it. I know you would. I will shave the right one at two, the left one at four. Okay. There he is. You heard it here first, y'all. God damn it. You know the worst part is? I wasn't confident that we were going to hit it. Now I am. All right. All you got to do is post one video about me shaving my eyebrows. Okay, okay. We can do that. You can donate by texting TransJoy one, one word, word to 44321 or going to the links in Mercury and Joy's bios. And just a reminder, this is a uh, live stream that's a fundraiser for an organization called Point of Pride dedicated to giving people access to gender-affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, uh, surgeries, and lace front eyebrows. And lace front <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> and lace. Ooh. And all that what about those? Said, what about those high heeled feet? The high heel feet. Yeah. Marty, what are you talking you about? Heard about those? Girl. They're all of the rage in Paris. <laughs> like, are they are putting they? like an extra bone in your foot? To, I'm like... kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> You, Marty, when you say shit, I, I just go, yeah, sure, that's real. Wait, no, <laughs> it is. Yeah. You got Marty Pants. Now you know why there's a Marty Pants at the end of the, my name. So, <laughs> so there um, there are actually, like, high heel feet. And it's by, the, there's, like, this group called uh, Fecal Matter. Um, Materes Fecales. And they have... They have, yeah, it's a nice cube. They have these, like, heels that are, like, foot fecal, forms. Fecal Matter. They're like foot forms, and they have like, uh, like a human like, it just looks like skin, going down, and it's in the shape of a heel. They're so they're so cool. Oh wow! Let's go talking back about the whole hyena penis thing. They're really popular <laughs> in uh, in Russia. Uh, fecal matter. <laughs> Since the Iron Curtain has lifted. They're cool. I love you. <laughs> hey everybody, did you know this was a, a fundraiser for gender affirming care? <laughs> Which looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and heels made out of human feet and bones. And hyena, <laughs> hyena, hyena. We don't pay there. for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's gender affirming. <laughs> and a chainsaw was that originally made a cup bone. <laughs> yeah, mm. look. What? It really Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, no. It's fine. Oh my god, there it is. That's not real. No, they're actually heels. No, it's shoes. Some of those yeah, heels. They're heels. Oh. No, they're not. They're heels. That's from oh, a Lori Anderson I song. About that. That. I, I, I goes, feel like that would be so good she, for drive. Lori Anderson, she goes, they had plates for hands and telescopes for eyes. <laughs> That is the worst thing I've ever seen. No, they're cunty. No, no. Look. I love it. Don't. Sh I don't want to see it. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's very startling. I'd rather see one. the whole bone chainsaw thing again than that. That was gross. <laughs> I would. You would rather watch someone get split open. I don't want to watch someone get split open, but I want, I'd rather see a bone chainsaw. This is a very different pride. When the point of pride folks were <laughs> out showing, when the point of pride folks were out sharing their stories about the people, I, I was really touched that the 72-year-old uh, trans woman was uh, part of the one of the recipients. I was really happy for her yeah. because um, I was I was brought up in the Harry Benjamin standards of care, and it's like, and um, I was considered a primary transsexual in their in their brains, like in the seventies, the early eighties, and and I used to wear it like a gig keeping back badge of honor. I tell you, and it's like when and because I had to decolonize my brain so much, you know, later on in life to to figure all that stuff out. But it's like, but and then the secondary, uh, they called them secondary trans transsexuals that were people that have lived life you know as, as an adult male they would call them secondary they actually called them that and it's like and and they and they had it in our brains like this us and them thing right 
And it wasn't until I started social media that I started in connecting with people. Actually, no, that's that's not true. It's like it was a, about about ten years before when I had my bottom surgery. One of one of the women that were it was in Portland. She she had um, you know she transitioned later in life. She was about fifty and had kids and stuff. And and um, and I just you know and you're in that bubble of healing in those nine days with those other people, right? And the, when you're having those surgeries, and I, I just saw this little girl, right? And so I came up to her bed and started um, uh, talking to her because I I had mine a few days before her, and she was having trouble. And um, and then I found out her story and stuff, and um, and it was through that that I. Um, you know, I realized that my inner transphobia, what, uh, that I had inner transphobia, and these this uh, this trans woman became one of my best friends. Um, and then I, re- I realized that, you know, uh, transitioning later in life, you know, it's uh, sometimes it's, you know, it's all relative, our suffering, right, that we have to go through. Some of us have to suppress it so much. And, you know, and getting to know her, gave me that empathy and understanding and I think that's kind of what's you know going on in our community a bit too when I see like stuff on online and whatnot so I don't know just food for thought so I'm really I was just really touched when I saw that that um, 72 year old trans woman got some help there really happy for them and I want people to know that that this this fundraiser does involve um, people that are transitioning later in life as well um, I do want to say something real quick because somebody asked about how to donate. So you can go to the link in our bio on Mercury's page. It's the only link on mine. It's in the beacons. It's the top link, and you can link, uh, donate directly through there, or you can text start uh, transjoy one word to four four three two one. Again, that's transjoy one word to four four three two one to donate. I, I wanted to jump in because I heard you talking and I wanted to say thank you so much for, for sharing your story and, and joining us in the live today. And for folks that um, might have missed it earlier, this is who we're talking about. This is Paris. She's an electrolysis fund recipient. She's a 73-year-old trans woman. She knew that she was trans at the age of five, but she didn't come out until much later in her life. And she told us that it takes over an hour every single day just to shave her face. Um, we uh, offer financial support um, towards gender affirming surgeries, HRT, and permanent hair removal services like electrolysis and laser to folks who are 18 years or older. And we have no upper limit on age. And of all of our financial aid programs, our applicants to the electrolysis fund tend to skew later in the lifespan. Um, we have several recipients of the electrolysis fund that are in their 60s or older. Um, the oldest applicant that we've received to date so far was in her late 80s. Um, so wow. we, we serve folks all That's across great. the lifespan, and, and it really is encouraging to see that even if you come out early in life, later in life, um, you still should be able to access the care that you need and deserve. It doesn't matter. Absolutely. 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 I was actually one of the first recipients from the electrolysis program in the very like first round that they did and you know that was at a point in my life where i was living paycheck to paycheck you know i was going into so much debt to afford my transition um i had maxed out multiple credit cards just for to afford my hormones and you know i was trying to do electrolysis and it was just like so off and on which like makes it less effective when you're doing laser or electrolysis and you're not doing it consecutively um and so you know it was it was life changing for me because my facial hair was by far like one of the biggest sources of dysphoria for me in my transition. Like I'm a Mexican girly, like I was, I was a little hairy back then. And you know, like the, I can't even like emphasize like how just life saving and life giving that it was because You know, we talk about like gender affirming care being life saving, but like trans people deserve so much more than just surviving, than just living. Like we are humans, of course we deserve to live, but we also deserve to thrive. We deserve to flourish and have beautiful, fulfilling, you know, lives that are enriching, you know, not just barely surviving, making, you know, ends meet day to day. like. We deserve abundance, you know, we deserve joy. 
And, you know, so the gender affirming care that I have received, you know, like later in life now, you know, or later in my transition, I should say, you know, has been more life giving where, you know, getting access to permanent hair removal, you know, what was that seven years ago now um, was life saving. You know, the surgeries that I've had in recent years are life giving. You know, they make me be able to have more confidence than I thought possible, you know, and to have a more enriching, fulfilling life where like, I'm not just like, you know, don't want to kill myself, but I'm actually excited to live the next day, right. you know, and like, that's what humans deserve. <laughs> and that is what this care is also going towards, you know, and that is what life giving means, you know, there's a difference between life saving and life giving and gender affirming care is both. And so like, that is what we're fundraising for, you know, because our community is so often ignored and overlooked and there are so many lies about us in the media. And, you know, so we're here to tell the truth. We're here to, you know, I, I, I joke all the time because my dad is a, pa or is a retired pastor and I grew up very religious in the Baptist community. And I used to want to be a minister. I used to want to be a pastor. And I joke today all the time that my job is ministry. It's just not religious ministry. <laughs> my job is ministry yeah. in sharing my story as a trans queer person, you know, who just wants people to be, you know, treated with respect and dignity and love and acceptance, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, you deserve to live the life that you want to live. And, you know, so that's what we're here doing. So, you know, I can't think point of pride enough, you know, for the work y'all do, but also like the, you know, direct ways that y'all have helped me too. Thank you, Rose, for sharing Yay. all that. Um, truly, it's it's our pleasure to be able to connect you and all the other hundreds of recipients for Electra, for our financial aid programs combined. Um, and I do want to share, you know, as Rose said, she was one of our first cohorts of recipients of the program. Um, to our knowledge, the electrolysis fund was the first and only one of its kind doing that sort of direct yeah. mutual aid work towards permanent hair removal services. And Rose received a grant of, I believe, $1,000 at that time. And because of the success of last year's TikTokathon, we've been able to steadily increase that support. So it went from 1000 to 1250 And now for our FEM recipients, um, starting in January, they received $2,000 grants. Wow. Um, and we know, we know everyone's hair care needs are different, which is why we also allow our recipients to apply for additional care on top of that to renew their additional grant, um, their original grant, rather, so that they can continue getting those services. It's amazing. And like, that's hugely like what inspired me to want to give back, you know, and continue, you know, like to share my story and like what helped me, you know, get to the point I am today with, you know, my platform being as large as it is now, like, you know, it gave me that inspiration, you know, to want to do more, to want to give back because I have received so much help from the community, you know, in so many different ways outside of Point of Pride, but Point of Pride included, you know, that like, now that I'm in a better place in my life, you know, I want to be able to give back. I want to do everything that I can because, you know, when the world's not going to help us, we got to help ourselves. And, you know, like I wouldn't be here without the help of, you know, our community of other trans people who have supported me, educated me, you know, donated to my, you know, different <laughs> surgery funds in the past and electrolysis and whatever. And so, you know, it's, it's beautiful to get to be on the other side, you know, kind of be here today. Like, it's so funny because like, I'm, I'm a mother in the ballroom community. Like I'm a mother in the trans community. Like there's so many people that I have, you know, directly helped and mentored and, you know, given access to hormones. I've, you know, housed people, fed people, whatever. And the only reason that I'm able to, you know, give back is because I had people pouring into me, um, you know, and so like, I think that's like the beauty of our community is that we are so, you know, like tight knit because we have to be, <laughs> you know, I mean, the reasons behind it, you know, like, 
we've been through a lot, but we've got each other's backs, and that's what's beautiful. And, like, it's just a reminder, like, stop the infighting, you know, to, like, come together because we're in this fight together. Like, you know, the world is trying to outlaw our existence, trying to ban our care, you know, trying to take away our joy. But it's important to remind ourselves that we're not alone. We have a rich history of powerful ancestors, some who are still alive today, like Miss Marty right above me in that little box. Powerhouse that she is, you know, like we have a beautiful and bright future, you know, and that's what help, that's what Point of Pride helps give, you know, is beautiful and bright futures that we all deserve. So that's what your money is going towards. That's why you should be texting TransJoy one word to 44321. That's why you should go to the links in Mercury and Joy's bios um, to donate. Even just a dollar helps. And if you don't have money to give, you can double tap that screen and spam these comments with trans flags um, because that helps boost the live. I also just want to remind you that if you got blocked by Mercury, Mercury's having issues where random people are getting blocked. Um, you can just, if you have a second account, go into the comments and just be like, hey, I got blocked. Um, I'm a supporter. And one of the mods will get to you. Um, we just hit 645. Woo! Thank you to Laura for a $200 donation. Thank, Thank you, Laura. Laura. Sarah for a $100 donation. Thank, Thank you, you, Sarah. We've got Lars and Gabriel, or Gabriel, for a $10 donation. Thank you, Lars and Gabriel slash Gabriel. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Jacqueline, Janelle for their $50 donation. Thank you, Jacqueline and Janelle. Murray and... Rihanna for their twenty-five dollar donation. Thank. Wait, 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 what is? Rihanna. Maybe. Rihanna. Rihanna. Period. Rihanna. Oh, yeah. they, <laughs> thank you, Murray. Rihanna, drop the album. And Ella for their five dollar <laughs> donation. And who? Ella. Thank you, Ella. 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 Hey. 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 <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. We just got a $4,000 donation. God damn. Oh, Antonio. You... Antonio. I wouldn't say the last name. Antonio. Wasn't last name. Uh, could you... Antonio, make yourself known. I'll, I'll send yourself you my known. personal number. Make yourself known. Antonio. I, uh, Antonio. I will shave my half eyebrow for you. <laughs> no, Antonio, if you want a free subscription <laughs> to the might, site, might have you, to you got 650. it. Yes. Send me right. a message. Yes. Uh, shoot your <laughs> shot, babe. I'm here for you. 649. We are $500 away from $650,000. Double tap that screen. Comment down below and share the live. Share with your mom. Share with your dad. Share with your grandma. Share with your auntie. Share with your uncle. Share with your coworker. Share with your cat. Share with your cat. Share with your puppy. If you got a horse, sell the horse. Being my rat. Really you don't you have the boys in there? Don't share with your rats. Your rats. Yeah, share with your rats. Share with your rats. Where's Tori? <laughs> 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 They're like, you're not selling me. <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are almost at... We are two, three, three... I can't do math. We're $250 away from hitting $650,000! Antonio, I'm so serious. You want my number, babe? And I am, I am not serious. Don't, 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 don't give me your number. Give me your number. Can you give me your number then? If I say I'm not serious, and I say don't give me your number. No, because I'm autistic and I'm going to take you literal. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Hi, everybody. <laughs> What's going on? You cannot have my number, but listen, Antonio, if you want the free subscription for a year, I got you. If anyone donates over $500, you can screenshot and send it to me, and you'll get a free subscription to the site you think you're thinking of. Sure. She said she's going up. And oh, yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Do you see that? They all think you're cute, Hera. They think you're so cute. What is that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. The butt? 
<laughs> Close enough. <laughs> oh my god, girl, I'm dying. Oh, yesterday fucked me up, girl. Do you guys got any house improvements to do? Um, yeah, get a house. <laughs> yeah, I need a house to do that. I need a house. Top bar. <laughs> Somebody enrich my life by getting me a house. That's, uh, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, uh, yes, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and buying homes in this economy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Point of, pride, point of pride should like try to invest in getting a property to house trans people. That'd be cool. If we raise seven million dollars, maybe we'll look into it. The last thousand, the last million, we'll look into. <laughs> get a big house and. Uh, where the fuck can you get a house that's yeah, big for a million dollars? <laughs> yeah, somewhere you know, it wants to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, Texas. you can go to northern Wisconsin and get a, a decent sized house for like fucking like 150. Who wants to live in northern Wisconsin? Damn right, I know exactly. <laughs> oh, I just realized that I got a good amount of people who probably live up there. Hey, thank you for being here and donating what you got with what you have. <laughs> Whether you're from northern Wisconsin or rural Texas, we're glad you're here. Yeah. We are at 651. You get a house. You get a house. You all get houses. We're at 651. We're at 651. We are at six hundred and fifty-one thousand dollars. Well, what's that one Peter Griffin quote? He's like, I can recite the alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, donors. Thank you, donors, for your kind and generous donations. Um, I'm sending you all kisses on the forehead only if you want them. You let me know. Jory, I will take your kiss on the forehead. You can have more than that. That's one of my favorite photos, actually, is you and Mercury kissing me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I was blocked on Mercury's main, and my partner's account got muted after I used his account to comment. Wait, were you the person that said ill to the shoes? I think someone said ill to the shoes, but the mods might have blocked that person. Might thinking. Have. Might have. What's your at? So we can get you unblocked. No. Both of them. Look at how beautiful it is today. It's stopped raining. Oh. Uh, I'm on it. Yeah. We're on it. Don't you worry. I think they already tried and they got blocked from their partners or muted on their partner's account too. Maybe because they didn't know the circumstance. But there is somebody who said ew and it was in response to the, the shoes I was showing. Uh. That's what's hard. Moderating is hard. Like, honestly, shout out to the moderators. Y'all are doing amazing. It is a really hard job. You know, like, my moderators, I'm always thanking because y'all really are doing such incredible jobs. It's really hard. I don't, like, I don't know how you do it. I am technically a moderator for a few of my friends' lives, and I just, I just never do it. <laughs> Um, I want to, okay, so for Mercury's mods, uh, it, the person who said ill to the shoe that got blocked, um, it might have been mistaken as like a ill to Mercury, but it wasn't, uh, is Frankie Fierce XO, and uh, uh, their partner is Nicolo, N-I-K-A-L-O, so please uh, unmute slash unblock those two people, um, and I also want to give a big, big robbing, robbing. and not... <laughs> enormous thank you to Madeline for one thousand... Dollar! Yeah. We did it, Hera! We did it, Joe! We did it, Joe! Oh no. Woo! 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 Every time you do that, you fucking scare me. I'm trying to like I'm trying to nap. Sorry. 
kind of nap. Yeah. Did you hear that? Get your ass up and work. It feels like nobody wants to work these days. I am sleeping with my eyes open. <laughs> yeah. Oh, puppy! Who's that? Yeah. Who's somebody oh, get Mercury a coffee enema. It's a, it's a little, little Boston friend. friend. It's a little Boston. So we could do like I a little, like little, little old Boston. Boston. <laughs> like that'll wake you right up. <laughs> too much. Thank you. Mercury, don't you have like cats or something? She does. Yeah, I have two. I have two cats, Nitro and Apollo. Where are they? Oh, we're not at. I'm not at home. This is my production studio. Oh, I always, I always envisioned this was like your basement or something. Yeah, I, I'm of one of the very few creators I think on TikTok that's lucky enough to have like a whole studio set up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do live in Wisconsin. Yeah, no, that was actually what I was going to say. That like, like, I don't need a, the money that I'm not putting in a rent. I can literally put yeah. into a, a production studio. Yeah. I love that. Only while people think I somehow live in a house yeah. in LA. Okay. Yeah. That's so smart. That's I got a good like safety cost too. Hey, come on, let's go pee. If I could afford to like rent a house in LA, I could come probably on. buy one. Like right outside. Like I'll just buy a house. Come on, you gotta go pee? Let's go pee pee. I'm having go. a hard time. Come on, go pee. Because there's so much happening over there. So you can't go outside. There's another room. There's a the shoe bill. You guys mind going in the shoe bill? Yeah, if that's okay. I don't want to be like, ah, I love having you guys over here. I'm just so, it's hard for me to stay focused right now. Yeah, Twinks, assemble! Twinks, assemble? Wait, where's the Twinks? <laughs> They're all right there. They're all right there. <laughs> like literally, and the fun, it's so fucking funny. That's so, literally, oh. everyone behind the camera except Max. <laughs> twink, twink is a state of mind. You can oh. be a girl twink. Oh, you can be, okay, well then everyone behind that camera. <laughs> <laughs> New hashtag, twinks assemble. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Let's go, hashtag twinks assemble. Twinks for Mighty trans Morgan power twinks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh my god! I married. It sounded like one of those videos of the turtles having sex. Hold on, I married. <laughs> Hold on, I married the Green Ranger. I married the Green Ranger. <laughs> what happened? Did it fall out? No, it's bleeding like a fucking shit. Sadie. Oh, Wait, what is? My Her earring. earring. Oh shit. Must it grab onto your wig, babe? Who trying to snatch my wig? That's a wig? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, is that word still banned? Are we gonna get banned? No, no! <laughs> that was with two G's. That was with two G's. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that's a good girl. What? Why did you yeah. wear that? Yeah, okay. You want a story behind the wig thing? Yes. Okay, so uh, everyone, it, it, there was one point in time in the internet, like three years ago, okay. when you were on a live and you were trans femme, no matter what you did, they would always say, I hate your wig. Yeah. I, 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 it was I love your wig. Wig and glizzy reveal, those are the two things I, that yeah. always say to me. A glizzy reveal means mean show me your dick. Well, I... <laughs> Thank you for Urban Dictionary dying that to me. Well, but that's not joke now. I just wanted you to be informed. You know, I wanted you to know, and I'm an educator on the internet, and that's what I do. Uh, 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 uh there's a joke there. Hold on, hold on, wait. I'm finding hey, it. I'm finding it. Hold on. Uh, trans women, put in the dick in Urban Dictionary. There you go. That's good. <laughs> Wow. You're welcome. <laughs> well, at least those of us who are non-op or pre-op. <laughs> I'm a non-op girly. 
Oh my god, you guys got a new hashtag. Hashtag Twinks for Trans Healthcare. Oh, stop. I'm not a twink. <laughs> don't I sound burly? Oh, yeah. I'm not saying anything. I don't want to say That's anything. I don't want to upend. Frankie Grande. Sorry, everyone. We, we just got an angry Dark twink in the off the camera. <laughs> Troy Sivan in drag. We need Twinks for trans health care. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag Twinks Assemble. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone, if you're just turning in right now, we're trying to raise money for trans um, folks by trans people. For, for trans, trans people. people. Gender affirming care looks like binders, gaps, HRT, surgeries, electrolysis, and a cohort of Twinks that will fundraise for gender affirming care. We love to see it. We love. Oh, noodles. <laughs> So make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen. I, I only got one in me. That's evolved. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the first time. Yeah. Yeah, usually I have multiple in me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you have more than one device, say you have a phone, you have a computer, you have a tablet or iPad or whatever, then you can watch the live on all three of your devices. You could just mute two of them, and that will help gain more attention to the live streams. That will help TikTok think and other platforms think that we are deserving of more viewers. And if you would like, comment and share. Share it to your friends. Share it to your husbands. Share it to your husband's girlfriend. Share it to your wives. Share it to your co-workers. Share it to that boy that you think is really cute and tell him, hey, I think you're cute. You should watch this live and donate money to trans people. And yeah. then maybe we could go out on a date. It's yeah. a great pickup line. Trust me, it works. You can send it to your grandma and say, grandma, I don't want a Easter present this year. Instead, I want you to donate that money to trans people on the TikTok account for wait, Point of Pride. Wait, did you get presents on <laughs> Easter? Yeah. Wait, you got presents on Easter? Easter? Well, it would usually be a Bible. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's check. Oh, it okay. would usually be a new Bible. Every Easter, I'd get a new Bible and like a chocolate bar. Oh, you can also share it with that situation ship that you know is toxic and won't claim you, but you still keep going that back, part. and it makes you hate yourself. But you're addicted to how they make you feel, Leave even them though on. you know they won't claim you. I, uh, you can let, share it to that ex. You could share it to that ex that you said you'd go no contact with, but you still keep creeping back into each other's lives. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, thank you for welcoming to Jory's Therapy Hour. We are really are proud to be here with her right now. I just let her out. And Tell us more about your evil ex. I just let her out. Mine? Uh huh. One of them's dead. Hera. <laughs> my dog. My dog just conned my husband into letting her out again for more treats. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much more you want me to. Tell. He died in a house fire. <laughs> I remember this. I forgot. <laughs> Uh, the other one's in a thriving thruple after uh, he repeatedly cheated on me and I was like, bro, I feel like you should just be Polly. And he was like, no. I was right. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, someone said, go eat girl. No, no, like go piss girl. Go eat girl. Did you eat? Wait, what? Oh, I'm eating right now, mama. Oh, period. <laughs> I did. I ate a salad. It's giving fish. It's giving tilapia. It's giving sushi. No, it's giving catfish. <laughs> fish nonetheless. <laughs> What is Wait, the donation total at? 644. Holds one, holds one. Oh my uh, God. Holds really? one, holds Where one. Where are we at? Oh, not you, Max. Thank you to everyone that is participating oh, so in this. Tapping the screen and we everybody that probably tuned in to my account, to, to Mercury's account, and helping us with getting life, not just life affirming, but life saving care yeah. for trans persons. Okay. Oh, yeah. By an organization run by trans persons. Uh, I, I want pasta. 
Uh, we got Jeff over here. Jeff uh, earlier said, and I quote, I cook at the pasta. No. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Wow, y'all got a personal chef and everything. He's better than the I know, I'm getting hungry. Uh, this is right before he said, uh, what was it? What was it again? Uh, Gab Gabagool? I don't recall. Yeah. <laughs> Drama to the box. Three. Do you really want pasta? No, no, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I only want pasta like uh, Jeff's Nona used to make it. Can you repost this during my turn? Yeah. Actually, wait. Um, I would need to get off live, which is fine if we're gonna reset and then go full force. Okay, Ophelia's adding. Oh, Ophelia's adding it to their link in the bio right now and making a video. Yes, mama. Oh. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? I need to go put on deodorant. I'm getting sweaty. Okay. Jeff, is it true that you're a uh, hey, Sam? Yeah, I have to go at five, so I have like an hour before I have to go and get ready for this ball. Oh, well, um, we are going at some point when Jory comes back, gonna like, go for it, um, and try to use what energy we have left. Uh, anyways. Are you gonna throw a pie in someone's face? We did that last year. <laughs> I remember. Every, like... Every 10,000 we were going up, but then we got so much money so fast, we just kept like, um, like too much. I think Jory, Jory got like 10 pies in one hour at one point. <laughs> didn't, didn't you guys do a watermelon too? Oh yeah, with the rubber bands. I would get yeah. Do the whipped cream and the oh, thing again. You getting cream pie? I think we should. <laughs> Oh, I want a cream pie. Are we turning this into a party in two hours? I what? guess I'm getting cream pie. Well, I think that if we do some fun, stupid shit like that, I think we'll yeah. be okay. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? That oh, wig no. is not going to be good after that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the wig. You can put the beanie on. The oh, beanie. yeah, you're right. You will fuck the wig up. Yeah. We can do it to Max. Max volunteered. Yeah, it's funny if it was you, though. I wish we had a Max volunteer. Not with the wig. Yeah, you're gonna shave I know. Your beard? That's what we were saying. It's the price is right. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But only half of it. Yes. Yeah. Half. How about we just take half off? Okay. At two million. Or just take off yeah. the mustache. Or just take off the... I mean, the mustache is sort of my thing. Sometimes I just have the mustache. I always love when men are like, the mustache is kind of my thing. <laughs> like, okay. Good for you. <laughs> like, it's like, you need to tell people that that's the goal. Like, at this mark... I'm going to do this so that it's like a push to get people to get there. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mercury already said, one eyebrow's going at 2 million, the other eyebrow's going at 4 million, so we need a, we need a push. We can get there. Do do half a beard, a million, one five. Don't put it that low. No. We're going to hit a mil. Yeah. Three. Two, two, two. 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 Also, well, hey. Got an hey, you Jeff. postpone your eyebrow. We can postpone it. <laughs> okay, so I have three million, one eyebrow, four million, the second eyebrow. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just gonna start shaving my head at some point. Jeez. All right. And I will get a bikini wax at, at four five million. Five million. Mercury will shave all of her hair. No. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> it took me so long. It took me so long. <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Text. Hashtag cream pie save lives. That was good. That's someone said it in the chat. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Okay. I think I, I want to say thank you to Marty and 
Rose for hanging in with us. I think we are going to try to push just Jory and I in a second here. All right. It's been fun. It's been, yeah, been so nice. Thank you. Pies Thank you. Lives. You two have done so much here, work for us today. Yeah, Thank you. We love y'all. We love it all you. happened you perfectly. My husband went away for to do a retreat in the other side of the house. Like uh, we're we're wacky Buddhists, right? And he signed up for this retreat online. And all of a sudden, I was like, going, "Oh, okay. What am I going to do?" And I checked online to see what happened. And you got your live back, and here we are. And I'm so glad that you are able to do this. That you're live and up and running again, and can um, make some cash for life. Saving healthcare for trans people. You're the best, Marty. Love you both so much. All Love right. You too, honey. You know. Have a good Thanks. night, you two. Thank you for being here. Bye. Bye, Rose. Love you. Bye. Love Love you. Bye. Bye. Don't forget me and myself. Yeah, follow. Give us some love. Yes. Give us a little follow, and please, please, please donate what you can by texting TransJoy one word yes. to four four three two oh, one. Man. Keep going. Keep going. Good luck. Love Just you. Wait, can we take a selfie? Yeah. Marty, come back. Wait, everybody get in. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, say bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> You're so much prettier than me, though. You look so pretty. Look how pretty you look. Oh my gosh, you look so pretty. I look like a truck ran me over. <laughs> it no. sounds like it too. <laughs> I feel like it was more of a train got ran on you, but that's not. Well, that would be a fun Friday night. <laughs> 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 All right. So dead. See you too. You're gonna have to drop me off because I don't even know how to do it. Oh, yeah. you tap on your picture and then there's okay. the X at the top. Speaking and of there's an X at the trains. top. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Love y'all. Love you. Y'all remember when RuPaul uh, said something about like trans pride and posted the trains flag? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. That was so good. <laughs> that was so funny. Wasn't that after there was controversy too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it made it even better. <laughs> RuPaul, I tell you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. RuPaul is something else. <laughs> Training pride. Period. Right. <laughs> hey everyone, double tap that screen. Comment, Comment down, down below, below and share the You're just tuning in right now. Me and Jory are back on live. We're back, 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 back again. We are going to be on here for the next 45 hours. Well, now we're at about like uh, close to like 30 some hours straight now. This 45 point. hours. Um, we're going to be on here for 32 straight more hours. Days. Days. <laughs> um, so. Jory and I are going to keep on, wait, actually, you know what, 34, I'm, I'm wrong, I think, 33, 34, it's a lot, we're on here for a lot. We can do, I, I would we're, be down to live on live, for like the next The thing is, now. you would, you would, not even a joke, you would. Everyone, we are trying to raise money for gender for my care, um, and you can learn more right now by going to the link in the bio. Jory and I are just going to hang out, and you're going to hang out with us, we're going to learn things. Jory, mm -hmm. tell me some facts I don't know. Um, I don't know how to tie my shoes. Wait, really? No, that was a lie. Oh. <laughs> I can't, you can't put me on the spot. I have to think of them. <laughs> but the thing is, though, I, like, bought it. I think, maybe that says a lot about you. Do you know what a sliding genioplasty is? Oh, I have thoughts. What, what they is? sever your chin off of your jaw, and then they, they usually, like, move it around and then shave the bone around it. Actually, you know what? Even more fun. Um, there, so behind your forehead, Wait. there's something called a sinus cap. It's basically like an empty hole. And when you're getting like reconstructive oh. surgery, if you get a type three reconstructive like forehead surgery, they actually pop off the dome like it's a fucking like car hood, and they set it back. All right. And when they're setting it back, it's kind of metal. They like grind your bone into dust, and they kind of just like mix it with some goo in here and that that ends up becoming a bone graft so it grafts back on but yeah they're basically pulling off the dome off your hood which i i had happen to me 10 out of 10. i don't like this game anymore <laughs> it's basically like when they use you combine like sawdust and wood glue as like a wood filling yeah that would make sense to you <laughs> <laughs> the 
divorced for this. I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly what you meant when you said it. Well, this got depressing. No, no, no. Like, it got gender affirming. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, nut butter. Uh, oh. Any other fun facts you uh, want to hear? Well, oh, okay, well, do you know any fun facts about um, different kinds of wood? <laughs> Why? <did I> <laughs> <that? laughs> Jordan, what's your favorite wood? Bosa. Girl? Mine's Bosa. Girl wood? Yeah. yeah. Bosa. Bosa wood is the best. It's fun to carve in. I don't know what that means, but I love it. You know, like, if you want to, like, do some wood carving. Like, I made a necklace at one point out of wood. Okay. That was, like, a little heart. And I made another one for my partner, Reese. Yeah. Out of both? That I may have just spoiled because they might be on this live and I just realized I didn't tell them that yet. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> um, whittling? I'm whittling hitting the gritty. Yeah, whittle. Yeah, have you ever whittled before? Whittle? Whittle wood. You... <laughs> <laughs> you ever whittled? <laughs> I wish I had my stuff here. I might text my spouse to bring me some whittling. <laughs> what? Why is this funny? <laughs> it's not that weird. <laughs> Some people crochet, others whittle. I crochet slay the house down boots, mama, yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was trying to raise money for gender for me care. Which looks like binders, gas stations, <laughs> electrolysis, like surgery, and more. And if you want to donate directly, you can go to the bank in our bio, the link in our bio, the Abraham Linky Binky, or you can text TransJoy one word to four four three two one. Again, that's TransJoy one word to four four three two one. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. If you can't donate financially, that's okay because we live in a what attention based economy. So give us your attention for as much time as possible because five more minutes equals five more people. I just peed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and when I said, uh, gender affirming care, I meant gender affirming care looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and adult depends. <laughs> you don't even need me here anymore. You can do that all yourself. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below. Stop, stop, for the love of God. Oh, Jesus. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. How are you doing? Keep it moving? Yeah. Good. Make sure to double tap that screen. Stop. Share the light. <laughs> you're giving me. You're, you're, you're terrifying me. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Hashtag Mercury piss dust. <laughs> no. <laughs> when we said go piss girl, we didn't mean in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a long ways to go. Buckle up. Jory, when this. Buckle lo- up, Bucker. <laughs> Jory, <laughs> when this live stream is done. <laughs> What, what's the first thing you're gonna do? I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna block you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I deserve it. I deserve it. I did this to you. I did this to you. I'm the worst. I will say, you know what's hilarious to me? And you said it before. That we did all this work in and then promoting the live stream and flying all the place to do the thing, right? And to work with content creators. And Jory said to me before, do you think that is made it worse for us? <laughs> do you think that brought more trolls? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it did. <laughs> so everyone, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with us. And while you're here, make sure to look up that screen, comment down below and share the live. Yep, you can do those things. I'm actually gonna reset my lab because we've been chilling for a minute and we need to get a. G- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna reset the live. Hello. <laughs> um, uh, all right. Let's fucking go! Whoa. Aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Where my pom poms go? Is that a, a Bring It On reference? I have my pom-pom somewhere. Is that Bring It On? Where my pom-poms go? Wait, be aggressive? Uh, no, no, but... Is um, a... 
It's all right. That's okay. You're going to pump my gas someday. Is. Oh. I uh, always I always remember that one. Okay. You're gonna pop my gat today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Skibbity gat rizzler. What are you doing? Oh, they're over here. They're over here. Oh, you want my pom poms? Baby Gronk. Yeah, I'm gonna cheer Jory on. Skibbity toilet. Oh, well. I'm gonna cheer you on. Make sure to put your gyat oh, on uh, the screen. <laughs> okay, here we go. Please don't do that. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Let's go, Jory. That's okay. That's all right. We can do it. Something, something. Yeah. I was an actual leader in high school. How was Wisconsin of you, yup. We can do it, we can do it, let's if go! If you're just joining the live on my account, welcome back to our third annual Transgender Healthcare Fundraiser! Yeah! If you want to help, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live! And if you're wondering what gender affirming care healthcare looks like, it looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, two pom-poms, and a cheese hat! Yeah! And if you want to donate directly, make sure to click the link in the bio, the bink in the bio, the link in the bino, the Abraham Lincoln, and donate. It's Transjoy, one word to 4431. Again, that's Transjoy, one word to 4431. Let's go! Let's go! You two can have pom-poms. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, does that come with gender affirming care? What the pom poms? Yeah. Or the yeehaw? Yeah. I mean, the yeehaw feels very trans mass to me. Cowgirls can say yeehaw. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, you know. How very uninclusive of you. Wow. Save a horse, ride a cowgirl. That's yeah. <laughs> Save a horse, reverse cowgirl. <laughs> Brought to you by Point of Pride. <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are at 43k. We have to reset the live, so let's get to 250k likes. I know your finky wingies are tired, wired, but make sure to double tap that screeny weenie. <laughs> I know some of you got that TikTok roast uh, toy. Uh, put it on your screen. Let it do the work. Wait, this TikTok toy? Yeah, there's roast toys on TikTok. TikTok shop has. You'd be surprised. Does it really actually do? This? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. For science. Wait, did we just get a big donation? Tippity toppity the scrippity scrappity. Did what? Did we get a big, 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 no, drop no, an no. enormous, giant donation so or what? Six fifty-eight, but it's still at six fifty-five. Let's see what we're at. We're about to reload. We are oh, at 658492. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Everyone, thank you so much for being here. We're trying to raise money for gender affirming care. Bye, trans people. For trans people. Somebody's asking where they can donate. They can uh, click the Binkin Lino, the link in Bino, Hold the on. link in Bio. What she means is click the link in the bio, or you can text Transjoy. One word to 44321. Again, that's trans joy. One word there you go. to 44321. Make sure to click the Lincoln Bino, Binkin Lino, the Abraham Lincoln, the Binky Linky Winky. You know, I look really good in this cheese hat. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking elephant! <laughs> in the bio make sure to donate if you can nope. do what you can with what you got every donation matters no matter how big or small nope. we are not size queens i don't know about mercury but i'm not a size queen uh, you know I, I gotta tell you when you wear it, it kind of like this it's kind of like george washington crossing in delaware <laughs> george washington has shown up a lot <laughs>
but it's made of nachos. I mean, it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> did I tell you the time that I didn't know Delaware was a real place? Oh, I thought you were going to say, didn't I tell you the time where I was behind George Washington when he crossed the Delaware? I think that definitely helps. People like hearing that. Okay, great. For real, I was in Philadelphia. This ain't Texas. Yeah, what do you think? It's Wisconsin. Let's do a lot right now. There's a lot going on and I can't hear. See, in, uh, in the state of Texas, you wear cowboy, cowgirl, cow day hat. In the state of Wisconsin, uh, you are born. Uh, you're not assigned a gender. They actually just give you a cheese hat. They cheese, no, they give you a block of cheese. That's really what they do. They no, they slap up, you with a block of cheese. Yeah, they, they take a block of cheese, um, sharp cheddar usually. Okay. And they just whack you with it. All right. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Wisconsin, uh, tropical Madison, Wisconsin, yeah. where we have the best, most tropical weather year round. And cheese skirts. And cheese curds. Yeah, cheese curds. You gotta have cheese curds. Have you had cheese curds here? I have had cheese curds many a time. Well, good. Yeah. Uh, just a reminder, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. If I have to reset my live, and we are trying to get to 250,000 likes, we are currently at 700 or so people. Let's try to get it up to over 1,000. You know what I think is a weird fact? The cheese hats don't come with a strap. Oh. Yours does. No, it, I had a bill. I put it in there. Oh, I thought that wasn't a hat. I did that. How the fuck, Mercury? Did you? Oh, I, I sewed it in. Okay. What do you think I fucking put it in there? I sewed it. I don't know. How else would you have done that? Hot glue and a dream? No, <laughs> I don't think hot glue would hold. So I don't think sewing would hold. Everyone, I'm trying to say, if you want uh, to have your Cheese hat customized. You can send it into Mercury Stardust Media, and I'll sew in your strap. Yeah, I heard it. I heard would it. would you say that you'd be willing to put the strap on? Yes, I will put this strap on for you. I'm okay with putting this strap on. Just a reminder, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are almost at 800 people. Thank you for returning after yesterday's fiasco. Uh, we are trying to make up for lost ground. Very much in the way that I am trying to make up for lost ground because I started transitioning at 30. Oh, that hit too hard. <laughs> that hit too hard. Oh. So help me help other trans people like myself. Mm. And do we have a single cis person in this room? They're not allowed in here. Crickets. Yes. Yeah. Silence. <laughs> Make yourself known if you're cis. <laughs> that was dead. That was dead silent. Well. Ooh. <laughs> so just a reminder: make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Your da uh, taps, slaps, yeah. and claps on the screen. Uh, have helped us reach from 700 people to almost 1,000, and we are over our goal of 250,000 likes. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. And if you want to donate, you can donate directly through our Give Lively page, which only works with reputable 501c3, aka nonprofits, by clicking the link in our bio. Would you like me to read? Would you guys like to read? I want to give. I know your voices, so if you want me to read. Oh, I, so I can't. Are you assuming I can't read? Wow. I said your voice. Wow, Aiden. Oh no. Watch, I said your voice. Watch me read. Wow. Twink. I said your voices. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my chest hair. And show you my tweak. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, read this <laughs> With that said, everybody, put your feet together. Actually, never mind. Never mind. I don't like this. <laughs> oh God, I can't do it. Oh. I can't do it. I can't do it, Lord. Uh, we have a donation of. $2,550 from Haley, spelled H-A-I-L-E-E. -E. Everybody say a big thank you to Haley thank for your you. generous donation, your enormous donation, your giant donation of $2,550. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Double tap that screen. Comment, Comment down, down below, below and, and share, share the live. live. And if you are grateful for people like Haley and all of the generous donors making gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and bunny filters, uh, make sure to double tap that screen. Comment down below and share the live. We're going to be reading some more generous donos. And by we. You. Oh, yeah, go on. You okay? Yeah, go on. Oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> to our funny. Funny. $25 <laughs> donors Danny, Lisa, 
Tara, Madison with two Ds, Woo. Eric, Ooh, two Ed, and Katie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everybody in chat, please pick one of those names and type them along with the words thank and you. Our $50 donors, Melissa, Amy, and Sarah. Uh, thank you so much for your investment. It is very much obliged, as a uh, boss and CEO would say. Our hundred dollar donors came in. It is Colleen, Zach, Kate, and Billy. Thank you. And a generous two hundred and fifty dollar donation from Caroline. Thank you so much. Caroline. Sweet Caroline. I just I love. I went with. Fun. I went with Outcast, and you went with whatever white group of men that was. <laughs> I realized as soon as I did it, I was like, oh, I did call myself out. <laughs> Neil Diamond, everybody. Neil Diamond. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. George. Are you more of an outcast, uh, outcast son or a uh, Neil Diamond daughter? No, no, no. yeah. That Neil Diamond like. daddy? Ooh, no, 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 like gay son or thought daughter, but like outcast son or Neil Diamond daughter. <laughs> Am I in your way? Just say move. And, and why not both? I mean, you, yeah, you could, you could be the uh, Neil Diamond outcast, non-binary, gender, non-conforming, uh, they, them. Anyways, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are almost at 500,000 likes on my account. Thank you. We are back up over the 1,000 person threshold. So thank you to everyone double tapping the screen, commenting down below, sharing the live, and making our generous donations possible. We are going to get an updated uh, dono count. I'm going to read some donations. We have $25 from Felicia, Deborah, Mary Ann, Teddy, Michaela, Kit, Michelle, and Charlize. And then $255 from Cassandra. Thank you all. Thank you all for those lovely donos. And just an update, we are at Hey baby, could you do me a favor? Hey! Hey baby, could you do me a favor? Could you bring my wood work my woodworking stuff from home? Like the little whittling knife and stuff I have. <laughs> trying to get your woodwork that work? Yeah. I want my woodworking. I'm not, I'm not kidding, I want it. Can you bring my woodworking stuff that's underneath my <laughs> table? <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We're almost at 500k, so thank you to everyone double tapping, thank you to everyone donating, thank you to everyone donating their time, financials, and time all makes a difference because we live in a what? Attention-based economy. So if all you can donate your time, all you can do is donate your time, that matters a lot because that helps us reach people like the generous Haley who donated $2,550 as well as all of our donos uh, because we don't care about size. We're not size queens around these parts. At least I'm not. Uh, oh, I want to give a big special thank you to Mika. What the fuck does this? Neil? Neil. Yeah, Neil. I think that's how you say it, right? It's, it's those are two L's, right? yeah. I thought it was Nile. I didn't write like this it. one. Okay. Wait, hold on. Where, where is it? Where? Uh, so uh, Nile. 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 Jessica, Brielle, Maddie, Sean, and of course, Mothman for the $25 donations. Thank you, Mothman. Love you, Mothman. Mothman. <laughs> Mothman. <laughs> Mothman. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I, I like. Ah! Yeah, okay. Thank you for the $50. Uh, go ahead. Oh, wow, Jesus. Everyone doesn't want me to talk today. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but actually, oh, shut up and conserve your voice as oh, much as possible. I, I can't. You can and you will. Yeah. Have I ever told you that I love you? Um. Yeah, a little too much. Relax. Wow. I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, Aaron, I'm ready for you. Thank you for the $50 donors. Marilyn. No Monroe. JG. No Wentworth. Wentworth. 
<laughs> Nathaniel. Hawthorne. Uh, Ash. <laughs> Jessica. Nathaniel. Oh, Ketchum. rabbit! Jessica Rabbit! Jessica Rabbit! That would be that was a good one. <laughs> Andrea. Sibyla. 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 Aileen. Come on, Aileen. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you for the two hundred and fifty dollar donation from Andrea. Thank you so much, Laura, everybody. for their hundred dollar donation. <laughs> and. Radiant Transformations Counseling Services for their $150 donation. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Yes. One, put down in the chat. Thank you, 150 Thank hey, you. Thank you, 150 We are at, what, 665 right now? I got you. We're doing, honestly, it's so nice that we've raised, like, over 160000 today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's since we went to bed last night, right? But we, when I woke up, we were at, like, 6, we were at 510 when I woke up. So we've raised like over a hundred fifty thousand today. Bam, 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 bam. And, you know what did we raise all of yesterday? Five hundred, three hundred, three hundred something. Yeah, yeah, three hundred. So we're halfway to yesterday's treat just by sitting here and looking. Cute. As Mercury would say, "Oh, we're halfway there." <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you don't know the rest of the words? No. What? <laughs> I don't know the rest. Oh, Jory, I don't know the rest of any song. I only know, right? Right, <laughs> Danny, Danny and Basil, who were in a car with me for four months for the book tour, can contest. I can never finish more than two, like, 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 words in any song. Okay, period. Yeah. <laughs> Poo. Unless it's Nickelback. Unless yeah, it's Nickelback, right. I could go <laughs> pretty deep. I go pretty deep. Yeah. Photograph. Don't do that to your voice. That's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, I, I prefer Creed, though. Nickelback? Yeah. Nickelback, what? I know. I know. I know. But when I, when I, was, when I was on book tour, I did listen to exclusively a Divorced Dad Spotify playlist. <laughs> Admit us, listen to it. All the time. Yeah, I, I really like Divorce Dad Rock. Okay. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Work, mama. Someone said focus. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. This is what you got today. This is what you got today. The day you got. Um, what were we saying? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. And we won't all set six, 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 six. Oh, oh, period. All right. If you don't want to read them, you can just. Thank you for all of these generous twenty-five dollar donations, including people like Brianna, Ellie, Rebecca, Katie, Christy, Zulma, Chantel, Tyler, Amy, Jordan, Taylor, Krista, Kate, Sophia, and Carlos. Carlos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. We're almost at six. But seriously, Antonio, if you're still there, hey. Let's try to get it to six, 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 six. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I think we could. Just keep giving one don dollar donation until we get there. <laughs> we are at oh, six hundred and sixty six okay. thousand dollars. Okay, we're trying to get to six, 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 six. All right. So don't somebody just don't, just don't listen to her. Don't no don't, listen. don't just gently, <laughs> don't listen to her. Just don't go don't go too much. Just like you know. Excuse me. One hundred and ninety nine dollars. Okay. <laughs> you got a screenshot of what happens. To it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, okay, we're like oh, okay, we're at five hundred and seventy. So just keep giving one dollar donation. Ninety six dollars. And then like this, like, yeah, just like it screenshot up. it. <laughs> Shut up. And screenshot it's it. not gonna happen. Oh, okay. We're at five seventy right now. Yeah, ninety six away. Ninety six away. You were so fascinated with this. I want to hit. Si okay, okay. We're trying to hit six, 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 six. <laughs> Angel numbers. Angel numbers. I just think it'd be funny. Everyone agrees? Everyone agrees? Make sure you hit 666666. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. God damn it. Help me. 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 Help me.
How dare you give money to this charity? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, you know what? It was here. It was right in my heart. I don't need to see it. I know what happened. We're at 667. Mm. Yeah, 667. Wow. Yeah. Look at us, jury. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. What was that? <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. And we are going to read some other generous donos, aka donators, aka people who are putting money towards gender affirming care, which looks like minors, gas, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, uh, laser, and missing the 666666 mark by a few hundred dollars. Wow. <laughs> and go ahead. $100 donors include Alicia. Wow. Please. Elizabeth. Taylor. <laughs> Haley. Johansson. Haley. Rochelle. Jackson. Keith. Lee. Lee. <laughs> Catherine. Jones. Dana Jones. Samantha. Cox? Yes. <laughs> Nick. Jonas. Jonas. Jonas, yeah. Our $50 donors. <laughs> Any. Buddy. August. Rush. Uh, Rush. September. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Lauren. Hill. <laughs> Avery and Josh. Jones. Heck. Avery Jones. <laughs> Michael. Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Kristen. Stewart. Yeah. Ellen. Degenerate. Degenerate. Red. Ellen. Ray. Sean. Would you say Ray? Ray. Carl Rove said. <laughs> Our two hundred and fifty dollar donors. <laughs> Niall. Horace. <laughs> Is that a person? I don't know. Horace. <laughs> Horace. <laughs> And the Good Vibes Only Crystal Shop. Thank Woo! you for your two hundred fifty dollars. We love your good vibes. By the way, the next time that somebody says that trans people enforce stereotypes, I just want to remind you that Mercury, a trans uh, non-binary femme, was dictating what Aiden, a trans man, was doing. That's not very gender stereotypical. All right, we're reversing gender roles in this household. You're like, all right, you go read now. Oh yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah, the matriarch. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to cook either. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a beard. <laughs> With that said, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. And if you want to be one of the lovely donos that are read out and also help people access gender affirming care, you can click the link in bio, Bink and Lyle, link in bino, the Abraham Lincoln. Or you can text TransJoy one word to 44321. Again, that's TransJoy one, one word, word to 44321. Again, that's TransJoy one, one word, word to 44321. Again, that's TransJoy one word to 44321. You are watching the Mercury and Joy podcast where we talk about nonsense while you give us your money. Thank you, everybody. Joy, <laughs> what was your very first job? Curiously, what was your very first job? I was a barista at the hellscape that is Starbucks. Oh, wow. You've come a long ways. Mm -hmm. Where, where, where were you living? Were you in Seattle? Like, Miami, Florida. Was it Miami, Florida? That had to be something. Yeah, my first job was a, a ranch hand. Okay. Yeah, and then my second job was... Check out. <laughs> Tell us more. I feel... <laughs> <laughs> what goes into being a ranch hand? Yeah. And what goes into being a ranch hand? Well, it depends what you're ranching. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had we had, we like ran um, like a little trail thing with with, with, with uh, horses. Oh wait, uh, Mar are you a horse girl? Yeah, she's a horse yeah, girl. I'm a horse girl. <laughs> Didn't you say if I move here that you're gonna make me get a horse with you? <laughs> that is what happened. I did say that. <laughs> I wasn't going to break up, but yeah. I did say, if you moved here, uh, that you, me, and a few others could go in on a horse. Yeah. That is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't sound right out of context. It's just, yeah. <laughs>
Can we bring it to the studio? Yeah. yeah. I'm down. No, you yeah. can't bring the horse into the studio. Why? You want to have fun here? I feel like it would. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> and just a reminder, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and a horse to complete a horse girl's fantasy of yeah. having a horse with her friends. What kind of horse would we get? I don't. What kind of horses are there? A Tennessee Walker. Why is the horse walking in Tennessee? No. <laughs> It couldn't get a permit in, Japan, in uh, Louisiana. That's why it's. Uh, uh, Netflix, contact her, get her a company. <laughs> Still better than Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Yeah, ho- about- hashtag horse girls for trans rights. Woo! Okay, but what? Okay, what are what's, what's our favorite horses though? <laughs> Come on, we got a whole. Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed's your favorite horse. Yeah. Mr. Ed. Yeah, he used to put peanut butter in his mouth, and he would. T- you don't know who Mr. Ed is. <laughs> <laughs> he would talk. He would talk. Yeah, There's Mr. Ed was like, from the 1950s. There was this uh, old TV show called Mr. Ed, and it was this guy who could talk to a horse, but no one else could think he talked to a horse. But then, you know, the way they did it, it was to put a peanut butter in the mo- horse's mouth. <laughs> Everyone's making fun of me out there. Little Sebastian. So, little Sebastian. From Parks and Rec, another really good horse. Seabiscuit? Seabiscuit, another really good horse. Secretariat, another really good horse. The what? Secretariat. Secretariat. There's a whole movie of the fucking thing. Black Beauty? Several horses. Seabiscuit. I said Seabiscuit. We already said Seabiscuit. Get on the, get, what are you doing? Some great donors of our <laughs> fundraiser we have here. Bojack Horseman. That's what I was trying to think of. I was like, I know there's a car keyboard. Sorry. Yeah, we're, we're listening. We're listening. At hundred dollar donors include Heather, Pandora, Lex, Anna, and Laura, with an O, Laura, and also Zoe with an I. With a hundred and fifty dollar donation, Zoe. We Kravitz. have. Sorry. Zoe Kravitz. Oh, okay, you're doing it. Yeah. yeah. We have. Yeah. <laughs> we have Kai coming in at two hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you, Kai. No Sanat. Ooh. And then we've got our fifty dollar donors, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. No black. It's Ooh. Friday. Friday. It's not Friday. It's Saturday. Yeah. It's Saturday. Elena. <laughs> David, not Chappelle. Ooh. Jennifer, Coolidge, Coolidge, uh, we love uh, you. And Kelly. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, stop! 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 What was that? That was so good. Thank you. That was really good. I was not ready for a decent Coolidge to come out. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> uh, you, you gotta, you gotta warm me up. All right. Kelly! No Cali- no Cadigan. No. I'm trying to warm you up. Urgh. <laughs> Makes me want a hot dog real big. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what about in a million? You do a Jennifer Coolidge AI? <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> That was one of my favorite things I've ever seen. The AI? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Are we, Jen, Jennifer Coolidge was oh, so good. Are we not going to get any AI performances from you? I will do an AI performance uh, when we hit four million, I guess. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Jennifer Coolidge. You guys will just have to wait and see. <laughs> I don't know what Oh, we're at 69. Uh, <laughs> I'll do a divorce dad AI. <laughs> I want you to know, yes, to this is a very different vibe than <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> However, we actually kind of raised more money than yesterday. Well, um, a lot of people have described it as the the sleepover that like goes too long and everybody gets like de- Lulu, like de Lulu. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who is donating and texting TransJoy. One word! To 44321, whether you've got a dollar, five dollars, or these $25 donors, including Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. No Bradshaw. Shit fucker. Bonesagard. Bonesagard. Thank you, Bonesagard. Laura. Thank you, Laura. Jody. Thank you, Jody. Hat 
Hannah. Thank you, Hannah No Montana. Charis. Thank you, Charis. Ashley. Thank you, Ashley No Tisdale. And Cole. And Cole No Sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> And just remind, uh, just a reminder that uh, for any amount of money, any amount of dollars, you can make a trans person holler in this room. So make sure to double tap that screen comment down below and share the live. Share the live. You can donate directly by going to the Lincoln bio, the Binkin Lyo, the Lincoln Bino, the Abraham Lincoln, uh, to learn more about how this money is going to be distributed amongst the trans community and also to donate directly. You can also text TransJoy. One word. To 44321. Again, that's TransJoy. One word. To 44321. Thank you so much to everybody sticking around with us, especially after all of our uh, hills, hurdles, uh, gills and girdles. Gills and girdles? I don't know. There's a lot of blankets over here. There are. <laughs> uh, hashtag can't stop TransJoy. Exactly. <laughs> You have to put this joke. Didn't Mercury say this was a cover for something? Not that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so festive. Welcome yeah. to Wisconsin. I need a cheese curd. What is the festivity? Do you guys have like a cheese festival? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. What's it called? Brat fest. Brat fest? <laughs> so there are sausages there. Festival. Yeah, I was going to say, oh. isn't it brat a sausage? Yeah. But they got a lot of cheese, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are cheese festivals in, any, in egg, every town. Yeah. You yeah. go to a city in Wisconsin, you'll find a cheese festival somewhere in <clears> July. Is okay. there one this weekend? No, oh, okay. unfortunately. There's no, like, warmer. Kais Festival? Is that what it's called? Kite? Kais? Kite? Is that cheese? Is it? I don't know. It's beyond mine. Is that Dutch? That's what it is. There. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are at 1 million likes on my live. Woo! Thank you so much to everybody who's tuning in. Tune in. Thank you, Vanna of European descent. <laughs> we have hit six hundred seventy thousand dollars. I can bark pretty good. Go piss, girl. <laughs> you heard that too. <laughs> what are you whispering about me? <laughs> Jeez. I don't know what to say. I don't know either. Want to hear me bark? You want to do We're some? Chocolate. Do I want to hear you stories? bark? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just tell me if you think it sounds like a real dog. Or not. Close your eyes. Hey, <laughs> do you want to do some of these right now? Yeah. Barking like a dog. Hold on. calling me small. <laughs> just your bark. <laughs> Not my bite, baby. <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share, share the, the live. live. Who should we share? And should we talk about? Before we do, as a reminder, oh, okay. we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, uh, surgeries, electrolysis, and uh, trans people barking while wearing a cheese hat. Yes. And we are now going to take a moment to highlight some of the recipients of the electrolysis and surgery fund. No. This right here is Bria. Pronouns she, her. Bria received $26,000 for the, as a recipient of our surgery fund. Bria is a 30 year old black trans woman from California seeking facial feminization surgery. And her income barely covers rent and groceries. So this is something that she would not be able to afford otherwise. And we are so happy for all of the donations from last year who helped someone, who helped Bria and all of your donations this year that will help someone like Bria. 
And while her pronouns are she, her, she might have to change them to she served after she gets facial feminization. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, Jory, I just want you to know. Oh, Whoa. my God, no. Oh. oh, no, the whole 15 people. Oh, God, okay. I thought we weren't size queens. <laughs> well, I never said I wasn't. That's true. Yeah, I, never, I didn't say a word. Okay, so what I was going to say is... Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. No. Oh. What I was going to say is being able to go into the elevator and going all the way to the second floor so I don't have to deal with uh, audience members who recognize me, her going to the, uh, the restaurant as I'm trying to take a piss while we're also panicking about being blocked. Great feeling. It's literally 519 and I just got off work. Try being an influencer for a day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was saying. That's not what I was saying. Uh, trying to get me in trouble. Uh, trying to get me in trouble. Uh, I've often said this though. That as someone who worked in blue collar jobs her whole life, this job is a whole different kind of pain in my ass. You know, definitely not harder physically, but mentally. My God. Would you say it's like? Colonoscopy pain in the ass, or like I, hemorrhoids. Pain okay, in the I would say hemorrhoids. Okay, not colonoscopy. Speaking because of. because I don't want the thing is the colonoscopy. We should do it for our own health. You know the hemorrhoids. You don't need it. Yeah, Max. I don't need what? this. You know. You don't need those hemorrhoids. I'm sorry. I I can't. I'm addicted to them. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? Popping boba. Uh, I like to describe them as a uh, uh, human flavored gushers. Uh, Everyone, uh, this fundraiser fun. is for gender affirming care. Which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, surgeries, electrolysis, and hemorrhoids that you pop with a boba straw. <laughs> One time I, one time no. I said, one time I said, um, I like, I, this was a joke. Nobody knows when I'm joking, apparently. But I was like, oh, I ran out of real gushers, so, um, I just ate my partner's hemorrhoids because they're like, uh, you know, more tasty, natural gushers. And I tagged gushers. Um, and I, <laughs> I know, I know the poor intern saw that and was like, oh, I don't get paid enough for this. So if you're the intern at gushers, um, one, Send me gushers for free. I'm tired of eating hemorrhoids too. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you had to read that. Jory, sometimes. No. Jory, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes we don't even know this stuff, Jory. Sometimes you just don't have to share it, baby. You just don't have to share it. Speaking of oversharing, did I tell you about the time that I had my like uh, frontal cap of my skull removed? Hey, everyone. Shot off? Thank you so much for tuning into this fundraiser for gender affirming care. We're going to say thank you to the people who are trying to send in money. Um, Which does not include gushers. Like Lena. Laurel, Stephanie, Kira, Cheryl, Darby, and Kashmir for all donating what you got or what you have. Everyone, thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> and I love that you're here. Um, we are trying to do our best we can with what we got today. What's your name? This is the donor's name. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, you want me, to, want me to say it? Yeah, of course. For 25 bucks, that's what you want me to say that? Okay. Wait, 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 what is it? Okay, hold on, shit. Girl, girl, I hate you. All right, I just want to say a special thank you to anyone who's making, I know, I know. Anyone who's uh, putting in a little fun things for us to say and donating, that's really fun. I love it. Um, but but that do means, you love this? I, this one, go ahead, say it. No, that's for you. No, I, don't, I can't see all of it. We got Liam and show over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got twenty-five dollars from Mercury Lincoln Bio, Wachiston, Whittling Pissed Us Horse Girl. Thank you so much for your Thank kind, you generous donation. donation. Piss dust. <laughs> 
And just a reminder, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are trying to raise four million dollars for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and uh, widow willing, what she's in, horse girl pissed us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I've already changed my underwear twice. <laughs> Somebody clip that. <laughs> I don't have this. <laughs> I don't have that much underwear with me, baby. <laughs> no, I'm peeing myself because Jack that's over here. How's easy? I can't tell if you're being serious. No, I already texted him to bring me more underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? I thought you were joking. Someone said we gotta get her depends. Oh, I thought about it, you know. Sometimes when you get to a certain age, you just don't let you just don't got no bladder no more. Would you be so bold as to say sometimes when you get to a certain age it depends? Wow. <laughs> Everyone, Dave Chappelle. Oh, because I'm black. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, it comes from a video about nail biting. Mm. Oh, what's going on over there? <laughs> There's a thing where people keep commenting pinworms <laughs> in the chat. Uh, for trans rights. Yeah. For trans rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, thank you for tuning in uh, with me, Mercury Stardust, uh, the trans handyman or something. Um, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like. Binders, gaps, oh. HRT, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, surgery, and pinworm for, for trans rights. For, for a second there, but I thought we were going to have peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Gender <laughs> affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and diapers for the trans handyman. <laughs> 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 so much. <laughs> Stop making me laugh so hard. Remember when you laughed and it sounded like turtle sex? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, too. I want you to know every single time. Oh, every single time I'm laughing, I'm peeing a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going, y'all. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you know what? Hey, hey! I developed my platform by being transparent, and I sh I share with my audience when I piss myself, and there's nothing wrong with it. We all do it. I'm trying to normalize and Who's pissing we? yourself when you laugh. Who's we? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, the human urinal! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> By day, she's go piss girl. By night, she's the human urinal! <laughs> I want you to know, Jory, since you've done this bit, there have been multiple large creators have come and gone multiple times. And so I, wait, oh, oh, thank you. Great to know. Am I reading that one? <laughs> yeah, read that one. Your Is this one was. person or two people? One person. Two people together. Two people for one <clears throat> gift. We want to say thank you to Lauren and John. For donating a whopping one thousand dollars. 
$1,000. Thank you so much. Everyone say thank you, Lauren and John. Thank you, Lauren and John. Thank you, Lauren and John. For supporting um, Mercury Piss Dust. It means a lot to us right now. <laughs> um, you paid a thousand dollars for me to say that. So thank you, everybody, <laughs> for being here. Um, All of these people donated twenty-five dollars, oh, and if you add them up, it's two hundred and twenty-five dollars. We got Jenna, Jennifer, Jamie, Bethany, Hedda. Holly, Michael, Evan Ann, and Juan. Thank Woo! you so much. Woo! Teamwork makes the dream work. We're almost Woo! at 11 million likes, everybody. So make sure to double tap that team and comment on the live. Where are you? What are you doing? Why are you over I'm right here, promise. <laughs> Why are you over there? I'm eating a salad. You, but you're over, but if you're gonna eat over there, just eat over there. You don't need to shout over the phones. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, you know, just, I got this. I'm a, prof I'm a professional. I can handle it. I don't know how to shut up. I don't know how to turn it off. Baby, everyone in this room is aware. Everyone in this room is aware. <laughs> I mean, I'm, Fine, I'll sit on camera. Okay, just eat on camera and say nothing. Everyone. Woo! <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to the Jory Quiet Hour. I'm Mercury Stardust, and I will be reading to you a book that I have not found yet. It's an AI generated book about my book. <laughs> Someone just said ASMR pinworms. Good stuff. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, thank you everyone for being here. You can also donate by going to the link in the bio right now. We're at 675, I think, or pretty close to it. Okay, what are you doing? Ooh, we're $150 away from hitting 100. All right, $675,000. Thank you for being here. I got so much quiet when you're around. It's so nice. This is so nice. I can hear myself talk. And now I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for this. Yeah. <laughs> How, how's your food? <clears throat> That's good. That's good. You could say that because it doesn't make any sense. So, what if we did like. That's good stuff. Everyone, you having a good time? I'm not. <laughs> Who? What is this pinworms? What is this pinworms thing? I don't know. Apparently, there's a video about how biting your nails can lead to pinworms. What the fuck is pinworms? It's a parasite. Ew. I think it's like worms. Everyone, ate in his back. Hi, you want to know why we're here? Yes. No. To raise money for trans folks. Health care to get them the gender affirming care they deserve. You can go ahead and text the word transjoy. One word. One word. One word. <laughs> to 44321. Again, that's transjoy. One word. To 44321. Whether you've got $1 like our donor Jesse, $5 like our donor Audrey, or $500 like our donor, Emily. Woo! You can make a donation by, again, texting TransJoy. One word. To 55432. Four, five. See, when you give me a four, 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 three, two, one. Four, four, three, two, one. See, now, now you can't get mad at me for not, not saying one word. I think we have here. almost hit... Six seventy five. Six seventy five. Oh yeah, we're gonna so Max. Oh, right in Stewie's pocket. No one's as tall to reach up there. I'm sorry. You're up. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? 
I'm doing good. I am mostly here. In body form. Yeah. How about you doing? I'm good. Oh, oh. Right at Jory's chest. I know what you're looking up. Everyone, Dr. Donation Daddy. 15,000 donors so far. That's amazing. Shit fucker. We are at $676,000. Love to see it. Love amazing. to see it. Everyone, we're just ticking along here. Um, everyone, thank you so much for being on this live stream. We've somehow have hung in there uh, when we've had our live stream banned uh, nine times in the first 10 hours. And now we are just chugging along. This is like the longest uninterrupted live stream we've done uh, since we've been doing this and since yesterday from two o'clock uh, oh. <laughs> everyone if you were thinking oh what happened to jory don't worry she's always one scream away from being back in camera Screaming um, without the s oh my god <laughs> oh cream i get it um, <laughs> We are trying to raise money for gender affirming care by trans people. For, for trans, trans people! people. And we want to say thank you to everyone who's already donated. Thank you for being here. We've had a really long day, um, but boy, are we doing good. It's just nice, chill time with all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, please let everyone know uh, your favorite cre creators. Bug the shit out of them. Uh, go to their most recent video and uh, tell them to talk about this. Right? Um, we get creators to actually do things when they can't ignore us. So, um, I know that because I am one. So, um, you can do us a favor and, uh, let them know what we're up to and that they should put the link in their bio and go live and help us promote, um, um, Gender for me care through point of pride. Which looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, Good surgery, time. and more. And some of the recipients look like Chandler, pronouns he, they, who received one year of HRT access. Chandler is a 22-year-old black trans man. He is unemployed due to his mental health and he just had to move due to an unsupportive housing situation. So every dollar you donate goes to people like Chandler. And people like Rilo, who also received uh, access, uh, uh, HRT access fund for one year of HRT, including blood work. And their pronouns are they, them. Rilo is a 28-year-old non-binary person. They are currently uninsured and do not have stable housing. They are a recent domestic violence survivor with very limited financial resources. So taking the weight off of paying for HRT and the blood work related and uh, is very helpful for all of our recipients, including Ryan. <clears throat> HRT, for those who don't know, stands for Hormone Replacement Therapy. It's one of many ways that people can access gender affirming care. That's not true. HRT stands for Horse Girl Replacement Therapy. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> Dandy's pronouns are he, him. You can hear actually from Dandy uh, himself on jo one of Jory's videos that she put up yesterday. Dandy received assistance from our surgery fund, $13,000. Dandy is a trans mask person. Uh, as I just said, they just had their top surgery this month. Uh, he is not a U.S. citizen, so employment is hard. Uh, he lives in Texas and he honestly worries about his safety there. So we're hoping that this surgery will help Dandy feel more confident as the man he is. Cool. Wait, this one's gonna die. Jory, I thought you were charging my phone. Charger? I thought I was too. Yeah, Jory, this one right here is like basically gonna die in the next like two seconds here. Oh, well. Said they went to high this school one? with me. Yeah. I be. I don't know who that is. I didn't. How was I supposed to know? Well, you said you were charging them. How was I supposed to know? The pressure's not in the right? Well, I don't fucking know. Which one is it? Not this one. Which one are you plugged in? Is it charging now? Yes. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I know it is. No, I, it isn't. Okay. <laughs> okay, go on there. Okay, let's talk about Lily. 
Lily's pronouns, she, her, as you can see, uh, Lily's face is blurred out as a friendly reminder to everyone here at Point of Pride, we believe in agency and trans people's bodies as well as their stories. And so some of our recipients choose to not share their face or even their first name so they can use an alias. What we do is we try to find a face that represents um, who they are, blur out that face. They approve of that as well as write their own bios. So this is Lily, pronoun she, her. Lily received $32,000 from our surgery fund. Lily is a 23 year old trans woman from South, from Southern Africa. Africa seeking bottom surgery. She migrated to the U.S. in search of a better life, and she currently works two jobs while in school. So shout out to Lily and all of her hard work. We're so proud of her and happy to support her. I got it. You got it? Okay, great. Thank and you, surgery funds like giving Lily $32,000 for facial feminization surgery happens from great donors like Erica, Jenna, Katie, Brian, Sharon, Hannon, and Mateo all donating a hundred dollars. Let's thank them in the comments. Please give them a round of applause electronically by double tapping that screen. Also, our fifty dollar donors like Lily, Erica, Diamond, Julie, Bridget, Andrea, Madeline, and Victoria. Thank you so much. As well as our $25 donors, these donors always add up. They are family groups. Put them together equals big bucks. We've got Alexa, Brad, Shauna, Miles, Dennis, Denise, Denise, Denise. <laughs> Amy, Vanessa, Jenna, Sasha, Remy, Ashley, and Reggie. Thank you so much. Give them all a virtual round of applause. Tap, 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 tap that screen. Share this live. Let people know. You haven't done any screenshots. No, we have not. Give me one second. Today, not a screenshot kind of day. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I mean. Should we be reading a book? No. Um, oh, we can screenshot. Well, we cannot. I was going to say. You could screenshot. We could screenshot a story. Well, you could screenshot the. Let's take them holding the photos and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to screenshot this. Post this on the good old Instagram. Oh, I should say you should screenshot this. Oh. Okay, screenshot, yeah. Screenshot, 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 screenshot. And then you can post that screenshot wherever you post your photos, like Facebook, Instagram. Yes. Where else do people post? Reddit? Do people do Reddit? I don't know. Uh, do they email? Do they have, like, email chains? And... You can also just, like, text <laughs> your friends to come over and hang out. And it's, sad. it's about to be Saturday night for a lot of people, or it is Saturday night. Twitter. Twitter. Tumblr. Tweeter. Tumblr. Tumblr. Do people, like, do people have Tumblr? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't really know. Is there really a Tumblr anymore? <clears throat> there's still Tumblr. Yeah. Do people still use it? Double yeah. tap for yeah. Tumblr. Well, there's Give no it up. Just the lesbians. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> lesbian Tumblr. We love a lesbian. I used to be a lesbian. <laughs> I used to be a softball playing lesbian. I wasn't ready for it. Why? <laughs> Neither was my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I am in fact a lesbian and I am on Tumblr. Truth. Yeah. I told you. Truth. Yeah. Good stuff. Truth. I remember when Tumblr was like, Hot shit. No, porn. Oh. That was some good <laughs> shit. Yeah. That was porn, man. I learned a lot from Tumblr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think half of my personality Case comes from, from yeah, yeah. I feel like that tracks. Everyone's giving love for Tumblr. Someone said I used it for that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I used it for a lot. <laughs> Maybe some of our donors were on Tumblr too for their own reasons. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> There's like Laura and Christine who each donated a hundred dollars. Let's do that one last. And Elizabeth, Ricky, Annabelle, Sarah, Heather, Kerry, Christine, and Sonia all donating $50 for a total of one, two, three, four hundred dollars. It adds up really quick. So even if you've got a dollar, five dollars, twenty-five dollars, or five hundred dollars, and you want to donate, just text Transjoy. One, uh, uh, one word. 
to 44321. Four, That's trans joy. One, one word, word to 44321. Four, and also, thank you to Julia for their $250 donation. Julia is a proud mama of a non binary, beautiful human. Thank you so much. Thank you. Somebody said, Where's Jory? I just want to make it known. Bitch, I'm here. I'm queer. Get used to it. And, you're and I'm going over the air. <laughs> oh, okay. Everyone thought you were dead yesterday. They were very concerned. Yeah, yeah. Jory slept for like a two two hours or something I yesterday. Did. Yeah. yeah, that explains a lot. Yeah. We're at six hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars. Woo! <laughs> you can always tell a difference. <laughs> Between when Jory is fucking tired as hell <laughs> and when Jory got some sleep at all. I got three hours plus my little nap. Yeah. Last night you were just staring like this. Uh-huh. It's mm-hmm. so funny. Either <laughs> either she can't shut up or she can't talk. There yeah. is no in-between with Jory. It's Let's called the go. duality of woman. <laughs> yeah. I know you're a they them now, but you wouldn't understand. <laughs> oh shit. Get out of here. We are only three hundred dollars away from hitting six hundred and seventy nine thousand yeah, dollars. I think we can hit a million tonight. We're just ticking she away. Said, yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Well, yep, well yeah, yep. no. <laughs> yep. Good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah! 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 Hello, why did they have a corgi shaking its butt? I, I gotta mean, tell you, I, I love just, that corgi. You do? I, I do mean, love every time. It like poops little hearts at I, I Every time I see that corgi, I'm like, today's a good day. Yeah? <laughs> Alright. You know, I love corgis. I want a corgi. I wonder what your Tumblr was I, full of. Yeah. Or don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't. Just a thought. <laughs> Nicholas said that I grew up with you. I don't. Who are you? That's a really creepy way to start that conversation. No. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, know, I, I saw hope you, you were com- nice. Oh, okay. you were nice. I was gonna say I saw a few comments of like trans men being like, "You were my first trans man uh, representation." Oh, that's different. Yeah, uh, yeah. I thought you meant like I saw. I used to throw hearts at you yeah. in gym class. Uh, <laughs> I love that voice though. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, I had, you know, I had my moment, okay? That's what I had. What? I had my moment. In gym my, class? No. Oh! My, you know, and when you, work and activism. And, yeah. You know? You talk about yourself as if you're not, like, a larger content creator. I, I feel like I'm not next to you. Yeah, but I'm barely... Do you think this is content? <laughs> I guess <miss> myself. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is content. Yeah, Everything yeah. is content. Oh, man, I'm so happy that you don't get to be this pissed girl. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Man, you really missed out on the days when you could be on live and pissing in front of 7,000 people at one time. <laughs> Boy, I wish you were that kind of creator. <laughs> My claim to fame is actually it's it's a big part of a it's a part of Point of Pride's story I think actually um, so I started I need my own gender affirming care this is how Point of Pride started I need my own gender affirming care so I started doing whatever the fuck I could to make extra money and I ended up landing on making T-shirts and so I had a clothing company called Point Five CC which is the average amount of testosterone which that trans masculine people take when they decide to medically transition. And my co-founder of Point of Pride, Jeff, was a friend of mine um, and was good at making websites. And so he was helping me. So we started working closer together. Um, and I was able to raise the money I needed for my gender affirming care. I decided to keep the clothing company open and give away those funds. People started to send in their binders to me um, because I did have a platform and so I was able to mail out free binders which is also why I didn't make any money in my business because I gave it away and mailed it to people binders so instead Jeff and I decided that we should start a nonprofit so that happened in 2016 is when we officially became a 5013C 
but our first donation was given, I think it was 2012, Jeff, or 2013? The 2011 first, is the... 2011 right. is the first year we gave away funds. Um, and so that's where the name actually Point of Pride comes from because the clothing company was called Point 5 CC. So we changed the name to Point of Pride. Um, mm -hmm. And I had a growing platform. So one cool thing I get to claim, I actually showed my son this for the first time just like last weekend. Um, I was the first transgender man on the cover of Men's Health magazine in 2015. <laughs> which was a few months after Laverne got on the cover. So, uh, you know, really amazing stuff. I've had a lot of amazing opportunities to go to different events um, and do cool stuff and speak and all of those things. So luckily I've been able to use my platform and, you know, work with Jeff and all of our amazing volunteers over the last, you know, 10 years to help amplify the message of Point of Pride, to help get people gender affirming care, to grow these programs, to learn, um, and you know, would not be able to do it without all of my supporters when I started. So I totally get the vibe. I totally love all of the people who support um, and really help. Y'all really do help make this a thing. You know what I mean? It would not be a thing without y'all. Our donations, come from people like yourselves they don't come we don't get a million dollar donations from this and that or a hundred thousand that's not how it works with us um we work with smaller donations from people like yourself um and people like jeff is going to share that's right people like alessandra and anthony who each donated fifty dollars thank uh, you thank Woo! Uh, hundred dollar donations from Damon, Sarah, Alyssa, Jen, and Nate and Abel. Woo! A hundred and thirty dollar gift from Catherine. Thank you. And coming in at two fifty, want to thank Jody and Tyler. Thank yeah. you for your generous support. And I wanted to just piggyback on what Aiden was saying. I think when we started doing this work, neither of us could have imagined that we'd have the type of impact that we're having. And it's really thanks to donors like you. Um, like Aiden was saying, the average gift that we get is less than $37. Woo! And so I'm constantly reminded that as a community, we're not just resilient. <laughs> we come together, we support one another. Um, we, we show that when we all chip in a little bit, we can do these incredible things. Woo! So uh, <laughs> I also wanted to talk a little bit about garments. We've been sharing a lot of stories about the direct financial aid that your donations support that give people grants towards gender affirming surgery, permanent hair removal services, and HRT and telehealth access. And that's all incredibly transformative. Uh, but we also distribute free chest binders and femme shapewear garments. And we've served uh, tens of thousands of folks in all 50 states and 120 countries and counting. And for a lot of folks, just the simple act of receiving a chest binder is incredibly validating. And it, it's a matter of affirmation of feeling comfortable it's also a matter of safety for a lot of folks um, roughly half the people we serve are living in states that right now are under attack by anti-trans legislation and you know we also being an international organization serve folks that are living in areas of the world that are hostile towards our community Boo! Um, with every garment that we send out <laughs> we include a note of support like this one so we have a letter writing program in which volunteers and supporters, just like all of y'all, can write letters. You can, you know, tell someone that they're seen, they're supported, even if they don't have that support in their daily life or in their housing environment, it's an opportunity for that one-to-one -one connection. And we hear all the time from the people that we serve that these cards have just as much of an impact on them, on their mental health, as the garment themselves. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, it's a great way that you can support our mission. The information's on our website at pointofpride.org. If you're in a position to chip in right now, a gift of just $5 covers the cost to process and ship one of these garments and a letter like this to a trans person that needs it. I want to say a, a big thank you to Haley and Kendra who donated a little bit ago, <clears throat> but I didn't realize that it was them. Haley and Kendra, uh, who are here on TikTok uh, as Haley and Kendra, who you may know, that have 9 million followers here on TikTok, donated $2,500. Woo! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wonderful friends of ours. We love them. They're really sweet human beings. And uh, they, they just 
I don't know, that's so sweet of them. Yeah, really nice. Um, hang on with us. Win. So we're at six eighty one, everybody. Six hundred eighty one thousand dollars. Woo woo. Six eighty one, baby. You were saying? Right, baby. Uh, I was just gonna say the number. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, um, nothing else, huh? Well, what I am gonna say. I just want to find <laughs> <from> you. <laughs> Is that you can donate. Um, Jeff, is it $5 mails of binder? What yep. is it? Yeah, so $5 covers the cost to process and ship a binder. binder. And again, that's... How much to buy a binder and ship it? 35 to $40. 35 bucks. 35 All bucks. of our garments, we work with uh, trans and queer-led small businesses, really. Yep. Right? Yep. Um, so for our binder program, we've partnered with GC2B. Um, they're a trans-owned company based in Baltimore. Uh, we also work with Your Basics up in Canada, another trans-owned company. And then for our Femme Shapewear, we source gaffs from Origami Customs, a Canadian-based trans-owned and operated small business. So um, again, a gift of 35 bucks covers the cost to purchase one of these bi uh, binders or gaffs process and ship them along with one of those handwritten notes of support. And we get uh, 50 requests a day. That's right. So while we're sitting on this, we are getting uh, two, two and a half requests an hour. I don't know, math, yeah. max, max the math. Our, um, our director of programs, <laughs> Tyler, sent me a message a little bit ago. Because of all of the visibility and amplification of this fantastic event, um, more people that are seeking support for themselves are coming to our website and they're submitting yes. requests for garments. And so we saw a definite spike yesterday, which we anticipated. Uh, we got close to 100 requests for buying yeah! requests wow. um, So, you know, again, we're just going to con continue to see that need rise, especially in the face of ever-changing political attacks. Um, I think a, a report, unfortunately, was dropped yesterday um, that said that roughly a quarter of trans Americans live in a state that's now been um, impacted by these bills where their health care is restricted. So, you know, access to garments, especially for youth, is more critical than ever before. And 88% of all of our requests for garments come from young people under the age of 24. That's wild. That's wild. If anything we're sharing here today uh, has motivated you to make a donation, you can go ahead and text TRANSJOY. One word! To 44321. <laughs> Again, that's TRANSJOY. One word! To 44321. Um, so for the binders and gaps, that can be requested all year round. Yes. Oh, that's a great point. So binders and gaps are requested all year round. Um, and all of our programs have specific time periods uh, when you can apply. They happen once a year. Um, so we've got all of our programs, but the binders and gaps are every year. If you want, if you need electrolysis and you want to know when, go to pointofpride.org. You can sign up for our email list. You can sign up to get notified uh, when electrolysis uh, fund will be opening, as well as attend different information sessions where we will answer any questions um, and you know get all of get you really prepared to answer the questions on the applications. Uh, when it comes to applications, we do not grade on spelling, on grammar, on storytelling. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do our best to work with individuals to help them answer the questions adequately. And if you have a case manager or something like that, somebody who can help you write, um, you can actually, right Jeff, I'm saying this right, you can actually have uh, a support person who is also notified and informed. So maybe English is in your first language. Maybe you just feel like you could use help telling your story. Maybe you don't have access to email, right? Like maybe you don't have Wi-Fi uh, at home read readily. Um, or maybe you have housing insecurity and you don't know exactly where you're going to be. You can have someone else as a part of your application help you in that. Am I anything I'm missing? No, nope. yep, that's 100% right. Yeah, and um, someone told me off screen that we were seeing some questions about um, our, our processes with these garments, right? And what our wait list looks like. So like Aiden was saying, we get 50 new requests every single day. And our programs for garments operate on a first come, first serve basis. If you identify as trans, and by that we just mean not cis, right? Um, and you request a garment through us, if you don't have the ability to afford it or safely access it, we will accept your request and you'll be added to our wait list. 
Um, our wait list is super significant right now, which is why we really appreciate all of the donations that y'all are giving us so generously. Um, right now, we're looking at about a 12-month waiting period for folks for binders and about a three-month waiting period for folks for gaps. And this is really significant, and we're working really hard to try to reduce that wait time because we know that without access to binders, um, folks are much more likely to rely on unsafe methods like ACE bandages or duct tape. And so we want to just, you know, support everybody where they to safer binding techniques. Um, I saw a couple comments from folks that are already on our waiting list. Thank you so much for your patience. If you feel that you've been waiting longer than that, definitely send us a message. We'll take a look and, and see what's going on. If you haven't already, add Point of Pride to your safe senders list just to make sure emails aren't getting caught up. Um, but yeah, if, if you know anyone that from any of the programs that we're talking to, please direct them to pointofpride.org. They can click the Get Support tab in our website and learn all about our programs and services. Yep, and some people are asking, oh, can we buy a binder? If you donate money, that's actually better. We get binders at a discounted rate when working with GC2B, so definitely uh, if you want to buy a binder, I would just donate the money. Um, that will be much more helpful. Uh, and then also for those cannot donate you are giving us your time was it five minutes help us reach five more people um and also just you can screenshot this you can share this live share 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 um you can double tap uh and you know those likes up all of these things are really helpful for us um share it on other socials and if you want to donate you can text transjoy to four four three two one Again, that's TransJoy. Two, one four. word. Oh, yeah. So four, four, three, two, one, Mercury. I'm barely awake I right know. now. Someone yeah, said it's Mercury. Take sleeping. over. Yeah. yeah, take over, girl. Yeah, take oh, a break. Better end. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Take a break. Yeah. Okay, Let's do sure. a little swap. Here, yeah. you get up. I'll clean up your little area you got going on. You must be hot in this thing. No, I am fucking. This is so comfy. Are you fucking kidding me? This Sorry. is great. Okay. Well, you want to just take a nap? I'm oh, happy. I'm getting out of the way. I want to just yeah, go a, lay down, girl. Go, get piss clean girl. Up, girl. go piss, girl. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Not you. I stayed here too long. I take it back. I'm sorry. I thought you were one of the good ones. Again. I know. So did I. But, you know, Jory converted. <laughs> Trans world domination. Trans world domination. Oh, no. I'm going to clean up the little section you got going on. I'm back. Did y'all miss me? No. I mean, yes. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. I was going to say pigs, and there you go. Yeah, I just took a break. Everybody say welcome back. Beep, 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 beep. What's going on? What are you guys doing here? That's all I got. I'm sorry. If you're just joining, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT surgeries, electrolysis, and naps for trans non binary people that are falling asleep on the live. <laughs> If you happen to want to donate to trans people, make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. That's not how you donate, but that is how you help us reach other lovely donors. Uh, you can go to the link in the bio, the link in the bio, the link in the bino, if you're nasty, which I know you are. I know you are. Um, and you can text transjoy, one word, to 44321. Again, that's transjoy, one, one word, to 44321. That's all I got in me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, mama! You coming over? Oh, I gotta change this. Oh. Oh, where's my slippers? Give it to Dory. Right there? 685. I gotta take a peek. Oh! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> 
If you send over two thousand dollars, you are getting uh, my personal phone number. All I need is your uh, the last four digits of your social, uh, the last four digits of your card. Actually, the full card number. Uh, the three number on the back, um, expiration date, your address, uh, your zip code, uh, your first pet's name, your mother's maiden name, and the street you grew up on. Um, but with that said, we want to give a big throbbing <laughs> ginormous. ginormous rock hard thank you to Jacob who donated not one. <coughs> But two thousand dollars! Woo! Jacob! Nice. I love you! We love you! Call me, please! <laughs> but thank you, Jacob. Uh, your generous donation is helping other people receive gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, laser, and a thwarp. And if you want to be like Jacob and donate, you can click in the live. Click in the live. Girl, what the fuck? You can click the link in the bio, the link in the bio, uh, the Abraham Lincoln, the link in the bio, or you can text Transjoy one word to four four three two one again. That is Transjoy one word to four four three two one, and we are gonna get an updated count of how much money we've raised so far. Our current goal is. Girl, what the fuck is that? Six eighty five. Six eighty five. Six eighty five. Uh, we. We're past that. That's the updated number. Oh! What's our goal? Four million. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yes! <laughs> um, I guess our next goal is seven hundred thousand dollars! So let's try to get to 700k! We are at 686,000 dollars! Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wait, is there a soundboard on here? There is a soundboard. Oh, I can't do it on both. Never mind. Bam, 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 bam. Um, I think, what is our goal by tonight? Did Mercury say anything? Yeah, four million. I thought. By tonight? <laughs> tonight! <laughs> Better start taking some time. All right. <laughs> um, when we hit four million, uh. Are you sleeping tonight? Is that an option for me? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I have our lovely co-host, Aiden Dowling, co-founder of Point of Pride. Welcome, Aiden. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Anytime. <laughs> Are you gonna have you? I can ask you questions. You eating tortilla chips? Toast. What are these, tostitos? No salsa? No salsa, I'm just plain up. You're just raw dogging that? <laughs> the best, you put it on your tongue like this. Yeah. Are you just eating plain tortilla chips? It's <laughs> 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 the same thing. Are you okay, Aiden? Is this a cry for gender affirming care? <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, if you don't know what gender affirming care looks like, it looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and therapy for people who eat plain Tostitos chips. <laughs> Get this man some guacamole. <laughs> I like this golf. <laughs> <laughs> what is funny about that? <laughs> you've heard of her. <laughs> you've heard of horse girls, but have you ever heard of horse boys? <laughs> Get you a little salt cube. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's sugar, sugar, cubes? sugar, sugar cubes. They're not salt. They're, no, sugar. they're sugar. Wait, really? Uh, you don't feed yeah. giant chunks of salt to horses. <laughs> sugar. I thought it was like a salt lick. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was a salt lick. <laughs> no. Oh, the cubes, the little cubes, cubes, they like feed them from your hands. Salt I know nothing sugar. about horses, yeah. so. No. Yeah. Yeah. Salt, I'm sugar not cubes. a horse boy. Salt okay. Cubes for deer. You can think no. of something else though. For deer? The deer is almost a horse though. Deer do salt. <laughs> I heard deers in Florida do bath salts. <laughs> oh, uh, just a reminder, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, laser, and bath salts for Floridian deers. 
If you want to donate, you can click the link in the bio, the link in the bio, or you can text Transdroy one word to four four three two one. Again, that's Transdroy one, one word man. to four four three two one. We are currently at six hundred and eighty-six thousand dollars of our four million dollar goal, and that is all thanks to people like. Oh my God! Can you please teach him how to do that? Jolene, Jolene, Zoe, Zoe, Edgar, Edgar. I know. It's just it's oh. making it fancy. Edgar! <laughs> Catherine! Catherine! Corinne? Corinne! Corinne! Reba! Not to be mistaken with Reba! Nick! And Nick! Bam, 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 bam! Is Mercury trying to sleep in here? Do you want help? No. Huh? I can do this. She's, she's already sleeping. She's not already sleeping. She's in the bathroom. There's no way she's asleep. Yeah, with the, with me oh. being loud as fuck. <laughs> is Brad still causing problems? No, Brad um is now uh uh what's it's like a feminine version of Brad. Braylene. Braylene. Um, she has been brought to the right side. Turn it around. We forcibly feminized her. <laughs> and it's domination. <laughs> do you want me to show you how to do that? <laughs> okay, okay. Enough of that. So you hold it like this. Okay. Right? Thumb on here, and then... And then you can just... <laughs> Yay! Baby's first lap. If you want to help us, uh, forcibly feminized people like Brad, who are trolls who hate the trans community, who are actually just maybe trans women? Who knows? Um, you can do so by clicking the link in the bio and donating what you have with what you got so we can help get people more gender affirming care. Oh, thank you. That's so aggressive. I don't know, they always, they always make it look like aggressive, aggressive, but like not like it's aggressive, but they're like. Yeah. You know, like. Sorry. <laughs> so make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you to donors like Mama W. Big dubs for Mama Dub. Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Katie. Thank you, Katie. Daniel. Thank you, Daniel No Radcliffe. Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca No Black. Diva. Thank you, Diva. Delicious Diva. Luke. Thank you, Luke No Combs. <laughs> Nova. Oh, thank you, Nova Nova Scotia! For a $50 <laughs> donation! Woo! We have our $100 donors up next. Okay. Work! You like that? Marie! Thank you, Marie! Melissa! Thank you, Melissa! Michelle! Thank you, Michelle, no Obama! Jennifer! Thank you, Jennifer, not from the block! <laughs> Joe! Thank you, Joe, definitely not Rogan! Maybe. You never know. Susan! Thank you, Susan. Without Suzanne. the B, without the Anthony. <laughs> Shannon! Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> Paige! And you, Paige. Thank you. Katie! Thank you, Katie. No herring. Ian! Oh, fuck. What's someone? There's an Ian in Mean Girls. What's his name? What's his yes. name? Is it Ian Janice? Janice, 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 Ian? Janice Ian? Thank you, Ian No Janice! For $100! $100! One hundred dollars! You can get better. Yeah, thanks. I feel special. Is this old? Me and you. <laughs> 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 Is this old? <laughs> yes. <Okay>. And yes. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> if you're just joining, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and shade. Uh, and we are currently at six hundred and eighty-seven thousand out of our four million dollar goal. Dollar. Dollar dole. <laughs> Anyone out there who's like a trans billionaire that just wants to make a big donation? So nobody. Those sisters from the Matrix. Matrix Wait, sisters coming yeah. in. The Wachowski sisters. Coming in hot. Are they like the Sirius only Sirius trans billionaires? Huh? Owner of Sirius Radio. Did she text back? Is it a trans person? I think so. Look at my text. Oh, your yeah. your lovely wife? Yeah. No, she it? did not. How many trans billionaires are there? I don't think there are very many. Do you guys want to like play a game or answer some questions or something? Right. Yeah, I have a question. Why aren't we bullying do? them? <laughs> Why aren't we bullying the trans billionaires to give us money? I, well, we aren't bullying them. I mean, did you say something mean? No, why aren't we? Oh. I think... Everyone's know, saying Caitlyn Jenner's a billionaire. Oh. No. She's not a billionaire. <laughs> She's probably like a hundreds of millions. Trolls! <laughs> bam, 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 bam! Do you want to play a game? Okay, Jigsaw. Yeah, I'm <laughs> what are we going to play? What are we going to play? You want to play... Do you have any board games? Do you want to play like 20 questions? Number you just one. answer a bunch of weird questions. I'm Would scared. You, you could ask each other the questions. Truth or dare. You yeah. Can do rock paper scissors right truth now. Or dare. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think truth or dare with like that whole wood shop situation behind you. Is I dare idea. you to <laughs> go <laughs> take go a trail. Like bottom your own surgery tooth. with the circular saw. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Would you rather? Would you rather? People want. Would you rather? Okay. Okay. You Would you rather? <laughs> eat. <laughs> Would you rather eat poop? That one. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> but let me consider my options. <laughs> or pinworms and have them live in your body forever. Pinworms. Ooh, pinworms in your body forever. Yeah, one hundred percent pinworms. Yeah? One hundred percent. Give me the pinworms. Yeah. <laughs> They're allies. They're trans allies. Would you rather live the rest of your life on a boat? Okay. Or in a shack in the desert? Hmm. On a boat. Small boat. Boat. Still, you'd take the little house boat over the shack in the desert? Yeah. Yeah, shack in the desert sounds like hell. Yeah. What about all the seasickness? I don't get seasick. I don't seasick. get seasick. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather have to only eat fish you could catch or only eat game you could catch for the rest of your life? Uh, like you'd have to kill that shit, skin it, all that. So if you did fish, you'd have to do it more often. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do the game. Yeah, game yeah. is like you could just knock one out, be good for a couple weeks, you know? Yeah. Would you rather... I don't know if this game is taking the turn. <laughs> we really want it. Everyone has left in the audience. Yeah. They've all left. I'm not sure if yeah, this is Yeah, I don't know. Good. I don't have very many good would you rather questions. Yeah, I think we need an would actual game. Would you rather game. fight one elephant-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized elephants? <laughs> that one's from Parks and Rec, I think. Duck-sized elephants? No, the elephant-sized duck. <laughs> and then once, yeah. I, once I bait it into submission, I could ride it. <laughs> that sounds insane. What about like, what about like fuck Mary Kill? No, <laughs> no. Okay, that's a little more fun than this. This is kind of yeah. This is a little flat. I'm scared. We have reached six hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Like to donate, you can text TransJoy. One word. To 44321. That's TransJoy. One word. To 44321. And these beautiful donors, while we've been acting a fool, we love you. 
Thank for you, a total you, of $125 altogether, because community is power, is Nicole! Thank you, Nicole! Ikaika! Ikaika! Thank you, Ikaika! Barley! Thank you, Barley! Claire! I got a feel about me at Claire's once! Andre! <laughs> and thank you, Andre! One hundred dollars, Christine. What to say, big thank you to Christine Hazel. and then Hazel. Period. One, two, three. Totaling three hundred and fifty dollars with their individual fifty dollar donations is Cassidy. Thank you, Cassidy. Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Jay. Thank you, Jay. Susan. Thank you, Susan. Susan, 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 Susan. Susan. Carrie. Thank you, Carrie, no Bradshaw. And Susan, uh, number two. Thank you, Susan, no B, Anthony. If, who, who, what name do you remember? Type in the chat. Say thank you. Michelle. Michelle, Susan, Jay. Jay. No K Rowling. Carrie was one of them? Carrie. Carrie, mm -hmm. Carrie. Cassidy, thank you, Cassidy. Nicole, Hazel, Jolie, <laughs> Jolie, is that a big cake? What's it? No, no, it's food. We see you, ten dollar donors. Thank y'all for all the donations. You guys are making this possible. You are. If I, all I have is 69 cents, I would donate it if I could. Hey, um, that's okay. Yeah. Um, the sentiment matters a lot. We appreciate it all the same. And hey, if you can donate your time, that means that other people who can donate will be reached. Because five more minutes of your time helps us reach five more people. people. I got a game. You I saw it. Alphabet game. Let's do that game. What the fuck is that? I went to the picnic and I brought a apple. Now you have to say, I went to the picnic, I brought an apple, and, uh, and you have to do the letter B. <laughs> it's hard. I don't... Go for it. I don't know what... I've never done that game. Okay, well, I'm teaching you how to do it. I went to the... We can go anywhere. We went to the club. We went to the lobotomist. We went to the gender-affirming surgeon. And I got a... Something with an A. Yeah. <laughs> Anal bleaching. I got <laughs> anal bleaching. Where are we going? Where are we at? Where'd we go? The gender affirming clinic. I went to the gender affirming clinic and I got an, a, a, an anal bleaching and a breast augmentation. Breast augmentation. <laughs> we go next. Yes, the trans <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. See, you do see. You have to say it again. You have to say you went to the gender affirming clinic and you got a <laughs> anal bleaching <laughs> and a breast, a breast augmentation and something with a C. Something with a C. <laughs> uh, I wonder what that will be. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? I feel like you're baiting her. What'd you get? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna see. <laughs> I went to the gender affirming clinic. I got an anal bleaching, a breast augmentation, and a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the gender affirming clinic and I got an anal bleaching, a breast augmentation, a colonoscopy, and a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like maybe we shouldn't no. play this game. No? <laughs> this isn't it? No. No. No? All right. But don't say I didn't try. I can change it. I got a... No. No. <laughs> dental cleaning. <laughs> See, people think it's great. Uh, just as a reminder, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and dental dams. Hey, <laughs> if you want to donate, you can text TRANSJOY. One word to, to 44321. Four, four, three, three, two, one. Again, that's TRANSJOY. Trans one word to 44321. Four, or you can go to the link in the bio, the link in the bino, the bink in the lino, uh, the Abraham Lincoln. We are currently at... Six hundred and eighty-nine thousand dollars. Max, what are we putting up there? We're putting up six ninety. Since we're not, we're just sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. 
69. You can, we can scream 69, but we can't play our game? It's a number. Okay. <laughs> Some people might be going for that. Sorry, I forgot you liberals made numbers illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Went for pronouns first, then you got the numbers. Everybody's please put 69 in the chat. <laughs> I know why people do this now. It's fun. <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Doing. Just as a reminder, we are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and transing the numbers because we wouldn't stop at pronouns. Thank you for your donations of $25 <laughs> to Kimberly. Thank you, Kimberly. Laura. Thank you, Laura. Megan. Thank you, Megan. Ellie. Thank you, Ellie. Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. No friends. Oh, period. I got it in, too. Did you see it? I did. I'm glad I did. What color is your shirt? Mine is orange. I am wearing a trans world domination colored shirt. Mine is orange. Oh, this one. Yeah. Teal. Turquoise. 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 It's nice, right? It's Turquoise. Jeff. I stole it from Jeff. I think Shout you mean Sam. Who made it. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> 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 ah, thank you for these donors. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four. Totaling $500 altogether, our $50 donors. Angela. Thank you, Angela No Davis. The George family. Thank you, the George family No Washington. Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Not to be confused with Rachel from Friends. Andrea. Thank you. Uh, Andrea? Andrea. 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 Andrea? Is it, is it Andrea Botticelli? Is that a person? We're just going to go with that. Thank you, Andrea No Botticelli! Mackenzie! Thank you, Mackenzie! Devin! Thank you, Devin! May! Thank you, May! Not June, not July, not May. August, but May! It's going to be May! Jason! <laughs> Thank you, Jason! Kelsey! Thank you, Kelsey. Matthew. And Matt. I you. Know. I can't tell if they're laughing at me or with me. Yes. God, oh. We're not. We're non-binary laughing. We're laughing at <laughs> you and with you. <laughs> Our hundred dollar donors, Calvin. Not the Klein. Jeanette. No McCurdy. Brittany. With the Spears. And our $250 donor, Wendy, Wendy Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal the Third. <laughs> we are now at $690,000. Uh, it's not apparent to me where to donate. Where do I donate? You click the link in our bio. It is the first link in my Beacons page, and it is the only link on Mercury's page. Either that, or you can text TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. Again, that is TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. Share the live! We should be double tapping. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock. What time is it where you're at? Drop it in the chat. Where are you at? Where are you at? And make sure to lobby the kink, copy the link, and share the live! Share the live! Layer the shive! Nine a.m. Yeah. Oh, nine p.m. Nine p.m. Ten p.m. Three p.m. Woo! 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 Where the fuck is three p.m.? I don't know. Australia. Seven p.m. Six p.m. Yeah, is it Hawaii? Nine p.m. That feels like. Woo! Oh, Hawaii. Three in South Africa. Nine p.m. Pen on the chat. Three a.m. Hello, three a.m. 12 o'clock in Australia. Oh, can you do accents? No. <laughs> Don't get in the water, Clear. No. 
I can't do I can't do accents to save my life. You did a southern accent yesterday. Oh that that's not an accent, that's actually how I talk. 2 a.m. in the UK! Beep, 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 beep. Florida! Who's slurping on some beans on toast in the UK? Re sh show of hands! Beans on toast. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, beans on toast. It's like a classic breakfast yeah. dish. But is it real beans? Kind of like black yeah. beans? <laughs> or kidney beans? I don't know. You, they're they're like barbecue beans. Yeah, they're like baked beans. No, like yeah. white beans? Baked beans? Yeah, they eat it with like jellied eels. <laughs> <laughs> I started, I can't figure out why McGree says she hates you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that. <laughs> Lori! Thank you, Lori! $200! Let me see that picture. Woo! Alright. $250 from Lydia. <laughs> $250 from Lydia! Thank you! Can I have some water? Someone? Yeah. yeah. Where's, your, where's your water? It's on the floor, I thought. I'll Get this boy some milk! I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, weren't we just at 690? We were. Did someone just make a big donation? Uh, we're, just, we're almost at 693. We got a lot of little donations coming through. A lot of littles! Yeah. yeah I so, appreciate the little yeah, ones. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a big, big donation in this basket, but if you want to give me a whole bunch of uh, oh, hi, medium hi. or average size donations, even a small donation, I don't discriminate. You know? <laughs> also, a couple of you are using uh, employee matching to get double the impact, right? So if you're making a gift and you work for an employer that matches your gifts, um, definitely submit for that. Uh, we have information about how you can do that on your website or you can reach out with our contact form and we'll gladly point you where you want to go. But it's an easy way for you to double your, double your impact. You can put two donations in this basket at once. <laughs> <laughs> A gift of just five dollars covers the cost <laughs> to process and ship a gender affirming garment to someone who needs it. We send these to folks in all fifty states and one hundred and twenty countries and counting. Fat Daddy <laughs> Sam. It's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam. Yeah. We all sit in unison. <laughs> we love you. My name is Jeff. <laughs> Thank you for sending your five dollars. Woo! No one has donated sixty nine sixty nine yet. No, but if someone wants to, we will take it. Someone's got to get this thing away from me. <laughs> Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. If you are just joining and you didn't get an update, Mercury did get her live back. How? I don't know because I didn't get access to any of my other lives. Be Why? I don't know. But she randomly got it back. So we've been back chug a lugging along and uh, doing the damn thing. So glad to see you here. Uh, if you want to help us reach more people, <coughs> tippity tap, 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 tap. 12 minute million likes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the thing that people use for ASMR? Yeah. It's like something else they might use. <laughs> Shh, quiet on the set! Is it working? <laughs> Any donations coming in? Any donations coming in from that? Yeah, yeah, we got a couple. Oh, we, okay. got, we got Christopher 150. Chris? Christopher? Krista. Krista 150! Should I start doing ASMR lives with one of these? <laughs> did I just enter the ASMR chat? You clearly did. <gasps> Wait, where's my slug? Hold on. I need to text my friend and make sure he's uh, there watering my slug. 
You have a slug? Yeah. What's its name? Plankton. Aww. <laughs> you got a gift for 6969. 6969 from who? Kaylee. Kaylee! Kaylee has entered the chat. I'm drinking water. I don't know about anyone else, but. You can think of something all of them now. Kaylee, thank you, Kaylee, in the chat. Thank you. to donate for transgender health care. Which looks like binders, gaffs, HRT, electrolysis, laser, and an ASMR rainbow slug. You Make sure to double tap. Trans <laughs> Joy to 44321. Again, that's trans joy. Right. To 44321. Or you can click the link in, in the bio. bio. <laughs> We're still on this, huh? All right, baby girl, don't you worry. I'm going to rub this slug on your face. <laughs> <laughs> we have reached $694,000! There's no game to play? Come on. Look at all these things over here. There's nothing. <laughs> Those aren't toys. <laughs> Everyone, be quiet. We're doing pin pinworm ASMR. <laughs> yeah, games. Where do you think I Shh. I'm pulling the pinworms out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got one in your eye socket. You too. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. <laughs> <laughs> cosplaying as Candy Person. <gasps> I really need to get one of those. It was, it was... What the fuck is this? I'm the trans handy man. I can't really hear anything with this on. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! It's like really, it feels like I'm in a time warp. What's Aiden up to? Mm. <laughs> you want to try them on? Sure. They're really strange. What do you think? You got to put the gloves on too. I. <laughs> I don't think I need the gloves. Um, it definitely muffles the sound. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> if you're just joining, we're raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and over the ear headphones that drown out noise. You can double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live to help us reach more people who would like to be donors. If you want to donate yourself, you can click the link in bio, or you can text TRANSJOY One word. to 44321. Again, that is TRANSJOY One word. to 44321. Two. In the meantime, you have some pinworms in your head. Weird. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Is that affecting your health? Hold on, let me get them. Ah! What'd you do? I broke pinworms. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, you have half a pinworm and you're sticking out your ass, so let me just, um, okay, I got the rest. And you, ooh, there's an infestation. This is very different from last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can it come apart? Oh, that's a good one. I had that 
Nobody better comment Drake Core. Woo! I saw you, you nasties in the chat earlier. Did someone just knock? No. No! No! Are you sure? <laughs> it sure sounded someone like it. Was that someone's dream? No. <laughs> Can I do this? Is it. Can I do this? Yeah. Oh. What the know. fuck is that? It's a bat. You're gonna bop each other. It's part of the game. It's got physical comedy, too. Are you doing that all in one breath? <laughs> Does it work? Yes, We are raising money for gender affirming care. Uh, and we just hit six hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. But you are ruining the vibe of the ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> you can text transjoy one word to four four three two one again that is transjoy. One word to four four three two one in the meantime. Um Seems like there's like a pinworm sticking out of your underneath your eyelash. You might want to get that checked out. Hold on. Um, where are the headphones? Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna. Jeff, how do you play this game? You have to. Well, here. I don't know if you want an ASMR surname. <clears throat> Everyone, give a, a big special uh, slug round of applause to Rachel for fifty dollars. Thank you, Rachel. Everyone, give a big special round of applause to Katie. <laughs> Eric, Rosemary, Douglas, and Leo. Leo! We also want to give a special thank you to Hadrian, Alice, Jessica, Brad, all for $100. Um, and we want to thank Krista and Ashley. Round of applause, but make it slug. For $150. Say a two syllable word, you hit the other person. <laughs> okay. With this, and you have to say stick and hit. Twink! <laughs> <laughs> you got it, so. <clears throat> All right, wait, what, what are we doing? <laughs> so I, I get to yell things off the card and hit her. I know you're really eager to hit Joy. <laughs> yeah, so like it's sort of like you have to you have to say the word and um, you have to describe it and get jury to guess what the word is, but you can only speak in one syllable words. Like a caveman. Can you like give us an example? example? Like do like do yeah. it as if you are the person. <laughs> so, right, so here's you want the example. This thing live in C has eight legs and big soft head. This like this thing live in C has eight legs, big soft head. What am I describing? Octopus. Yes, you get a point. If okay. you, but so if you, you didn't, you'd get bopped. Oh, okay. Oh, so if you guess wrong... If, Wait, does it tell you wrong, what the description or if, is? Or no. if Aiden says... A word in front of me. Well, actually, Jory's supposed to be holding the thing, I think. Because if you say consists or something... <laughs> right, so if... Okay, so if yeah. Aiden is describing it, and he says a word that is more than one <laughs> syllable, Jory, Jory hits Aiden. Says stick and hits Aiden. Yep. Got and it. I can't say any words on the card, but I can say any other words. You word. need Jory to guess that right. word, and she's going to hit you. She's going to hit you good if you say more than one it syllable. head! Loud! You scream! <laughs> Eat! Eat 
face. <laughs> oh. Mouth? Yes! Yay! <laughs> 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 Yay, Jory. <laughs> Just don't do that when I saw it. Okay, okay. <laughs> is it transphobic if I hit you? <laughs> this is not a life saving device. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> I'm supposed to guess, right? Do I hit him if he got it wrong? No! No. No. Oh. Um, no. Sit on C. You said on. Does on count? That's one syllable. That's one syllable. <laughs> you sit on C now. Sit on C. Chair. Yeah. But you good at it's this a, game. We're not the end of really wanted this one. Yeah. <laughs> Bonk stick. You bonk Make sure to double tap this can comment down below and share the live. We are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binder with gaps, laser, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and an inflatable stick that you can whack your trans friend with. <laughs> if you want to donate to the link in the bio, the pink in the lino, you can do that. Or you can text trans one word to 44321 again. That's right. <gasps> we are at 696! $696,000! <laughs> 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 Uh, in the meantime, we are playing Cave Them Poetry because uh, we are gender inclusive. It has a face! Oh! You can't say two words syllable? You can't say so one, one uh, syllable. One word! You can't say like swimming. Okay. Or running. It's got to be swim, run. Eat! Jam! <laughs> White rye peanut butter and jelly sandwich crust mercury <laughs> <laughs> bread yes very, very you got to talk faster we need more bobbin oh sorry yeah. okay <laughs> Also, and the, you're, you're also, supposed this to have this thing, time. but this seems really uh, long. This seems like a long time. Flower. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even ready for it. <laughs> it was <rough>. High. <laughs> 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 top. Hill. Mountain? Climb. Yes. So good. Too sm yeah. <laughs> Don't screenshot the live. <laughs> uh, health. Swimming. <laughs> Fitness. Health. Help. Ambulance! 911! Doctor! <laughs> Nurse! Yes! Yes! I was like, I don't know what else to say. You really have to think about it. Oh, wait. Oh. Any? Let's see where we're at. We were at 696 last time. We are at 697! Hey! We are 3K away from 700,000 bonks! <laughs> Filth! Clean. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> Tub. Bathroom. Bathtub? Toilet? Sink? <laughs> You're missing one thing. I'm missing one thing? Shower. <clears throat> oh. I'm not missing one thing. Water. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Get him. 
was you barely hit me. Was it a faucet? You barely hit me. It was bath. You said bath room, and I was just like. Oh, just fuck. Like, okay. You didn't even hit me. You were so gentle. I like really before. Yeah. Hurry. Come on. <laughs> Max is like, take advantage. Um. <laughs> Whack the twink. <laughs> My favorite game to play at the arcade is Whack the Twink. They can't even see you. They can't even see you. They didn't come here for Hey, me. divas. Um, I don't... F I can share the live. Write. Pen. Journal. Close. Book. Diary. Novel. Book. Oh my god. Pass. In Pass. school? Right. Paper. To study. Friend. Note. Yes. That was, uh, that was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. Friend. Pass in school to friend. Yeah, that yeah. was good. Oh, fuck. Transgender. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, we're putting them down? Oh, the ones that we did already. Okay. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment on below, and share the live. Share the live. And go and donate to the link in the bio, the bank in the bio, or gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and uh, notes. <laughs> if you think you know the answer, put in the chat. All right. <laughs> Hand. Toe. Job? <laughs> Body? Screw. <laughs> Hit. Punch. Bam. Fight. You get this two week. Beat up. Hey. Hey. Huh? Girl. Or boy. Or. <laughs> Injury? No. This makes no sense. Beat. Toe. Toe. <laughs> Hand. Hand. Small. <laughs> okay, they got small toes and small <laughs> hands. Clip. Stub? Wait, clip. Clip. <laughs> Cut. Trim. Toenail clipper. Toenail. Nail. Nail, nail, nail. Okay. Some people in the chat got it. Look, nail, oh. nail, nail. Oh! <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> Let them spoil. <laughs> Oh, wait, I just saw this one. Or, yeah. yeah. Uh. Are you sure no one's locked away? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the kitchen. Food. Pizza. Oil. Eggs. Sea. Seaweed. Fish. Clams. Lobster. Shrimp. Fish. Pinch. Lobster. Clam. Crab. Crab. <laughs> did, 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 I guess my son is asleep because it's already 9.30. Janely never texts me, huh? Uh, you guys, looks like you guys did. feeling left out? I can bonk she you. Did? She said he just fell asleep. How's it going? Oh my God! What should I say? Tell her to watch me on the live. Get bonked. Say right. antlers on the live. Watch me. All right. Antlers on the live. No. <laughs> you got some What's pain bank? worms. Yes, bank me. Bank, you, roll bank us. What does that mean? I'm <laughs> doing ASMR. Hold on, hold on. You guys got pain worms in your ass.
<laughs> we have now reached six hundred and ninety-eight thousand dollars. <laughs> you should turn them. They're all looking right at me. They want to see your face. Uh, they could see me. I think. Not the. Uh, yeah, I those guess. ones can't really see you. Turn it a little bit. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, now what if you have to say quicker? What if you can't stop talking for more than three seconds? Oh no, I'm scared. You can do it. We did, that one. we did this one too. If you born birth birthday? Yeah, but I don't think I could have said birth. Birth one syllable. It's one syllable. Birth. But it's know, birthday. But it's birthday. Oh. Hit me! <laughs> You're too gentle. Too gentle. It's <laughs> one good whack. Oh, this is what we resorted to. Uh, wait, did you see this one? Dad? Yeah. Joe. Dirt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jenny Lee is watching and she's enjoying it. Uh, hey, Woo. hey, baby. Woo. Hey. Oh, should we read those out? Yeah. All right. Boom. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dog. Poop. Pick. Bag. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're too smart for this game. <laughs> Alright, we're going to read some donations in the meantime. Thank you to these donors who totaled... $175! Thank you, Catherine! Sebastian! Thank you, Sebastian! Quinn! Thank you, Quinn No Harley! Misty! Thank you, Misty Like the Trainer! Tia! Thank you, Tia without the Tamara! Pamela! Thank you, pa Pamela without the Anderson! Hola! Without the off! <laughs> what the fuck is Olaf? Oh! <laughs> Thank you, hola! Our $50 donors totaling one, two, three, $450! Sarah! Thank you, Sarah! Jill! Thank you, Jill! Samantha! Thank you, Samantha! Scott! Thank you, Scott! Scottish! Chris Christina! Thank you, Christina! Sean and Quar Quarm! Quarm? Quarmy? 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 It's either Quarm or Quarmay, I think. Quarmay. Thank you. Thank you. Casey. Thank you, Casey. Lee. Thank you, Lee. But Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia the Dwar. Our hundred dollar donors totaling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. Kaylee. Thank you, Kaylee. Colleen. Thank you, Colleen. Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Taryn. Thank you, Taryn. Carissa. Thank you, Carissa. Brian. Thank you, Rian. Liz. Oh. Liz. Oh, Liz. Oh, thank you, Liz. Molly. Thank you, Molly. Samuel. How the fuck do I, I forgot how to do a country accent. Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. <laughs> and our $250 donors, Katrina. Katrina, Katrina, Katrina! And Kevin! Thank you, Kevin! 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 Thank you, Kevin, with the gates! <laughs> we are not at $699,000! Ours! <laughs> see, they can't see you. Where? All of them. They can see me? When you go like that, no one can see you. They're just oh, like, who oh. is this dude? Who's this bro over here? And when I get on the screen, they're also like, who's this dude? <laughs> who's this bro? <laughs> we should just move the chairs a little bit. Hold on, I gotta... Um, How do they get moved so far? Don't I don't about. know. We can just move the chairs back a little bit. Move them over. $500! Should we have Fact Daddy come in? Yeah. Fact Daddy, why don't you come spit the facts? <laughs> Set them straight. 
What y'all bitches know about gender affirming care? Nothing. You don't know nothing. So we're gonna teach you. <laughs> we were gonna move the chair over a little bit. Oh. Just so that. You I'm gonna. You're gonna come here. Why the fuck is this chair so heavy? I don't know. Just gonna move him over an inch or two. Are you centered? There you go. See? Hey, Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and oh, share the life. Jory's sure the more important one of us. Am I? No offense. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to play. Oh. Here, you can. Later. There's, there's time, enough for... <laughs> time enough for bonking. Time enough for bonking. Bam, 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 bam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Fact. Daddy, also known as Sam, also known as uh, Gabagool, also known as <laughs> Luigi, also known as my name of Jeff. <laughs> Jeff! Woo -woo! Hey everybody, thank you so much. <laughs> Such an introduction. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank everybody for all your donations and tuning in. I want to tell you a little bit about some of the folks that you're directly supporting um, with your gifts today and every like, share, tap, all that good stuff. Folks like Dax. Dax. Dax uh, goes by she, they pronouns. She is a 33-year-old black trans femme. She's a recipient of our HRT Access Fund. She had been on estrogen for some time, but following COVID layoffs, she couldn't afford her medication anymore and she had to stop getting the care she needed. And with this grant, she was able to get back on HRT and continue access to care. Folks like Ellie. Ellie. Ellie is an electrolysis fund recipient. She goes by she, her pronouns. She's a 28 year old trans woman of color from New York City. Um, like many of the folks that we serve, she was experiencing employment discrimination on the basis of her trans status, and as a result was unemployed. Um, she has no family support to fall back on, so she couldn't afford laser hair removal, and with this grant, she was able to get the We're services your family. that she needed. Yeah. We gave her electrolysis, a big black puffer jacket even, uh, ham and cheese on a roll uh, with an orange drink, if you know, you know. <laughs> And a new lease on life. <laughs> Folks like Chandler. So Chandler goes by he, they pronouns. Uh, HRT recipient uh, fund, res HRT access fund recipient. They're 22 years old. They're unemployed. And they just had to move due to an unsupportive housing situation. So we were able to get Chandler back on HRT. The average grant that folks get through our HRT access fund is around $2,200. It provides them with a full year of HRT access through our telehealth partners, um, Plume folks, Queer Doc, Queer Med. And we provide full coverage of their medication, of their transportation to and from lab work um, for an entire year. So that it really takes a huge mental weight off of our recipient's shoulders and they're able to just get care and live their lives. <laughs> Let's see. I'll tell you about Dandy. Dandy. If you all have seen uh, Jory's video, we have an awesome um, video of Dandy. Dandy just successfully had top surgery earlier this month. He was awarded $13,000 through the annual trans surgery fund. He's doing great. Um, recovery is going really smooth. Um, he's not a U.S. citizen. So as a result, um, he can't have a social security number, he can't fundraise on platforms like GoFundMe, um, and his employment opportunities are really limited. Plus, Dandy lives in Texas, so he's just really worried about his safety and ability to access care, since Texas is one of many states uh, currently facing anti-trans legislation. And actually, one in two folks that we serve are living in states right now where they're being impacted by this legislation. So Point of Pride really does try to uh, provide support to the most marginalized members of our community and the, most, the folks that have the most barriers to being able to get care. Back, Daddy. A gift of just five bucks covers the cost to purchase, uh, excuse me, to process and mail a gender affirming garment too. So it's more than just grants towards uh, surgery, HRT, and permanent hair removal services. We also provide free chest binders and femme shapewear, which are very important to lots of folks too. Back daddy. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going with the facts. Fact so daddy. Stop. Fact daddy. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about Bria. Bria was awarded $26,000 through our annual trans surgery fund, one of our 2024 recipients. This grant was made possible thanks to this fundraiser last year. So donors like you, if, if you gave last year, you had a direct role in getting Bria the care she needed, which was facial feminization surgery. Um, like many of the folks we serve, she's living paycheck to paycheck. Facial feminization surgery is often considered cosmetic, even though we know it's not. And so as a result, she just was not able to get the care that she needs and deserves. But um, she's hopefully going to have surgery later this year, and we're so excited to see her get that care. What else? You can just keep going. I'll keep going. Yeah, I'm Rilo. So Rilo goes by they, them pronouns. HRT Access Fund recipient. Rilo is a 28-year-old non-binary person. They're uninsured and they don't have stable housing. So uh, three and four people that we serve across all of our programs have experienced or are experiencing right now housing insecurity. And we know roughly 92% of folks tell us they don't have inclusive health coverage. So that might mean that they're uninsured, um, for many surgery fund recipients, it means that they've already had their care uh, denied through their health insurance plan. Rilo is also a domestic violence survivor, so a result of all of this is that they just have really limited financial uh, resources. So they're, you know, struggling to be able to make ends meet, let alone afford health care. I'll tell you one more story for now, and that's Atlas. I love this photo. I love seeing uh, recipient photos where they share pictures of their pets. Um, we've got more photos of all of the recipients we've served on our website, pointofpride.org. Atlas was awarded $10,000 through the 2024 fund. He's a 23-year-old neurodivergent trans man um, getting top surgery. Uh, since the age of 18, he's supported himself and he lives paycheck to paycheck, um, like so many of us in the community. So. Really do appreciate y'all who are chipping in that $1, $3, $5, $10 donations. Uh, we're seeing them all and they really do add up and they just have such a tremendous impact. So thank you for giving what you got with what you have. With that said, make sure to keep double tapping that screen, commenting down below and sharing the live. 700. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. We hit seven. Hot. Bitch. What? Live something. restricted. No, 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 discontinue because of inactivity. Oh, okay. They keep doing that. Okay, I was oh. like, please tell me. That's okay. Phew. All right. Love y'all too. I thought we got another banana, but we did not. Seven hundred thousand dollars! If you want to help more people like the people we mentioned, you can go to the link in the bio to donate directly, or you can text TransJoy, one word, to 44321. Again, that is TransJoy, one, one word, word, to 44321. We're getting so close to our million. Uh, thanks to everyone sticking around. Uh, Mercury, I think some people have been asking where Mercury is. Um, she is taking a nap. She's taking a nap. She was falling asleep on the live earlier. I don't think she slept well. I know I didn't. I slept like three hours. So we're just, we're waiting for her to get back up so we can have a last big push at some point, hopefully in the next like hour or two. Um, but yeah, we'll be here. I, and when I say last big push, I mean like for the day. We're still, we're going to be apparently on live, um, all night. Is that really happening? Uh, that's so what she said. Ah! 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 YouTube says thank you for the pinworm extraction story. Oh, <laughs> you are so welcome. Do you, you guys want another pinworm extraction? No! <laughs> you got fucking pinworms in your eyes. What do you mean, no, you don't want these out of your eyes? Hold on. What is that? Oh my 
God. Oh my God, just putting up a fight. You got half a broken pinworm in your eye. Hold on, let me put it back together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Angel, for your $100 gift. Thank you, Angel. I don't know where you are, but... Oh, fucking pinworm in your eye. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's crawling in your eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of $10 gifts. Thank you. Thank you to Heather. Anonymous. Anonymous! <laughs> we don't know, but we know you have pinworms in your eyes and we love you. <laughs> when did you put that on? You know, Jeff. <laughs> But I'm a man of mystery. <laughs> oh, we got some people saying rude things in the chat. If you are one of those rude people, um, I like doop. I like doop. I like doop. Um, I just want to remind you that uh, one, you're the one sitting. I don't know at home being rude. Rude. In your free time, that's rude. what you do for fun. Rude. That's what you do for fun. You just harass people for fun. Rude. That's sad. Number yeah. two, uh, you can sit here and say everything you want. In fact, I encourage you to because we are turning all of that engagement into uh, money for the trans community. So far, Dollars. we have raised $700,000 for the trans community. So you can say whatever you want about me. Uh, but I'll still help you, all right? To so the person who called me the F word, got a pin in your eye. Hold on. All right, there you go. <laughs> the effort you're putting in is, I appreciate it. I think that pinworm was making you homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> you're cured! <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the Pinworm ASMR Hour, uh, where we have uh, Gabagool, aka Jeff. <laughs> Getting more and more unhinged. <laughs> and, uh, Dr. Donation Daddy! Wait, why do you kind of look hot in that? <laughs> if I try, it doesn't help. It doesn't? No! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, actually, never mind. <laughs> Is this supposed to go under your chin? I no. don't. <laughs> What's it supposed to do? It goes on the back. This yeah. part? Yep. Yeah. And then you adjust it to make it tighter. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You don't have to adjust me to make me tighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the worm's here to stay until we hit four million. If you want more gender-affirming pinworms put in and or taken out of your eyes, um, if you want me to power wash your brain, you just let me know. Striking a pose. Yeah. <laughs> Screenshot this, share it with all your friends, and say, <laughs> go and donate what you got with what you can, what can with what you got. Whether it's one dollar, five dollars, five hundred thousand dollars. You can text TransJoy. One word. So four four three two one. That's, that's pinworms. Trans, trans, trans joy. joy. One word. To so four four three two one. one. We have hit seven hundred and two thousand dollars. Oh my God, YouTube. What is this fucking pinworm? Oh. The pinworm's putting up a fat. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I feel like I should do the YMCA dance in this thing. Wait, where the f- I was already- I was gonna make that joke. The YMCA. Oh no, it was in the middle. Oh fuck, how do I do this? You need help, Chris? Mentally. I'll help you. Oh! Oh no, I got it. Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, you want some ASMR? Black. <laughs> <laughs> Bisexual. <laughs> Strong. Scared. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Work. <laughs> you scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I actually want to help. Oh my god. Oh. We would like to thank Zara for their twenty-five dollar donation. Elizabeth, Samantha yeah. for twenty-five dollars. Mitchell and Kelso for their $5 donation. Thank you. We are running out of battery on this puppet. Woo! <laughs> We'd also like to thank Jessica, Rachel, Andrew, Katie, M. Body, Body? Lindsay for their $100. Dollar donation. Body, adi, 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 adi. And Haley for their two hundred and fifty dollar donation. Round of pinworm applause. I need to give you what a pinworm is. I don't think you want to. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Welcome. How how are you feeling? How's everybody doing today? Put in the chat. How are you feeling? You feeling good? Oh my god! Look who's here! Oh my god! I've been doing ASMR with this. Are those beets? Telling them I'm putting radishes? Oh you guys don't know, do you? You gonna eat a radish? You guys don't know, do you? They're so good. That's in what? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Who the fuck was saying they're good? Me? I love radishes. Oh shit. Sorry. Is this like, raw dog a radish? Mm. Oh yeah. Clearly. Okay. You so guys don't know that I am obsessed with radishes. It's like an so apple that tastes like dirt. Seriously. Yeah. Clearly, Clearly you have an entire bag. Beets are sweet. Do you eat the whole thing? Beets are also No. Awesome. Yeah. What yeah, about that little green kind of part? Like this good. little part. You like throw that out like the core of an apple? Yeah. You're just like, oh. Okay. All right. Great. Well, that's something new I learned. Guys, I pissed myself a bunch online. Do you think that this is the weirdest thing I've done today? Yes. <laughs> <Try it. laughs> Woo! Go piss, girl. Woo! Sit down. Hey, we hit 700k, huh? Yeah, we did. Holy shit! Wait, bring. I need to pull out some pinworms from people's eyes. Oh my god. Nice. 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 Drake. Dupe. Can someone do me a favor? Well, grab me my blanket that I left in that room. And I want to cuddle up and hang tight. Dude, give me that waste paper basket, too. Nice. How are you doing, man? Going good, pretty solid. Yeah. Round of applause for the incredible human urinal. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I am indeed the her the, the human urinal. Yep. Um, you can pee in me. You can. Yo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Did you have any good dreams? <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> oh, we hit 703. You know, at one point I was a respected creator at one point. When? And when was that? No, <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Someone's like, uh, oh, she's losing it. Here's the thing. This is the most I've been awake all day. <laughs> mm. 
looks good. Where did you get this? Oh, basil. That's basil. You stole it from basil. Oh, but basil gave it to me. Oh, I don't know that boy. I don't know what it is. I want one so bad now. Ah, oh, shit. Can someone do me a favor? Yeah. Oh, shit. Now I got some water. Okay, Jory. How's it going, baby doll? Pretty good. Um, so yeah, I was pulling pinworms out of people's eyes. You did? Yeah. Oh my God! Way to go! You are saving lives in so many ways today. Mm -hmm. I don't know what pinworms are. So. Uh, just, just as a reminder, we are raising policies to surgery and pulling pinworms out of people's eyes. You said it, Jory. Thank you so much for pulling pinworms out of people's eyes. Yeah, anytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way to go. Uh, with that said, if you want to donate to our cause, uh, our lovely cause of pulling pinworms out of people's eyes, you can go to the link in the bio, the link in the bio, the link in the bio, the link in bio. Uh, to donate directly to Point of Pride, an organization dedicated to giving people access to gender-affirming care. Or, you can text TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. Again, that's TRANSJOY. One, one word. word. To 44321. And if you forgot, for, if you forgot what gender-affirming care looks like, it looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, laser, surgery, and eating radishes, raw dog. Yep. <laughs> this is one of my very few... Farm things I love to do when I was a kid. It's a farm thing. You, you clean a radish, and then you would like put some salt on it. Okay, so I have salt at least. No. Does it have a core? A little bit. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you want one? No. Come on. Uh, sorry, try one. We're gonna get food from the Mediterranean joint. Can I get either of you? Oh. I'm good for now, thank you. I'm good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. We got so much food. Uh, Amethyst came in here with like you see how much you brought? No. Go take a look. Okay. Amy brought so much stuff. Wait, you telling me to eat a radish? Yeah. You eat one. No. Don't okay, how about this? When we hit one million dollars, you eat this whole bag of radish. <laughs> I'll eat one. Really? I'll yeah. Eat one. <laughs> Wait, now? At one million. Oh, well. You're gonna like them. Um, at four million dollars, I will give myself, or you, actually, I will give you a lobotomy with a pinworm. All right? I really should look up what a pinworm is at this point. It's kind of exactly what you, like, yeah. imagine it is. A little worm is like a pin size? It's very, yeah, very tiny worm. Yeah. That is driving me nuts. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Is Whoa, that better? That was really nice. Okay. That was good. I got it right in there. That got that gave me pinworms. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Nice scratches. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Jennifer Coolidge pinworm AI? Oh, Uh, all right. <laughs> These guys. Hey everyone, how are you doing? We're trying to raise money for trans people. Bye, trans people. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is, in fact, a live stream that will not stop today. Um, We're trying to raise money for gender affirming care. If you're just tuning in right now, double tap the screen and help us reach more people, okay? Jory and I have had a really long last two days, but we're doing really good. I hope that you are hanging in there with us. Thank you so much for joining us for the far, maybe the first time the today. Fart. The first time today, maybe. <laughs> what? Thank you for joining us for the fart. I, did I say that? I probably did. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the fart. Did you fart, girl? No. Liar! <laughs> I didn't fart. It says radishes. I didn't even pee a little bit this time. I didn't even do that. If she didn't fart, she sharded herself. <laughs> I 
everyone, thank you so much for being here. You donate right now. Just by going to the link in the bio, we have a whole bunch of wonderful people who are helping us out today. So thank you so much for caring for us. Um, I hope that you are all sharing your stories about how gender affirming care has affected your life um, and about how much um, this matters to you as well. If you want to share those stories in the chat, I'd love to hear them. I'll do my best to read them off when I can and whenever I can. Um, but right now, just chill with us a little bit. We're just going to hang tight. I'm holding down the fort so Jory can be Jory and do God knows what. Um, and I appreciate it. I'm giving myself a lobotomy with the circle saw. That sounds exactly right. You know, you know, I love that you're using the time that you're not on the screen <laughs> to, to somehow still be on the screen. <laughs> We're hanging in there. Oh shit, we're almost at 705. We were really doing good. Everyone, double tap that screen. Help Coming us reach more people. Line. Let's try to get the live up to 2,000 people again. You know, let's see if we can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. We will upgrade the pinworms to tapeworms so I can pull tapeworms out of your butt. No more worm talk. Oh, okay. Okay, we don't want to deter people. We want to try to keep them. They, they were actually <laughs> thinking around for <laughs> the pinworms. They were thinking around for a lot of weirdness. Yeah. Really no, they love the pinworms. The other reason we started bringing it up. Yeah, they, they, they kept commenting about pinworms, but uh, apparently YouTube was like, thank you for pulling pinworms out of my eyes. <laughs> uh, with that said, we want to uh, say thank you to all the people who are making pinworms possible uh, in the form of gender-affirming care. Uh, through $50 donations, such as Rebecca, Alex, and Ireland, uh, Ireland. the person, not the entire country, but maybe the entire country? Um, we also want to say a special thank you to the other $50 donors, such as Rachel, Rachel. Katie, Eric, Rosemary, Douglas, and not Gemini's. Not Scorpio, but Leo. Leo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We want to say a thank you for the one hundred dollar donations from Hadrian, Adrian, Alice, Alice, Jessica, and Brad. Let's go. Brad is now an ally. Woo. Brad, we love you. You know what's so funny? Yesterday, you know how we were talking about like Brad. Everyone say Brad in the chat. You know what's hilarious? Brad was literally one of the names that was that was blocked in my chat. <laughs> I, one of the words that was blocked was Brad and Brandon. Brad grew yeah. wake. You know what I think it was though? People were calling me Brad. I got mad about it. Poor Brad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Everyone, we just hit seven hundred and five thousand dollars. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. We're going to be on this live stream. We just hit $706,000. We love to see it. Everyone, we're going to be on this live stream for how long, Jory? Five days. For five decades. <laughs> yeah. For five generations. Okay, it works. Um, with you, that said, we are raising you. money. For gender affirming care. By trans people. For trans people. Gender -affirming ba -ba 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 -ba. care looks like binders, scaffs, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and taking a little nap after peeing yourself. Yeah. Uh, gender affirming care made possible by donations such uh, uh by people such as Krista. We love you. And Ashley. Ashley. Who donated one. Hundred and fifty transgendering pinworms. We love it. Thank Woo. you, trans pinworms. Why am I in on this now? Woo. I'm getting on it. I'm and to be cool. Big, uh, giant pinworm. Thank you to Marissa for donating two hundred and fifty dollars. Not so, but so. We love to see it. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging there with us. My name is Mercury Stardust, and this is... Pinworm Princess. We love Pinworm Princess. He's been with us uh, since... I don't know. I was hoping you were going to end that sentence. Uh, 44 BC. Yeah. 44, 44 BC. BC. Coming in red hot, Max. We love you. It's been a big girl summer since 44 BC. Yeah. Everyone, thank you. This is what a live stream looks like when you've had barely any sleep and you've had a lot of stress. Does, Does anybody know where that's from? What? 
It's, the, it's been a big growth summer since 44 BC. Yeah, I remember those like TikToks of people interviewing someone and it'd be like, uh, thank you, Byron. Like the sidewalk talk. Side talk. Yes. Side talk, side talk. Um, it's, it's from that. Hydration. Love you. The straw's not quite long enough, so just don't drop it. I don't think That's I need it. I don't okay. need it. No, thank you. I don't want to get a lobotomy. I'm scared of those now. I am scared. Bing bong! Are we switching to silicone? <laughs> I don't like silicone straw, straws either, so. Okay. No Bing more straws for me. Make sure to double tap that screen, comment down below, and share the live. We are raising money for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, surgeries, electrolysis, and bing bong! Double tap that screen, folks. Let's go! If you want to donate, Make sure to click the link in the bio, the link in the bino, the uh, binosaur link, uh, or the link in the bio to donate directly and learn where this money is going to be used and how it's going to be distributed by point of pride. I'm shadow boxing Jake Paul right now. Work. A reference I got. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Period, mama. Um, you can also donate by texting transjoy. One word. To four four three two one or pinworm. <laughs> transjoy one word to four four three two one again. That is transjoy one word to four four three two one. And with that, we have reached seven hundred seven thousand dollars. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like I used that wrong. <laughs> no, you're doing great. No, doing you're, good. you're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. Yeah. You sure you don't want a radish? When we hit, what is it, a million? I'll, I'll eat a radish. Good. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, pinworm fam in the chat. Make yourself known. Say hashtag pinworms for pride. Only 292,000 more dollars to go until Jory eats a radish. Yeah, um, and I'll eat some pinworms too. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. I put pinworms in the radishes. Too far. Oh, oh. That's why they taste like that. Extra good. Mm hmm. A little bit of spice. Oh. You know how I like spice. But you know, because I'm into Dune. Topical. It was topical. I just assumed because you were white that anything above, like, black pepper was spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Up until last year, that was very true. Uh, I say that. I spent all of last year. I kid you not, I spent all of last year. Um, upping the my spice level. Yes, I'm proud of you. I'm doing much better. I can eat a Tennessee Heat now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I say that like I use. Okay, I used to love really, really spicy food, um, and then I hit 25, uh, and that's when it all went downhill. You know, people tell you your life gets better, it gets worse. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I just I just couldn't eat spicy food the same as before. Um, and surprisingly enough, like, I will order, like, a mild and or medium if I'm eating anything spicy. Max goes for the spiciest thing on the fucking menu. It's actually terrifying. And then, and then she'll antagonize me and be like, try it. Hey, Jory, guess try what? It. You want to eat some of my chicken? No. Jory. Jory. Which, Jory. Did you get Reaper? Jory. No, I only got extra hot. Jory. Only, yes. Guess what? We hit 708,000 um, doll hairs. Dollars! Yeah! Oh my god, is that how I get you to say dollars? Just say doll hairs and you then, then say dollars. You did it. You did it right. You did it. You didn't do it wrong. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, you weren't here for the game. Me and Aiden were bonking each other. Everybody, um, this is my new spouse. <laughs> um, yes, they are non-binary. Uh, energy drinks are non-binary, right? That's just a rule. Not Red Bull. Not Red Bull. What, what's Red Bull? A cis white man. Oh boy, that's so. That's fucking. I don't want anything to do with that now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, buddy? 
I'm drinking Celsius. Oh, I don't know what that is. Celsius is for the girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're trying to say, what is it? What, am I going to turn into a dude again? If I drink this? Yes, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Red Boy. It makes you sis again. Is that what the wings are? Are the wings just you know, metaphorical? Yeah. Sisness? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hey, Max, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. Come here. I don't want her back, so. Hi. Yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah. We're going to. Come on, Godspeed. How's it going, y'all? Pretty good. Everyone, uh, this is my sister. It's true. People wouldn't believe it. People, people won't believe it. We're sisters. Mm -hmm. Um... We, all the light. we were both cisgender, um, and we, we were, we're twins. Excuse me, it's biological. Uh, cisgender is a manu manufactured by the woke uh, amongst us. Yep, and you know what? I don't want to be woke. I want to be sleep. R. <laughs> 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 There's a pirate here, everybody. Watch out, gotta watch out for those booty pirates. Oh, no, I'm booty. coming for your booty. Not Ooh. my booty. Wait. I like, in all, all right, honesty, bring me. you know what I want? Popcorn. Okay, nothing? Okay, cool. Wait. There's some popcorn machine right there. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, you're, Jory. Sorry, bring me the red You're popcorn. the trans popcorn girl. You never cleaned it, though. I didn't say it. I didn't say that part, you know. <laughs> pin corn. Someone said pin corn. Hey y'all, we're raising money for trans health care by trans people. For, for trans, trans people. people. And cats. And Which cats. looks like binders, scaffs, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and Celsius energy drinks. I am not sponsored, but you should sponsor me. And meow. And if you want to donate, you can click the link in the bio, the link in the bio. The Abraham Lincoln. Or you can text TransJoy. One, one word. word. Uh, 44321. Again, that's TransJoy. One word. 44321. Four, four, three, three, Every little bit counts. Doesn't matter if you have $1, $2, $3, $5, $1,000. We'll, we will take it. We will give it to trans people everywhere. No. <laughs> you are feeling intense. As a reminder, as a reminder, this is a nonprofit organization we're working with. Exactly. Call Point of Pride. <laughs> they they help people who are the most affected amongst our community. Yeah. Such as who, Jory? Uh, one in two people are disabled or chronically ill. Three out of four people have uh, faced housing insecurity or yeah. are facing housing insecurity. Yeah. 88% uh, 88 88 of garment requests. requests come from people under the age of 24. That is the future of trans people. Yep. And then, what's the... Two and three people served are living in high-risk states of anti-trans, as Mercury would say, legislation. Exactly. <laughs> and 100% of recipients have pinworms in their brains. Uh -huh. Stop chewing your fingernails. You're going to get pinworms. We've been saying this the whole time. That gender-affirming care does save lives. Now, if you're just tuning in right now, you are one of the people that's helping us get there. We are slowly going, but we are not stopping. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm really proud of ourselves for hanging in there and taking all the bumps and shit. And we hit $709,000. What were you at when you went to sleep? 650. Like 650, yeah. We were... I honestly wish I knew. I, Cause I woke up to a seven. Okay, I woke yeah. up to a seven. I like woke up like, maybe it was like one thousand before seven. Okay. And I heard someone say six ninety nine, and I went, oh, I'm missing it. And then <laughs> I heard seven right after that. You missed the the six hundred thousand six hundred sixty six. No, that she was there. I think that's around the time that she went. She left oh, right after that? that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so... Hey, everybody. Uh, to the people in the chat who always like to talk about um, my my mental illness, um, trust me, there's a lot of things going on in the world, right, that we love to talk about, but I promise you the people who are talking about how there's better things to do with the money, 
would never do those things. Um, people today, I got an email from someone <laughs> telling me about how the money that we are raising is being pulled away from people who are um, houseless, being pulled away from people who are vulnerable in emergency situations. And I gotta tell you, we're actually helping those same people. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's so frustrating to hear people use people who are in the most vulnerable situations as ammunition against trans people, as if that is not like they're the same shit, guys. It's when, the same shit. When you talk about mental health and you disregard that queer people's mental health, we have some of the recipients, right? Here are some of the recipients of the electrolysis fund, the yeah. HRT fund, the surgery fund. A lot of them are unemployed due to mental health. A lot of them are housing insecure uh, currently due to their inability to get a job because they live in discriminatory states with anti-trans legislation and yeah. a lot of anti-trans rhetoric. Yeah. You, you can sit here and pretend that you care about mental health resources, right? You can sit here and pretend that you care about unhoused people. You can sit here and pretend that you give a fuck about how money is being divested away from important causes, and yet you're out here getting upset that we're providing people with comprehensive health care, yeah. but you're not upset at the billionaires that yeah. are extorting wealth from the working class. You're not upset at the government. You're gonna line up and vote for the same two-party system that has consistently bent us over yeah. And this, plowed us. This is Chandler. Uh, the pronouns are he, they. They were uh, one of the recipients of the HRT fund. And Chandler is a 22-year-old black trans man. He's unemployed due to his mental illness. Yeah. He's directly being impacted in a positive way through this fundraiser. And thanks to the work that we did last year, is one of the people that well, is able to actually access the thing they need to do to actually support themselves. Yeah. Now, you can project what you believe trans people are. You can do all that thing, but none of that is actually going to change anything. And none of that is actually going to um, solve the problems that you claim you care about. So we are actually doing that change, you know? I think the thing that is so wild is the, the way that people react to anybody participating in the liberation of someone else is wild. People always like to just throw you under the bus immediately and say, ah, oh, no, it's not going to do anything. Well, then what are you doing? Yeah. Um, are you I, doing nothing? I also Probably. want to remind you that for the last four years, I've been a content creator on TikTok. I've talked about um, abortion access. Um, I have raised funds for my local uh, unhoused people in LA. Yeah. Um, I have done mutual aid for a number of people, including severe disabilities, um, things like rads. Oh my God! Um, I have, uh, I, I, you, I've talked about genocide uh, happening across the world in the global south. I have directed people to mutual aid resources uh, with which they can provide people with resources in the global south. I have done objectively more than any person who comes in here rush? and right. says, "You're not doing enough. This cause isn't good enough." You, uh, I, I've worked. With cancer research, right? I, I've uh, don't like I've helped raise money for cancer research. Yep. So when you sit here and you want to come and be like, oh, you're focusing on this one issue, Jory, all you're saying is very beautiful stuff. But we need to make sure we, we remember this moment. Max is eating a radish. This is really important. You ready? Yes. We're gonna we're gonna, yes, we're gonna touch radishes. Oh wow! <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna. Do I just do yeah. I eat the tip? Yeah, you, you usually do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, awesome. Kind of hurt a little bit, don't I? It tastes like how the water that flooded our bathroom the other week smelled. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to overcome that one. Where? I like them because they kind of hurt a little bit. Okay. You eat enough of them, they sting right up in here. Wow. <laughs> this is why you do this. <laughs> They're a little bit spicy. That's kind of nice. Keep going. No. It gets better. <laughs> no. The faster you eat it, the more it hurts. Is this like a grapefruit where like you're supposed to eat it like before you eat anything else so like it's not so bad because you don't have anything that tastes good to compare it to? Kind of. 
Okay. But it was like drier and no flavor. Oh, there's flavor. Flavor. Oh. We're at seven hundred eleven thousand dollars. Oh. Do you want this? No, you bet. It. No, it's yours. Hey, Doctor Ron, Ronnie. Everyone, Doctor Ronnie's back. Doctor Ronnie's in the house. Put some Vasco sauce on it. I don't know about that. That's why. No, don't be a monster about it. Sorry. I said I'd eat one at one million. Do you okay. two want to go and eat and stuff? And me and Ronnie can hang out. I, I ate. Oh, you ate? I oh, ate. Oh, she ate, mama. Oh, shit. Yeah. I had my spicy chicken. I mean, I can go chill for a bit. Do you want a bite of the spicy chicken? Yeah, I think we can give you a break. For a little, wait, 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 wait. What kind of chicken? Uh, Dave's. Oh, Dave, like famous Dave's. No, Dave's. Dave's hot chicken. Dave's hot chicken. Oh, wow. Well. It's good. It's like I never met it? Dave. What is it? But Nashville hot chicken, right? Yeah. It's good. You know, you I'm got tea. extra hot. I'm T for T, even my chicken. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> this feels like something. I, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> go outside and plant it. There you go. I took care of it for you. Thank you. Can you yeah. plant radishes? Matt, I I ruined Max's night. I I, I can tell I ruined your night. No, this yeah. was a wonderful experience. Yeah, you know, the first time is always a little rough. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, you know. At least, like, the aftertaste so, doesn't stick around that long, I'll say. Like, it was awful while I'm eating it, but once the flavor was gone, I was okay again. They're really good with beer back when I drank beer. I don't like beer. Well, well you know, I guess you'll never know. I guess not. Hey, everyone. Uh, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> Someone's like, are you guys dating? Yes. Yeah, we're a throuple. No, no, no. Those two. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Are we not These a throuple? Two. Oh, we're dating? Yeah. Oh, no, we're sisters. Yeah, that's We weird. went over this. That's weird. Sisters right. are dating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone, on that note, do you guys want to go and give you a break and me and Ronnie can hang out? All right. Go we'll take a break. Yeah. I, I don't need a break, but I'll, I'll leave. Yeah, no, make sure to double tap that and comment down below and share the live. Make sure to double tap that and comment down below and share the live. And that's how Max and Mercury broke up. If you want to donate, you can click the link in the bio. The link in the bio. You can click our link in biography to donate directly and also to learn where this money is going. It's going for gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and Dr. Ronnie. I come with cookies. You come with cookies? Dr. Ronnie is actually gender affirming care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ronnie is a real professional. I swear, but I, and I, I did bring cookies. You did? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Ronnie. How are you oh, doing, buddy? Yeah, so nice to see you. So nice to see you. Yeah. Everyone, this is Dr. Ronnie. What up? Let me adjust the, well, yeah, the camera. For my right. shortness. Right. <laughs> ah. Look at you with your fruit salad in your, like, pharmacy table over here. Not me. No. Basil did it. Amazing. Basil's, uh oh. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, how are you? Oh man, is it rough? Been real rough. Been a rough the last twenty-four hours, but we're hanging in there. Yeah. We're currently at seven hundred eleven thousand dollars. That is not a small amount of money. It is not a small amount of money. Uh, it's we're going slower than we thought, but boy, we're still going, so that's good. Yeah. You know, a bunch of folks who are healthcare providers or healthcare adjacent. We've cobbled together a bunch of donations for y'all. So we're getting like $800 of donations from folks who are like health adjacent here in town. Love it. Cause you know what? We want y'all to get the care that you need. That's why you should like tap, love, follow mm-hmm. all the things. Double tap on screen, comment down below <laughs> and share the live. Ronnie, yeah, said. Ronnie tell us a little about, about yourself, buddy. Oh my gosh. Um, well, I have the best job in the world which is I am a a full spectrum family medicine physician. So that means I take care of people, wound to tomb, sperm to worm. I I love it. (laughs) We've been been talking. Wound to tomb, sperm to worm. We've been talking about pinworms all day today. So I feel like that's very. It is a major cause of anemia, I will say. 
Well, Ronnie, I was not expecting you to, you to give like pinworm now. I mean, YouTube has been begging for pinworm facts, so if you have oh, no, yeah. any, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. facts. they are obsessed with pinworm facts. Let me tell you, you big up pinworm facts. YouTube. When I when I was an undergraduate, I took an entire class on parasites, and it was probably the best class I've ever taken. It was certainly the grossest, but also fantastic. Honestly, I'm already so grossed out, but I'm ready. I'm ready for anything you got, Ronnie. Let's see. Let's see. Um, now, I, now you put me on the spot and I have to think about it. Oh, so uh, there is such a thing as the scotch tape test. Have you talked about the scotch tape test? No. What is a scotch tape test? Oh. I am terrified of what this you is going to You should be scared. Come. You should be very scared. Oh, no, Ronnie. So if one is concerned that you they have pinworms or someone they love has pinworms. Oh god. It at night, which oh, is no. when the pinworms like to exit the butthole, you go in there with a piece of scotch tape and you just put it right against the anus and you peel it off. And then you take it to the clinic the next day, and we can look under the microscope Ronnie, and find Ronnie, pinworm eggs. Ronnie, I, I have questions. I have questions. So many questions. Who figured that out, Ronnie? A fucking genius. That's the, who yeah, it someone. Out. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, you're sure. Listen, you should not invite a doctor here if you don't want to talk about gross shit. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. Okay. Hey, Ronnie, we were t speaking of gross shit. We were talking about the original chainsaw. Yeah, I heard that conversation, and I cannot. <laughs> I did. I did, and I can. I will say. I do not believe that the chainsaw was actually to cut the skin. Okay. I believe that there was a like a manual chainsaw that was invented to help separate the two halves of the pelvis in case a baby gets stuck. Oh, it is no okay. less horrifying to think about, you know, like cutting somebody's pelvis in half, but I believe that that was the actual genesis of the chainsaw. Well, thank you for making this a lot less fun. <laughs> <laughs> Scotch tape on somebody's asshole? Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, the scotch tape on someone's anus is really something that I can really bring to dinner parties. <laughs> it is. It's gender affirming. Yeah. Yeah. Trans women sure. taping their junk? That's sure. Why not? <laughs> I love how you never take a break. You never take a break. <laughs> well, because I started talking about pinworms. pinworms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what? Pinworms and jewelry go hand to hand. Mm -hmm. You know, when I think when I think of jewelry, I think of pinworms. <laughs> what? <laughs> And me go hand in I hate you. The fecal oral transmission. I gotta tell you, I don't know what. Well. I still don't know what pinworms are. They are just like a teeny tiny little. Worm. They are very very small, hence the name. And they, you get them in your gut by the fecal oral transmission rate, which means so a route. So if you get a little bit of like poo on your hand, if you've been digging in your butt and you don't wash your hands, and then you bite your nails. You can get infected, and then they just like hang out in your gut and have their live their best lives. Yeah, that's clean. Oh, I definitely have pinworms. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone who bites their nails gets pinworms. Uh, question: Does Answer. E eating butt increase your chance of? Mm -hmm. I mean, if that person has pinworms, yeah. We're okay. really, yeah. we're, we're really asking the important it questions. It also increases your risk of hepatitis A, so go get vaccinated. Okay. You know, I gotta tell you, Ronnie, I'm so happy that you came on this live. I was so happy. There were so many unanswered yeah, questions we have learned, that needed to be answered. We have learned so much. In the, the I just saw somebody give a quote. This is actually really good info. Yeah, it's really informative, and this... This live stream is just too stupid with this much intelligence on it. Uh, I mean, it's kind yeah. of run the gamut. Don't it, you is, it, is it safe oh. to assume that um, <laughs> if you're, let's say, on Grindr looking yeah. for a... Are you asking for a friend? Yeah, I'm asking for a friend. Sure. Okay. I actually do don't really like Grindr. <laughs> I'm very I mean, much asking for the audience. I have audience. zero judgment if you yeah. do like Grindr. Oh, same. Same. No judgment. Yeah. I Just just not my, my cup of tea. Yeah. Um, but let's say you were... Uh, we're looking to hook up with someone, mm -hmm. hang out. Uh, would you need a full STI screening and possibly pinworm screening? I would say we do not routinely do pinworm screening okay. unless somebody has symptoms. And okay. so symptoms would be like a really itchy butt, like insanely itchy butt. Put a finger down. Okay. <laughs> uh, unexplained anemia. Okay, okay. Uh, known exposure, I would say, right? So one of the ways that you can also get exposed to pinworms is walking around barefoot in the soil. So, so put, on, so put on your shoes. 
Everyone, did you know that we're raising money for gender affirming care? Did you? We are not trying to eradicate pinworm. Yeah. We're not. We're no. not. No. And gender affirming care looks like binders, gaps, HRT, electrolysis, surgery, and a routine pinworm screening after a grinder hookup. We love to hear it. You could donate too by texting TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. That's TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. I would also like to bring another public service announcement to your stream. So earlier you were talking about Uh-oh. binding and duct tape. Oh, shit fucker, yeah. And I just want to say, please, for the love of Pete, do not bind your tits with duct tape, especially if you're going all the way around your chest. It is not safe. So yeah. no duct tape for binding. You can use it for other fun things, but please don't bind with duct tape. Public service announcement. Everyone here, here, uh, Ronnie is canceling Mercury Stardust. Did you hear this? <laughs> yes. Ronnie is canceling. Personally, Ronnie, I'm yeah. shutting it down. Yeah, Ronnie <laughs> is canceling a trans woman. You heard it. <laughs> So good. I've been trying to get to this point. I've basically just been a mole this whole time. This whole time, that I trying knew it. to get here. Ronnie. To sabotage your entire enterprise. Right. Yes, yeah, this enterprise full yes. of pinholes and jewelry. Did you say pinworms and jewelry? Oh, yeah, pinholes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, can moles get pinworms? No, can pin, you know, can moles get pinworms that are smaller than pinholes? Boy, you're really asking me to kind of like step outside my comfort zone. Yeah. I, I only take care of one species of animal. Oh. That's humans. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, well, sorry. you know, can't win them all. It's right. true. But anyway, can't win them all. you know how we got here was sperm to worm. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? That, that is, was like five minutes ago. That it was five like minutes ago. ago. Well, Ronnie, uh, tell us a little bit yeah, about yeah. gender affirming care, Ronnie. Man, gender affirming care is the best part of my job. It is one of the most joyful things about my job and i have to say like healthcare is hard right now healthcare is really hard for primary care physicians right now um and it's so much joy like people come and they are oftentimes people come and they sit down and they feel like they have to give this story this like classic story about how miserable they've been their entire lives they were you know little and playing with dolls and you know they're got caught wearing their sister's dress and they've just been miserable this entire time and actually you don't have you don't have to prove that you're trans enough for hormones and so i get to help people in whatever way they need sometimes that involves medication sometimes not sometimes it involves just like listening and welcoming people back into healthcare after they've been harmed by the healthcare system so it, it, it i have literally seen it save lives more than once. I love it. It's amazing. Am I allowed to say that you're my doctor? <laughs> I, I cannot confirm or deny that I am your doctor, but okay, you, cool. you can disclose whatever you like. I will say that Ronnie is my doctor. Uh, and Ronnie's badass. And honestly, I gotta tell you that the last year and this year that we've talked is almost more than we've talked prior. <laughs> I am so bad. I am so you know, bad. You got shit going on, girl. Yeah, I got a lot going on, and I'm yeah. always like uh, way too far behind. I, I'm, I'm trying to catch up on everything. So. Yeah, same Z's. Same yeah. Z's. You know, you're doing the best you can with what you got. Yeah, I love I love hearing you say it because I say it all it's the true. fucking time. Right? Yeah. Oh. That's how you got to make decisions, too, right? You got to make decisions, the best decision you can at the moment with the information that you have. What is gender for me, care, Ronnie? I think it depends on the purpose, on the person, right? So gender affirming care can look like um, helping people access the appropriate clothing, like through this uh, TikTokathon. So you can donate to um, the TikTokathon. You can click, share, do all the things that I don't know how to do because I am a Luddite. But it can look like helping people just feel more comfortable. It can look like helping people explore their own identity. I am not a therapist, but... um, Sometimes that's what we do is just think about what what will make them most comfortable. Mm. Sometimes it looks like keeping people safe um, and figuring out ways how to be safe at school uh, or at work when you have to pee at work. Sometimes it looks like prescribing medications. Sometimes, uh, actually quite often, it looks like advocacy. So I spend a lot of time on the phone with insurance companies. I spend a lot of time writing letters of support um, for surgery or for insurance coverage um it can look like referring folks to to surgical care but not every trans person needs medication not every trans person needs surgery it's just really dependent on the individual what it really looks like is being being open to learning more 
Sometimes that's really hard for physicians because we're used to being right all the time. We're used to getting really good grades all the time. <laughs> and so it's hard for us to like get it wrong and, and to not know something. So I think for anybody who's out there who is a primary care physician or thinking about going into healthcare, you can provide gender affirming care. Like it is, it's not, it's definitely not rocket science, but you need to know how to, um, how to listen to people and how to be humble. Is there any questions you got for Dr. Ronnie while they're here? Because they, they know a lot more about things than I do. Uh, I got a question for you, Dr. What does um, gender affirming care often look like for trans youth? I know, dicey question, isn't it? It is a dicey question. Um, I will say it, it depends on, uh, it, a lot depends on where you live right now. Because um, there are a lot of, uh, there has there have been more bills introduced across the country this year than ever before um, into state legislatures, and so it can look like um, just really struggling to survive. Um, and you know, we're so glad if you're watching, if you're a trans or non-binary youth, we're so glad you're here. Hang in there. Um, you deserve the care that you need and it really sucks that you can't get it right now um, sometimes it looks like um, having conversations with parents it's you know parents love their children and they want to keep them safe and they want to keep them healthy um, and sometimes that can cause some tension between parents and children because young people they are like all about getting <laughs> they're all about the moment they're all about like this is what I need I need gratification immediately and parents are often trying to like pull the reins back to keep their kids safe, which I think makes a lot of sense. So it's a lot of conversations and education. Sometimes it looks like medication. Sometimes it looks like puberty blocking medications that um, are 100% reversible. Sometimes it looks like uh, hormones. Some very, very rarely it looks like surgery. Most, most people are not operating on young people under 16, 17, 18. Um, but it really depends on the kid, and it needs to be um, provided within the context of really um, good, authentic, multidisciplinary care. Because it is, it's kind of, it's dicey for kids and for providers. I got a question for you that someone asked that's real good. Yeah, yeah. What, um, at what point in your career, Ronnie, did you first hear a gender for me care? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? It's a really good one. Right down some of these. I think that I actually um, learned about gender affirming care before I was a doctor. So I had a really, really dear friend that was transitioning and this was a long ass time ago because I'm an old ass person, but they were trying to access medications and we were actually living in San Francisco at the time. And um, it was shockingly hard for them to get the care that they needed, even mm. living in like the queerest part of the country. Um, and then after that, it just was, it kind of planted a seed. And then when I went to medical school, um, I just was thinking more and more about it. And you know, your medical training is four years of undergraduate medical training. And then after that, you go to residency, which is where you train in the field of your choice. And so um, when I went to residency, is when I really focused on learning how to provide the care myself. But learning about the care, really, I learned from friends who were going through it. Okay, someone had a question about, um, do you have any advice for anyone who's having top surgery? Uh, there's a person who was having top surgery on April 8th, so congrats. Oh, yeah, that's so exciting. Um, what would I say? I would say make sure you have a support team in place. Um, Make sure you have someone who is going to be able to like bring you snacks because maybe you're not going to feel up to getting your own snacks and nutrition is really important for um, wound healing. I would say follow your surgeon's instructions. So if they're telling you no lifting of heavy things, do not lift heavy things. Um, I would also say it's okay to ask questions. Sometimes, um, I think trans and non-binary people get into the situation where they feel like they have to be grateful for everything they get um, and that they have to be satisfied with what they get. And so if you have concerns or you're feeling like something isn't quite right, 
I would say don't be afraid to ask. And if it doesn't, if it feels too scary for you to ask, maybe find someone who has a little bit less skin in the game, like no pun intended, like somebody who can advocate for you. Um, Cause a lot of times people are paying out of pocket for these surgeries and they're super expensive, right? It's like, you're kind of buying a car that you're gonna be wearing for a really long time. Um, I would also say if you are smoking, quit smoking. Um, at least for that period of time when you're healing. Yeah. Because, man, it makes a huge difference in your healing. Yeah. Yeah, I, my spouse had top surgery going on in, like, three years now. Uh, and I was just to circle back to what you said earlier and answering the question. Uh, having a good support system matters a lot. Um, that, the, the weekend that I quit my job and started doing this full-time was the same weekend that ZZ got their top surgery. Wow. And what's wild about that is that I didn't take off any time for work. I wasn't planning on it. So ZZ was like, oh no, don't worry about it. I won't, I won't need your help. Mm. Yeah, I know. I, so I quit my job and I spent like the better part of the next three weeks with ZZ, almost every week and yeah. to help him with everything. Uh, and Z was just like, I don't know what I would have done without you. You know, yeah. and I agree. Like, even if you're, sometimes it can be, you can feel kind of woozy from pain medication. Like, maybe you want someone to help you get to the bathroom safely. It sounds dumb, but like, you know, maybe you just need someone to be there to be your spotter. Yeah. And, and for Z, too, they have EDS. Ooh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, and I know a lot of the, the folks here might be watching have heard of EDS, but those who have not, it's almost a dangerous syndrome. Um, and it really affects how you can recover from surgery yeah. and stuff too. So, yeah. um, it was particularly a little bit harder for Z than it might be for some others as well. So yeah. not to strike fear in anyone's eye. If surgery recovery is different for basically everybody. Yeah. Uh, it's not a one size fit all kind of situation. Yeah. So if you do have EDS or another hypermobility, um, condition, that's incredibly important information for your surgeon to know, um, uh, because it does impact your healing. Ronnie, what are your pronouns? What a good question. I would, you know, any respectful pronouns are fine with me. Um, usually she, she, her is fine. Love that answer. That's such a good answer. That is honestly a, a great, I got to tell you, I love that way you answering it instead of everyone saying any pronouns. I hate when people say any pronouns. It drives yeah. me nuts. Unless they're very obviously like gender fluidity. Yeah. You know, but like sometimes when cisgender folks say any pronouns, it can feel so othering in a weird way. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. And pronouns can be used, pronouns can be weaponized, right? Yes. And so that's yeah. why it has to be respectful. Yeah. So when you, yeah, when you say, when you frame it as a respectful use of it, I think that's such a wonderful, beautiful way of like, of like nipping it in the butt right away yeah. and saying, no, we're actually meaning it this one way. I like that. That's great. Because sometimes even when I'm like, when I was on a book tour, mm -hmm. people would say... Wait, uh, tell us about your book. Did oh, you write a book? I wrote a book called <laughs> Safe and Sound, A Renter's Friendly Guide to Home Repair. I'm sure you'd never heard of it. Uh, <laughs> I would have too, Ronnie. Shit. I would have. We'll bring it back tomorrow. Yes. Um, yes, absolutely. Book. I will sign that for you, Amazing. Ronnie. But um, that being said, when I was on book tour, the people would come up to me sometimes and say, oh, my pronouns are, you know, you know, obviously she, her. Or they'll be like, you know, whatever you know what i mean yeah. and it's it would always hit a little bit different than i think they intended it to be yeah you know and always like nah, i'm like i don't know if you can read the room a little bit but there's a lot of trans people in here that that makes us feel right. uncomfortable yeah, <laughs> right, because there's a difference between saying pronouns don't matter and saying you know i won't be offended by a pronoun right those are two yeah. really different statements all right ronnie um someone asked another kind of clarified question when it comes to binding okay yeah, yeah. someone said why is it dangerous to bind with normal bandages over getting a binder oh like ace bandages yeah. i assume yeah. you know i i would say it's probably less dangerous than duct tape um i think part of the problem is that there's so many little overlapping layers that can trap little bits of skin it's probably really hard on your skin to do it that way because you can get um, like abrasions on your skin. If you wrap it too tight, um, it can be hard to get out of in a hurry. I think the, the real issue with duct tape is that you can't get out of it in a hurry if you're having a hard time breathing. You know, it's better to use something like a binder that somebody could get from Point of Pride, for example, um, that is, although they are tight, 
you could potentially like cut yourself out of it if you really were in a tight spot. Do you have any tips for safety when you're binding and you have a large chest? Ooh, tips for um, binding a large chest. That's a good one, Max. That's a really good question. So um, it is definitely harder for people who have more tissue to, to bind. Um, I would say a good resource that I'll put out there is Callen Ward is a clinic out in New York City, and they have a really great handout that's free and available online about binding, and they have a really good one about tucking as well. Um, you know, I think the one important thing is to maybe – uh, not as as tempting as it is don't size down um, like you should use the sizing that the that the binder company recommends um, because if you if it's too tight um, it actually is not going to be as effective as if you have the one uh, a binder with the right amount of compression that can kind of like spread the pressure out um, sometimes people find that if they like push that tissue down and out to the sides it can be really helpful um, but yeah, it is. It, sometimes people who have more tissue there, they feel like they just kind of look like a barrel, you know, like they just have kind of like a large cylindrical look to their chest. And so sometimes people end up seeking out top surgery for that reason. Um, here's another question that feels kind of like a gotcha, but I'm going to frame it in a way that is not a gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. So, Okay, gender affirming care for those who do not have gender dysphoria. Ooh, I love yes. this question. Right, I, I'm framing it in a way that's yes. definitely not like a, what do you think? You yeah. know what I mean? More like, it's, a, it's such a good question. And I don't want to like get too far into the weeds like, like Women's Studies 104 here, but like the, so gender dysphoria is a specific diagnosis in our psychiatric diagnosis manual. There is currently- Love to hear it. Like, when you go to see your doctor, um, we have to use a code that tells your insurance company what we talked about, right? So if you have a sprained ankle, there's a code for that. If you have pneumonia, there's a medical code for that. If you are trans or non-binary, there's not a medical code for that currently. There, there may be in the next, like, five to ten years. Um, but the only code that we have is a psychiatric code, which yep. is gender dysphoria. Um, and you have to meet really specific criteria to be diagnosed with gender dysphoria. And I would say the number of patients in my practice who truly have gender dysphoria, I could count on one hand. Yeah. You know, and so they technically don't meet those criteria, but they still need and deserve care, right? Um, so it is really tricky because people are being asked to check off boxes in order to get the care that they need. Yep. Which sometimes people feel like they can't be honest about what their what their needs are. So it puts people in a really difficult situation. And here's another part I'm not going to ask you to go into for so many legal reasons. But I will just say that I, it's very hard to access gender affirming care in a lot of states without having some classification um, at a medical level sometimes. So, like, it could be a very hard discussion, right, of being like, is it... Uh, is it can trans people um, have this this for uh, uh, not have dysphoria and sure. still access that care? Mm -hmm. And I would say, yeah, that's not gender dysphoria. As Ronnie said, is a very specific thing, and a lot of us get lumped in with it because we need to access gender dis, uh, gender F, her, yeah in yeah. some way, but we're not allowed to without that. Yes, right. um, or if you even want to. Um, like sometimes change your gender marker. You need to do certain things in order to mm -hmm. get a certain thing. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. very, the legal system has not caught up with what the medical system actually right. knows to, to be true about trans people. Yeah. What we're hoping is that with the next update of our medical coding, which is the ICD-10, when that comes out, um, that there's going to be a medical code for gender incongruence because that's what it is, right? It's like you have gender incongruence, you need care for that medical condition, um, and you don't necessarily meet the criteria for gender dysphoria, which involves a lot of distress, you know? Um, and not everybody has distress. So, like sometimes people walk in and they're like, hey, I'm trans, can you help me? And I say, yep, and everybody's happy. We just hit $715,000. We love to see it, love to see it. We will change the board in a second. Um, okay, let's see if there's any more questions for Dr. Ronnie, who does um, work in gender um, affirming care as well. Or any cool medical remember. questions, yeah. Any, 
Anything, anything about pinworms. <laughs> Parasites, pinworms. Uh, you can get chlamydia in your eye. There's a fun fact. Oh wow. Yep. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, how has the standard of like teaching about taking care of trans people changed in like the way it's taught in medical school? Such a great question. So I will say the tide is turning. When I was in medical school and uh, many many years ago, we didn't talk about it at all. Um, sometimes we would talk about so so I did a a, a case based. Uh, curriculum for medical school, which means that they would give you a case about a certain thing, and then you would learn the anatomy and the physiology all about, you know, around that particular organ system, for example. Um, and you always knew that when, when the person in the case was queer, they ended up dying, regardless. Like, they always killed off the queer, <laughs> the queer standardized patients. Um, so I would say we didn't, we didn't get a lot of education. We got taught to ask, do you have sex with men, women, or both? Wow. Which is like, you know, terribly inadequate. Um, but now there, I will say, people are really, really hungry for this information, and so medical students are really <laughs> leading the charge. The medical students are asking for the education. They're asking for their curricula to be updated. They're asking for lectures outside of their regular curricula. You know, um, and if you go to a residency where a lot of this care happens, then you definitely get more training than somewhere where you where they don't provide it it's getting so much better it is it, we have a long 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 way to go you know i think the average medical student gets a couple hours over four years of lgbtq plus health care combined max do you want to come over here and ask more questions um if i think of one okay i'm gonna go update the sign but i for sure i'll think of another can pinworms cause gender dysphoria <laughs> Okay, hold on. Uh, Not that I know of. I'm also just going to put a little a little plug out there for DoxyPep. I think a lot of us know about PrEP for preventing um, HIV. If you have a, a sexual encounter, a condomless sexual encounter, get yourself some DoxyPep to protect yourself from syphilis and chlamydia and gonorrhea. There have been a lot of questions about weight and hormone um, treatments, um, specifically underweight. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how comfortable you are answering that question, but I'll let you kind of go with it. Weight and hormone replacement therapy. That's a really great question. So I would say um, it really depends on the. Unfortunately, it depends on the clinician who's prescribing. We have a lot of power, um, you know, either appropriately or inappropriately earned, but we are the ones who get to decide um, what prescriptions people get. There, you know, I happen to be somebody who tries to create a size, like a weight neutral and a size inclusive medical practice, so I probably have a really different approach than most people. Um, hormones can affect your weight and um, like I kind of don't care how much people weigh as long as we're they're able to live the kind of lives that they want to live and we're maximizing their health for the reasons that they want their health maximized um, but I would never I don't uh, deny people access to hormones because they are too fat or too thin um, but it definitely can affect you know like testosterone for example can cause a significant amount of weight gain. It's a really like metabolically active medication. So it makes your body kind of want to like hold on to all those calories. And then the estrogen, it'll, it can cause some weight. Uh, people can gain a little bit of weight as well, and, but it will cause like fat redistribution. That's kind of one of the goals. Ronnie, can you plug your podcast real quick? Because oh my God! People are, are people. Are, are I'm so glad you asked. People are obsessed with you, Ronnie. They're loving you. Oh, shut up! That's hilarious. I didn't even look. Come on, Ronnie. They can't see it. Ronnie, they can't see it. Oh, 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 this is probably a really weird question. Is the name of the podcast? Yes. And it's a really good. Is it? Is it a banana yeah. on it? It's really funny. <laughs> yeah. I wish you could see it. I wish you could see it. Here, I'll go stand back. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name of the podcast, Ronnie? This is probably a really weird question. This is probably a really weird question. Is Ronnie's podcast 
Um, so that's kind of why subscribe I'm subscribe and listen. Subscribe and listen. All of these questions that we're a- that we're answering, a lot of them have been kind of addressed in one way or another on her podcast. Uh, and also, I was a guest on her yes. podcast last so year. Amazing. Yeah. Um, Rebecca says hello. By the way, oh she do- she donated and says hi. Of course, Rebecca. So Rebecca's did. my my co-host on the podcast. She is a historian. So we've got a medical doctor and a historian talking about sex and gender and healthcare and history. It is ridiculously fun. Our latest episode is "Can I Trust My Psychiatrist?" Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. That's a good one. Okay, oh, oh I just missed it. There was a good one up here that I missed. Uh, I know, isn't this nuts? Oh, really we took a photo of it before, because I didn't think anyone was going to believe us how dumb this is. Um, Does method of application yeah. affect efficacy of hormones? Gel- oh, so I don't. I will not say the word efficacy. I would okay. say the. So the question is: Does how you get your hormones impact the efficacy? So I'm not going. I will not use the word efficacy, but I will say. Um, the different vehicles for like topical gels, patches, we don't have testosterone patches anymore, unfortunately, um, injections, orals. Why don't you have patches anymore? They stopped manufacturing them, testosterone what? patches. When did this happen? Mm, probably within the last six to nine months. It's wow. A real wow. It's a big bad I had so many friends who were on patches. They That's really shocking. Good. Okay. They were really good. Um, so, I will say it, people will have different effects um, at different speeds. So, if somebody is um, non-binary or they're not quite sure how their body is going to react to hormones, or if they are not comfortable um, with outward changes quite yet because they don't live in an affirming place or don't work at an affirming job, then sometimes we'll use topicals because they tend to be. It's like a little tiny dose every day, and it tends to be a little bit more subtle. I'm trying my best to get questions from all over the place, including <laughs> my YouTube. Um, I'm thanking everyone for bearing with me. There's a lot of different phones, a lot of different questions, trying to spread it out evenly. How can people avoid exposing them so, uh, others to gel? Oh, excellent Oh, question. that's a really good question. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, I would say be mindful about where you put it on and when you put it on. So put it on on a part of your body that can be covered with a shirt or some other article of clothing. If you've had it on for, you know, a couple, two to four hours, it's probably well absorbed. Um, You don't have to worry too much about sharing with others unintentionally, but certainly people have partners or kids or pets who they are having like skin to skin contact with and they want to be really careful. If you're worried, you know, hop in the shower and rinse off. That's the best way to be sure. Has anyone else had their, uh, oh, this is just a question for the chat period. No. Uh, has anyone else been having trouble getting their tea prescription filled? Um, yeah, honestly, refilling prescriptions in general as a trans person kind of can suck to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. And I am always behind, so I, you know, I don't help. Um, that's right. I'm always behind. I'm always behind. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you some questions I was able to ascertain. For those who are just tuning in right now, this is Dr. Ronnie. What up? Um, Dr. Ronnie, do you want to give a short description of who you are once again? Sure. I am a uh, family medicine doctor. I take care of people womb to tomb, sperm to worm. I still deliver babies and take care of a lot of queer and trans and non-binary folks. I have an amazing podcast that you should listen to called This Is Probably a Really Weird Question. Subscribe and listen. Womb to tomb, sperm to worm. Fun fact. Do you know where that comes from? Where does that come from? It is a lyric from West Side Story. Shut up. Isn't that amazing? That is ridiculous. It's like in the like, one of the gang members, because they're like friends, womb to tomb, sperm to worm. Ronnie, as if I didn't know, uh, Ronnie, I gotta tell you, that's the gayest response that you could uh, have. I know, thank it you. It makes me so happy, Thank Ronnie. you so much. <laughs> I love that so much. This reverend West Side Story on this live is so funny. Now, I'm gonna start saying it now. Okay, um, um, hmm. I just wrote down, oh, that's the last name of your podcast, dipshit. I like literally wrote down. <laughs> what does this, this is, say? This is probably, what? Okay. Well, there wasn't a quick, okay, um, is there, is there any reason why the patches 
were are no more no longer manufactured or is it just they just stopped i think they i think they probably just stopped i think there probably was not enough demand for them from cis men um and so they weren't they weren't making money for the company anymore i don't know for sure but the, the other options for testosterone you know are topical gels injections there's um a pellet a subdermal pellet that you can have put underneath the skin on your hip there's a there's even a new auto injector for people who oh, are yeah. scared to give themselves shots um it's hard to get it covered because it's brand name only but it is but it's wonderful for folks who are nervous about giving themselves a shot and there is there's a pill now but again it is brand new brand name only insanely expensive and it also can be kind of hard on your liver so a lot of people are not psyched about it um ronnie hold on oh, so much happening in the so chat. much happening yeah it's like how often do you get a oh. trans health person to just like answer your yeah, questions on the spot and honestly these are so good these a lot of these are really good questions that i never even thought about such as um do you have any thoughts about balding with hrt specific, specifically with trans mask yeah it's a drag <laughs> uh it's a drag um yeah so you can use finasteride which is the generic version of propecia um if you um and it can help protect the hairline sometimes people will actually get a little bit of regrowth as well um, if you stop taking it, usually you will lose the hair that you regrew. Same with Rogaine. You can just buy over-the-counter minoxidil, use the whatever uh, strength is the highest um, because they are because everything has to be gendered and weird. There's now, you know, Rogaine for men and Rogaine for women. Just get whichever is stronger and use that. Um, you know, sometimes people will decide that it's important enough for them to keep their hair that they'll stop testosterone because um, once their voice drops, they feel comfortable um, and you know they get some body fat redistribution and hair growth. Sometimes they feel like they want to stop tea, and that's okay. You know, that's people get to decide what to do with their bodies. It's hard. It's a drag. Ronnie, here's another really um, good question. Can you talk about hysterectomies at all, Ronnie? Sure. Yeah. So hysterectomies it means removal of the uterus only. Um, so some people really want to have a hysterectomy for a number of reasons. Sometimes they want it because they don't ever want to have to have a period or a pap ever again. Um, and if you have your uterus and cervix removed for non-cancerous reasons, usually you don't have to have any of those sensitive exams. Um, sometimes people want them out because they just want it out um there if there are a bunch of trans mask guys on your feed right now i would say there is this phenomenon that i see all the time in trans mask guys that they get terrible terrible pelvic pain like stabbing pelvic pain with orgasm or after sex and i don't know why um and it's very hard to treat and oh, no. sometimes we can do some like pelvic floor therapy, but a lot of times it's really a bummer because it makes people want to not have sex or masturbate because the pain is really severe. There's a, there was a really tiny study that was done recently that looked at trans guys who were having that pain and the majority of them got better after hysterectomy, but certainly there that is not strong data, not strong evidence at all, but I would say anecdotally what I hear from folks is it's helpful. Um, the thing to think about when you have a hysterectomy is whether or not you're going to have your ovaries still, right? So the ovaries are what are the primary estrogen producers. Um, and if they are removed, you really need to have some sort of hormone to protect your bone health until you get, you know, into your 50s ish, right? Because if you have no estrogen from your ovaries, no estrogen from an outside source, no testosterone from an outside source. It makes your bones brittle and it puts you at risk for osteoporosis. Why are cramps so much worse on tea? Dudes, I, you know, I don't know. I have my own pet theory, which is that I think it, there's some change in the tissue. I think maybe there's some like atrophy. 
Hello. Uh, oh my God. Talking about us. Hey. And you're like, is she, is she talking about, about pain with? Is she talking about pain Wait, with so, orgasm? Because is back pain. Uh, I just want you to know, Ronnie just saw uh, Doctor Donation Daddy, and it brought back <laughs> so many memories so many for them too. They became best friends last year during a live stream. We put our face in cake. We yeah, did. It was. So, it's been so much fun uh, <laughs> seeing this blossoming friendship happen. <laughs> um, for those who are wondering, we're at seven hundred eighteen thousand dollars now. Really doing a wonderful job. It's been such a nice, t nice time hanging in there um, and doing. All how are you doing, Ronnie? I'm good. How are you? I don't mean to just keep throwing questions. I'm at here you. for it, but are you okay? Do you need a break? I am actually doing really good. Okay. I'm really loving you doing all the heavy lifting right now. Right. It's really nice. Uh, for those who are wondering right now, we are trying to raise money for gender affirming care. Uh, gender affirming care can look uh, look uh, uh, look different for every single that person. Corgi. I know that corgi butt, isn't it great? Do you know that I feel like the corgi is like the dog version of me because it has short little legs and a big butt? Have I ever told you that is so cute? Did I ever tell you that me and Zizi are really getting a corgi at some point? Yeah, we are obsessed with corgis. I am also obsessed with corgis. Our my for you page and Zizi's for you page are basically eighty five percent corgi at this point. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like. Is that our for you page knew before we knew that like we're getting a card gate? Um, that being said, uh, we're getting a lot of questions from the trans mass community. Um, and one of those questions is a very good one that I have not heard before. Uh, is the voice train is there voice training for someone who's trans mass? Absolutely, yeah, 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 that's an easy one. Yes, absolutely. I would say, um, whether or not you have access to uh, a voice or a speech therapist or a voice therapist who is experienced in that that's a totally different question but there is there there is voice training there are um there are some apps out there i think that you can that you can do yourself that will look at the pit it'll you speak into it and it'll show you the pitch of your voice and then you can learn how to pitch your voice down or up just based on where it is on the screen but yeah, there are there is definitely speech therapy. Yeah, one such app is called Voice Tools. That's has... the one that I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Voice Tools. I was literally just gonna chime in with that, Max. I fucking love you. Um, I have another question, kind of along this line. Um, if you're a young person, how would you go about getting your doctor to um, perform a hysterectomy on you? Um, young person meaning like early in your twenties, early twenties. Oh yeah. Boy, that's a tough one. Um, you know, I don't. You probably don't need me to tell you this, but you can't um, force a surgeon to do anything they don't want to do, right? Um, I would say um, if you meet the gender dysphoria criteria and if you have significant distress from having a uterus, um, that's helpful. Um, you know, surgeons get, understandably, right? Surgeons are like, well, if I do this, it's permanent. There's no putting a uterus back in your body. Um, it's a weird patriarchal system. Um, and sometimes people don't want to believe that someone doesn't ever want to have children. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't, I would say all you can do is ask for what you need. Um, crowdsource information that's how like queer folks have been getting good information forever crowdsourcing so ask around and see um, if there is a surgeon near ish um, an OBGYN who would consider doing a hysterectomy this is such a good question that I got asked here on Jory's live this one's not necessarily for Ronnie but might be for Jeff or Nick or Aiden who is ever here right now um, I'm going to do my best to answer it but the question is, how does Point of Pride decide who Ooh. gets access to Don't it? Tell us. And Aiden comes in red hot. So the question is, Aiden, how did how does Point of Pride decide to give someone act like one that the one the access to the access funds? So like awards. Oh, great question. Yes. Yes. Jeff, this is a good fact daddy question too. Jeff. So we have a very rigorous plan. Um, and so what happens is has to be reviewed by at least three people. One person at minimum has to be on the board. Come sit next to me, Jeff. And then um, I'll squat. the other people who are who are looking and reviewing our applicants are transgender and non-binary folks, all of which are called our community grant making fellows. They are part of a little group, and um, anyone can apply. You do have to be trans or non-binary, and you do have 
Excuse me, sorry, we were eating dinner. You do have to pass. <laughs> so uh, cute. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a test, I guess, really. Yeah, yeah. So, community grant making fellows, they're specially trained volunteers. So, we have a, uh, a process in which we train them. There's a rubric that we all follow when we're going through the reviews process so that our our reviews processes are as equitable and consistent as possible. So whenever someone applies to a financial aid program, whether that's our surgery fund, our electrolysis fund, or our HRT access fund, all three reviewers that are looking at that application are approaching it with the same sort of consistent guidelines yeah. of understanding barriers to access, whether that's financial, geographic, or other criteria that are going on in their life. And when we ask, sorry, for you when you, and then when you go, do you go back and review past recipients to see if there are um, places where you could be more equitable, like in terms of like wow. race or economic status or things like that? Yeah, that's a great question. So we regularly collect demographic data. It's optional, but a lot of our applicants do provide that. And so through the data that we've collected, we've learned a lot of things, right? So the work that we do is super intersectional. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of folks of color that are applying to our programs, a lot of folks that are dealing with housing insecurity and things, yeah. you know, things like that that are real added barriers to their ability On to access. On disability, so they don't mm -hmm. have the, they can't even have that financial money in their bank account or right. they would right. get all uh, their help cut off. Yeah, so when it comes to, for example, our electrolysis fund, um, through the reviews process that we've established with our grant making fellows, we're really intentional about centering trans femmes with that program, especially trans femmes of color. Mm -hmm. Because we know that hair removal, particularly on the face and neck, is not, you know, it's, it's never just cosmetic, right. but when it's that location, it's about safety. It's mm -hmm. about being able to navigate public life more authentically and with less risk of anti-trans violence. So we certainly do approach all of our programs through a lens of equity, but when it comes to like our electrolysis, for example, that yeah. really was driven by feedback and data that we had collected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even now, just to continue on the electrolysis front, uh, we just upped our grant. So originally, I believe it was, was it a thousand at first? Yeah, when we first thousand, launched the program, it was a thousand. Then we bumped it up to 1,200. And now we've now just recently, because of last year's TikTokathon, uh, we've bumped it up to 2,000. Because what we've noticed is that for some individuals, that 1,200 just didn't do the job. Mm -hmm. And we found that out through feedback and uh, checking in. We have a really amazing program manager. Tyler, shout out to Tyler, Ooh, Tyler. Uh, who helps gather all of this information so that we can make those changes. I want to take this moment and say that if you're here for the very first time, we're raising money for Point of Pride on their nonprofit organization. Dedicated to gender affirming care, which looks like binders, gas. HRT, surgeries, and a bowl full of fruit. You can donate right now. By, by clicking the link in our bio, the link in our bio, you can click the Abraham Lincoln and donate directly while also I'm learning about what Point of Pride does and how it distributes that money. Or you can text TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. Again, that is TRANSJOY, one word, to 44321. Take it away, the human urinal! <laughs> Yeah, it's because I pee myself. <laughs> There's also therapy for that. <laughs> I was going to talk to you. Therapy. Yeah, get underrated. your pelvic floor. Shape them up. You know what's hilarious is I see Ronnie in a couple days. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny that. <laughs> um, all that being said, though, you can donate right now to, by going to the link in the bio or by texting Trains Joy, one word, to 44321. So... Thank you for everyone who's been here. We're here with Dr. Ronnie, who Hello. has a lot of experience practices. They have a wonderful podcast called This Is Probably a, uh, this is probably a Really Weird Question. I love that title. That's great. That's great. It's a really good podcast. It's nice and bite-sized, too. So you get all the information you want, but it isn't like, you know, 10 hours long. Exactly. Wonderful podcast, highly recommend. If you're looking to learn how to take an inclusive sexual history, our first episode is all about that. Yeah, really good. Yeah, sorry that I'm so. Oh, you're fine. Okay, good. I love you guys. Um, actually, this is perfect that all three of you are here because I, I, I can. If I got some questions, they can all be answered at the same time. Um, okay, cool.
Oh, you two do. Fact Daddy, or the person with the fact Daddy? I'm Fact Daddy. I'm Sam. I'm going by a lot of different cool. names. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I unfortunately did. Yeah, yeah. I heard a Great. lot. Great. I'm glad you're yeah, here for that. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I called that you Sam. I must have called you Sam more than once too. Yeah, did. You did like <laughs> twice. <laughs> no, it was like four times. Oh, okay. I think it was. No, I think it was for time. a good thirty minutes. I called. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, maybe, maybe she's referencing someone else in the room that I haven't met. Like, that's I just, what I thought. Yeah, you know, I was. Sam like, has been the stand-in for yeah, everyone. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sam and Brad. But you get to yeah. call those names. Oh, I don't Brad know who you are. Yeah, no, we don't like Brad. Yeah. No, we do. Sorry. Yeah, no. We we yes, fixed Brad. Brad. Yeah, we we, we fix Brad. Brad? Oh, yeah. Wow. Are we yeah. just talking about the nails, maybe? Yeah. Nails? nails? Brad nails. I love Ronnie. Where to go? See. This is right. Ronnie's my doctor. Okay, everybody. <laughs> um, what's the what's the danger of getting pregnant after HRT as a trans mask person? Um, I mean, if you are off testosterone, there's no danger. Um, but if you are on testosterone, um, it's a really good question. I would say uh, I want to be really, really thoughtful about how I use these words because the because testosterone is considered a category X medication, which means it is absolutely not indicated, oh, not okay during sorry. pregnancy. Can you come over um, there? But I think that is because um, it can cause changes in the developing fetus's genitals, right? And like different genitals are a thing, right? Differences in sex development are a completely normal part of human existence. Um, and that is the primary reason why testosterone is considered category X in pregnancy. I would say, you know, if you are off testosterone and you're getting your periods, your testosterone level is low enough that it's probably not going to impact 